We missed 420, everybody. Uh, Try to get the live going just in time, but cheers. Damn. <sighs> ah, shit. Stop. Welcome back, Renee. Welcome. Can you hear Welcome. me this, with this thing or not? You sound I can like hear you. Your volume's low. Okay, okay. I'll plug in the other thing. I was hoping this cordless thing that I got, well, as well, not really cordless, but wireless, it works good to hear things, but not to apparently... Yeah. Yeah, I think the the microphone hole is probably far away from your mouth. It may be. Yeah. Yeah, because if I hold this, is it better? Uh, I don't know. I'll do my other one. I don't know. Plug them in. It's just that I I'm want to hear so. you. Ah. <laughs> Please let me hear you. Oh Lord. Hey. Oh Lord. Yo, what up, everybody? Any better? Oh yeah, better. better. I can hear you that now, Justin. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, uh, these are supposed to be able to be used on with a phone too, but I haven't tried them yet, so I just got them what day before yesterday. So, but. nice. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Oh, here we go. What'd you do? Or what are you trying to do? I'm going to start adding people. I'm going to add Keith. Oh. I think Keith knows how to click on the link. Uh. <laughs> well, he did have to restart his computer, right? Yeah. So it might be a minute or two before he comes back, before he gets it back, gets in, I mean. A little bit. Surrounded by Keith. E, 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 e. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't make fun of his stutter. <laughs> <laughs> He's not actually stuttering. It's his his, his me mechanical device, right? So it's not his. <laughs> <laughs> it's his disability. We all know this. <laughs> you got a handicap license for that shit. <laughs> For his stutter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Down. Mm -mm. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I got oh, Jesse. I got Ooh, the Stone Farmer. And we got Renee in the Hizzy for Shizzy. Yeah. Show us those blessings, Renee. Come on, Keith. We're doing this for you. Babe. Nah. Hey. Whoa. Ready to jumble in the jungle. Where's the jungle? Right here, man. This fucking chat room is the jungle. Yeah? 
Yeah. I think you're ready to rumble too. With all your sarcasm. Bang. 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 Uh, what is this, a fucking Mexican band? Bang. <laughs> 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 fucking guessing, man. I haven't heard any music yet. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so this is live. So basically, I've got three viewers right now, and if I right. want to do anything to make you feel comfortable right now, let me know. If I can get you a drink, a tea, a coffee, a soda, a water, a fucking beer, a shot of something, let me know. I want to be a gracious host to any of my three viewers. Oh, wait. We've only got two now. I scared one away. Great. You scared away somebody. Major disrespect. What? <laughs> It looks like we got because seven seven because seven seven. I'm gonna invite custom. I'm gonna invite custom, bro. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Well, I'm custom guy, sure. Yeah. He loves me. Never know. It's part of his contract. <laughs> it's part of his contract to love you. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. There's like five fake custom growth profiles. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn. I tell you what, that's a lot of man love. <laughs> Uh, you better hope they don't want to show their love to you all at the same time. I tell you what, you'd be screwed. Bang! <laughs> oh, you have the demo already. Oh, I see. Do what? I think he's still working on that thing, on that banner. I couldn't uh, add uh, custom grow because of him. Oh. You don't have him on that name, huh? Ooh. I I added him. I would assume. Okay. Well, I, I, yeah, you can. I don't know if you want to put custom grow on that banner. You might want to run it by him first. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm sure he doesn't care. He made an appointment. I, I, I don't know, just just to be on the safe side, you know. Right. Get him in a live or a private or whatever, and yeah. You... I'm sure he doesn't care. It's more publicity for him. Yeah, but what, what, what if he doesn't care? I don't know. I don't know what he would be okay with. Then he's going to kick all of our asses at the same time. <laughs> no, we'll if just get trolled like to death, that's all. fucking delete it. <laughs> I better shut up. Yeah, but, you know, just because it's, you know, he sees it there, you know, some people can make a big deal about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're using my name on something? Yeah. Even though how many people are posing as him, but yeah. <clears throat> you know? Yes, I know. You know? Right, you know? 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 You just send him an invite. If he wants to come, he'll come. If he doesn't, he doesn't. But if he knows I'm here, he won't come. <laughs> Why? Are you supposed to be scary? Huh? Why? Are you supposed to be scary? 
No, I just don't like him, and I let him know it once before. That's all. Something you always know with me, you'll know exactly where I'm at. I'd never say something to your face that I wouldn't say to you. I wouldn't say anything to your back that I wouldn't say to your face. And I'm, I'm usually pretty uh, forthright. Yeah. Not that I'm a It's the only way to be. I mean, really. Was that a doobie? Yeah, man. He has some custom made babies. Looking on a Frank's day. <laughs> I don't know what's louder, my air conditioner or the traffic on the street outside. Um, dang. That's cool, man. Fucking Cyclops. So cool to see you live. We got you in the chat room all the time, but it's cool to actually hang out with you, bro. You too, man. Thank you. Very cool. <laughs> now, Jesse, I would like to see all less. All right, of we're back somewhere. I would like to see less of you live and more of you in the chat room, please. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, man. I thought you played like that. Oh. <laughs> it's better for you. Hi. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? She me on the line. Why are you always yelling at me? Why are you always yelling at me? I'm telling you. Yo, Jesse, I can't unmute you. I, I muted Can you mute me? <laughs> Why? Oh, Why did I have to There has to be a bad guy to every drama. What? I have to be the, the super villain of Wee Team. It's not fair. Why do you always pick on me? Is it because I'm a fucking ginger? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> That's alright. What's the stone farmer doing? It sounds like he's crawling on the floor and so, uh, Sound. Sound like he's got a microphone swallowing it or something. Don't <laughs> think like he's rubbing sandpaper on his microphone. <laughs> oh, he's eating crackers. That's what I like to You got the microphone in your mouth? I have a cookout. <laughs> I thought he was dragging two by fours across the wooden floor. And shit. Hello, hello, come in. Yeah, we hear you. It's me. annoying for me. I can only imagine for these people that have headphones. Dude. Hello. Uh, good thing my my headphones weren't actually in my ears. <laughs> But I meant annoying in a good way. Mm. Okay, I'm back! I'm back! I'm back! Yeah, shout out to... What Are you ready for a song? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, yeah. 
I don't know what's up with your camera, though. I don't know. It depends. Are you going to be singing or are you going to be playing one? No, DDW is going to play. Oh, oh. I thought you were going to sing. I was going to say, please don't. Well, you want me to play? I do feel like playing, but I thought it would be annoying for my guests. Scott broadcast. Uh -oh. I thought that it would be so annoying. Oh, come on. You you can sing. <clears throat> I just don't know what to sing. I don't have any song. <clears throat> I just usually just play the guitar by myself. You can just give me a reason to smoke more. I'll think you will. Uh. <clears throat> What's that, Renee? Yeah. Um. What was it that uh that uh Ashley's dad said earlier? Something about some blues or something? I don't know. I mean, I was just oh, yeah. Louisiana blues. About it earlier. <laughs> you want blues? Um, the stone. I don't know. Shirt. That's just what. Well, the that's what Ashley was <laughs> asked about. I thought I'd bring it up. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about that. He said something blue, and then someone else was like, play the blues. And I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. I do not have the blues. You guys always see my silly ass smiling. How the fuck am I going to play the blues? I need you guys to uh, dump just, me first. Just, Break up with me. No. It's over, bitch. It's content. What you do is you just concentrate on what you're doing, you know. You don't okay, have to sit there and, you know, just... Did he tell you he's got the blues? You look fucking time to snooze. If I only had some booze. I'm pretending to play the blues. I got no choice. And I can't choose. Cause I, I got a fake that I got the blues. No. And now I'm on the spot. Gotta give her all I got. Now I can I've got the blues. Oh, I hope you like my style. Cause I'm not supposed to smile when I've got the blues. When you got the blues. I can't choose what? I the blue. No. I got a Miller Lite and I got depressed. Then I started getting horny. And I started touching my breast. <laughs> I, just, I can't go on. I can't go on. <laughs> All right, now that took it a little bit longer. <laughs> I was feeling depressed, and that led to horniness. <laughs> my next door neighbor has nice breasts. All emotions lead here. <laughs> I know how I got here. <laughs> I'm too hyper to have the blues. <laughs> All right, what else do I got? I've got nothing. <laughs> what? Okay, I'll play something you want to. <laughs> what was that? I said, okay, now play something you want to. 
Play something I want to play? Or somebody else, somebody <coughs> else is suggesting. All right, I'll mute me. myself and I'll think about it. Okay. You're going to mute yourself and think about it? <laughs> it's like, I'll, I'll start playing, and then I'll be like, oh, yeah, I should play this thing or that thing. I've got a few songs, but, like, just, like, like seven, and they all suck, and... Like, they're metal. They're not stoner community friendly, you know? So it's just like, they're metal punk so and hard rock, so it's like, it's like very negative vibes for, for this positive community, you know what I'm saying? But when you're playing a rock show, those negative vibes is what rocks. So you gotta, you gotta like, balance it out. They're all like, uh, like, I got a few smoking songs, but they're pretty bad. They're all violent. You guys have heard my name before, but I don't get sick of singing it for you. What? It's called My Name. My Name? My name, my name, black pinkies and resin lips, powder under the nose. What? These are all the telltale signs for talents of the bold. Wake up in the afternoon, give morning salutations. Every single morning feels like five or six vacations. To smoke a bowl of chronic is what I want the most. I'm the kind of guy who butters both sides of his toast. My name, my name is my name, my name is my name, my name is my name. At four o'clock, I call the guy who lives in the next apartment. I tell him, bring the weed that I left inside your glove compartment. At four ten, I clean the water in my bong. Cause I know it's been there for way too long. At 420, I smoke a fat ass bowl. At 421, I call every stoner that I know. My name. Oh, then how's it going? Fuck. It's like there's a bass line. Uh, you forgot uh, your own song. What's that? You forgot your own song. No, it's just hard to play the bass line and the guitar part. The bass would be going, my name, my name is 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 my name, I'm not fucking stupid, that is just my fucking name, my name is my name, my name is my name, I'm not fucking stupid, it's just my fucking name. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be ended with a yawn. <laughs> oh. I'm not fucking stupid. That's my name. That's silly. Uh, okay, if you're gonna fucking yawn, why don't you fall actually fall backwards like you passed out? <laughs> <laughs> I've done that. I do well, when we used to play shows <laughs> I moved to LA to play with a band, so we played shows for like a good like year when I got here. And like imagine you have a forty five minute concert in some like sleazy and I'm like going da -da 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 -da. And I, I know what's gonna be my last note of the show. Like, you know, 
Like, uh, and on that last note, uh, it's not the last note of a single song, but it's the last note of the whole show. I would collapse on stage for that one. Because what the fuck? <laughs> it's the last note. Right. Of How many people ran up to you like, oh shit? <laughs> one or two. They're like, don't quit, guys. Don't quit. Keep doing it. But then everybody quit. Mr. Call from Stone Farmer. Oh. That was the old chat. I'm going to pass some talent on to Cyclops. I think I saw him in the chat one day when Jesse said he cannot play any instruments. And Cyclops says, I'm there with you, buddy. <laughs> now, when it comes to musical talent, I have zero. Yep. My, 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 my ear isn't tin. It's made of wood. <laughs> I'm going to pass some of my false talent on to you guys. False. Key. Must say, must say, that shit's hard, dude. What is this? Holy moly. Check this out. Yep. My ears are chill. I have a loop switch on my other amp, and I can loop like something and practice solos over it. But I still. Right. Right. I'm sorry. I want to hear some more, man. Have I ever played for you? Play it from the top, man. I want to hear it. Let me hear it. Shit, don't do drugs, man. Don't do drugs, give them to us. Don't be a bitch, don't put up a fuss. I want to get high, I want to get loaded. I drink my beers till my liver exploded. Don't do drugs, give them to us. Don't do drugs, give them to me. Pour acid in my eyes till I can't. Cocaine up my nose till my head turns white. Do some PCP and I'll start up a fight. Don't do drugs. Give them to me. Don't do drugs. Give them the hand. Bowl after bowl till his head starts to spin. Unplayed marks in his legs and arms. Give him what he want. He won't do you no harms. Don't do drugs. Give them to us. I just need to go to the bar and play that with a drummer and a bass player. And then people will be like, here's some free weed, bros. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. They probably won't. They'll be like, get off the stage, kid. 
I'm, I'm still playing songs that I wrote when I was 17 years old. Look at me. That just means you're good, right? <laughs> no. It means I can't write new shit. <laughs> All right. This one is and the Devil Stripper Show. Really? Did I already play that one for you? No. It goes like this. Jesus, I've got a question for you. Yeah, What's up? I said yes, Billy Dabber. Oh, thank you. Are there any strip clubs in heaven? Yes, there are. Oh no? You gotta say no. No. No more goody to shoe shit, I'm sick of all this crap. How can this be happening? If stripping's what they lack. If strippers were in heaven, everything would be swell. But since they're not loud, then I guess I'll see you in hell. I'm a horny demon, I reside <coughs> where I repent. I dig chicks in hell because they all have bigger tits. Bigger tits mean bigger tits. Bigger tips mean bigger lips on bigger dicks, the biggest dicks like mine. It happens all the time, I'm always first in line. The fire's got me hornier than hell. Say farewell to what you thought you know about the Devil Stripper Show. Guitar solo. Guitar solo and you're holding one. Fuck. see the finger action on this without me knocking a rig over. Hey, Ashley is streaming us. Cool. Ashley. Cool. I'll be uh, I'll be back in the short, guys. Wife and kids. Right, I got to say, uh, but I'll be back. All right, Cyclops. Thank you. For Cheers. See, Dragoon, you made me lose Cyclops. See? Where the hell is Keith? He didn't even want me to play. You lose Cyclops. You never got Cyclops. <laughs> <laughs> I need to write a song about Dragoon, man, because he's going to be famous. No! No, Dragoon! I took him under my wing when I found him laying in the gutter like a sick little kitten. And I brought him some nutrients and I nursed him back to health. Now he's rocking. 
with his cock out. And he's ready to rock out. Dragoon. 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 Five people watch you. And for that, I will stop playing. I promise to stop playing if we get five viewers. <laughs> I like that. Dragoon. 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 Ever since I found him, he had no subscribers, and now he's got about 50. Bang! <laughs> I'm not even oh. sure. How many, not much. How many do you have? Uh, I have 20 right now on this account. but yeah, well, By the time the song goes platinum, you'll have 50, and it'll be right on time. My other one, I got, uh, I think, over 80. Really blowing up more than anything is the Instagram. People want to see those pics, man. Yep. You got a lot of people already on Instagram. Yeah, everybody wants to follow my shit. What? They stealing your pictures? No, I'm just just starting to put shit out there, and uh, I'm starting to tell people about it. Not that many people know about it, but. It's like every time I say something about it on here, I get three or four or five new followers. Well, say it up, bro. Instagram is cracking. Daily Dabber Weekly, Daily Grower Weekly, it's cracking, man. Fucking, hey, man, you want to see some good buds? Go to his channel. You want to see some good dabs? And, like, that's about it. Go to my channel. <laughs> you, you have buds on your channel, too, right? Your buddy? No, not to the scale. I, I buy two grams every fucking paycheck. <laughs> Look at you! You're fucking wheezing with that cough. <laughs> I smoke an ounce a day, man. I know. I believe that. I have to buy two grams every paycheck. I only get paid once every two weeks. You Stop. stay outside. Renee. Yeah. Renee's not sharing the munchies. How rude! Dad. Oh, she's got the Costco bag or Sam's Club. She got the party. Oh, club. Somebody got a Sam's Club card. <laughs> living the high life. Yeah, Sam's Club. Me it's a high life living. I got the Sam's Club Discover, the Sam's Club Visa, the Sam's Club Mastercard. They just basically said I could have one of everything in the store. <laughs> uh, that's what she said. Pay for it later. Uh, let's get in the snow I want to bust a dab so badly. It just fucking hurts me. I'm going to do one right now. I got some really good shit right here. I got some really bad shit right here, too. <laughs> Get loaded up in this one. Right. I'm gonna try to mellow it out. Nothing wrong with a little mellow in it. Yeah. I know. I know. Oh fuck. He's watching. Damn, I'm making up new chords as I go. Drag you. Well, we to love you. Oh, baby dragon. Let's be proud of you. All the viewers are watching. Into orbit, you are launching. It is haunting. Uh, 
The nail is getting hot. It's time to blast off into outer space. Look at Jesse's face. Yo, a dabber's a disgrace. Bye. 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 He needs to go to outer space. Ragu. Smells like last year's maze. Oh, I missed it. What? Oh. I had to. I had to present it, and I missed Dragoon's hit. He'll do another uh, one. Here we go. Just for you. Just for missing it, man. Dragoon. Cut this stuff on a spoon. I can't be the food. Oh no. Yeah, shake it. Shake it. Shake it some more. Rene Wan Please don't mind the bay. Jesse, you The torch is lit, everybody. What's cracking, my boy? We got you presented. <coughs> the dragoon song going. <laughs> They don't even know, dude. They don't even know. You're an yeah. upcoming celebrity. Wow. Upcoming celebrity. You might be new to the family, but you're fucking old to the universe. You've been here. You know what you're doing, my boy. That's what I like about you. <laughs> here we go. You're not gonna miss this one. Oh shit! Watch, everybody, watch, everybody, watch. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Play the DDW song. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Yo, I feel like hitting the flower. Flower to the power. Oh. I thought it was power to the flower. Power to the flower. Flower no. power. I don't have any flower power. power until I hit the flower. Flower power? Flower to the power. power, power. I don't have the power unless I hit the flower. Flower power hour? What? You mean like baking flour? Like flour to bake no. bread? Just baking flour. flour? No, a flower. A flower, like, you know, a rose, a daisy, a flower. Power. What is this flower you speak of? No, I thought you meant tulip. Okay. You can eat the marijuana. Oh, cannabis flower. Bang! Flower power. Bang! Bang! I don't like it. I fucking love it. That's not what she said. I know. No, I love it. <laughs> I know, she never no, said that. Oh, so you lied to me. Uh -huh. You told me privately you didn't. <laughs> Here we go with that. Yeah. Here we go. Are you hitting one? 
Oh, you're going to play it. Cool, thanks. DDW. I'm going to light my bangs on fire, yo. DDW. She's drinking. Mariachi, his name is Stone Farmer. The Stone Farmer also happens to. Thank you. 
Jesse, your parents don't trip if you blaze it? Fuck no. Said fuck no. Said fuck no. I wish my parents were like that. I'll move back in with them and start saving money. I'll take my, <laughs> I'll take my wife back to my parents. But my parents are like, don't smoke weed in our house. I'm like, fuck, I got to get my own house then. Really? Yeah. They're like, I guess, you know, like back in the day, everybody was taught that it was like evil. Unless fucking, you know, they just don't like it. You, you never told them about the good sides of it, though? Oh, they, they know, man. They know. <laughs> they, know, they know all the excuses. Yeah. But what am I supposed to say? Like, they just think it's like it's unnecessary. Like, I could be without it. I don't know. I, it, I don't know how it, it what it might help you with. It helps you not want to destroy everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So it calms your anger. It mellows, it mellows you out. I, I don't know. You ever feel sad? Right now that you're asking me this shit? Well, when I start to think about it... Uh, you ever feel down? <laughs> Fuck you, Jesse. Get out of here. Ah, <laughs> uh, see? So it makes you happy. <laughs> I fucking love it, homie. Dude, so cool. We are so cool, and we are so blessed to be rocking out on YouTube. For all these other dorks to watch us. <laughs> Just kidding, viewers. I love you too. <laughs> I'm making some rosin for that ass. You know what I'm saying? Bang. Nice. You just scared off. You just. Blah, blah, blah. You just scared off the stone farmer. No, I didn't. He's gone. Oh shit! He's gone. Oh shit! He's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, but look, he's still on my screen, dog. Oh, he just barely got off my screen right now, right now. Oh. You know, when you're the host, when you're doing Wait, all this good... you just barely got off on your screen? What? You just barely got off on your screen? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a personal problem. So... <laughs> <laughs> Are you laughing at that shit, too? I want to know who's my targets, cause I have I get revenge in this bitch right here. <laughs> I go for revenge here. So, Bang. Ah oh, fuck. I'm sending a text message. Did I do anything for you? You go, your hit man. No. Oh. I'm trying to get money for that fucking that hemp convention package. Let me show you guys what I get. I need to get 500 bucks to be a judge at the hemp convention. And I don't want to spend my own money because I just bought a fucking car and I got to pay rent. I got now my car insurance is like double. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Hold on. Let me yeah, find. Yeah, you have to have full coverage on a new car, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, like the I don't know what the fuck I even have to pay it. I don't know what it means. 
Where's my new, where's my downloads? Where's my pictures? Sorry, I'm breathing all heavy, but I'm that kind of I'm that kind of fucking weirdo. They call it untitled. Uh oh. Oh, unnamed media. Look how slow my computer runs, man. I'm just running a hangout. Live on YouTube. Okay, so yeah. this looks like a couple rigs. It looks like four rigs you get. A couple official lighters. You get all the flowers. Like, people enter the shit. And you get a hit. And you, I think you get this like a week or two in advance. And you get to check out everybody's weed, the best indica, the best sativa, the best hybrid, the best indica wax, the best sativa wax, the best hybrid wax. Maybe some edibles. Hey, I got your message, boss. Hey. 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 Hello. Hello. How much is that? What? Hey. How much is that? It's five hundred bucks, and then you get the, you get three wow. day pass. To, you get three day pass to the event. With, you're a judge okay. with VIP wow. VIP caller, and you could go like you know restricted areas. Everyone's gonna be nice because you're a judge. And then yeah. you know, but oh, I showed these guys the contract. It's Happy like it's like. Go ahead. Happy four twenty. Cheers. Cheers. I'm gonna in one minute, but you beat me. Bang! Okay. Bang! 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 My name is Wang. I know what I ha how to hang. Wang! Bang! 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 Thank you, thank you, thank Yes, sir. Now the fun 
Let's just dab it off. Let's just fucking do it. Three gram dab. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Just tap it to your nail little by little. And then when you're done, you're done. Oh my god. I don't even know. I don't even think I would be standing if I dabbed all that tonight. Yeah. People do that. It's, they call it a slab. They don't even finish the whole thing. They're just holding a big old glob and then just... I bet you can do it doing a handstand. Yeah, they do just a little dab like that and set it back down. <laughs> I, think that would be, I feel like that would like drip all over and waste. Yeah, possibility. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not balling enough for that. <laughs> Cheers not to those yet. people, though. That's badass. Not yet. Let's break some of this up. Oh, what's your name? Halo, what's up? What's your name? I have not met you. I am the Stone Farmer. What's up, Stone Farmer? It's nice meeting you. I'm going to take a dab just in honor of meeting you. Man, it looks like you're talking my language. I'm taking Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Hey. Cheers. He's There's not even a stone, and he's definitely not a farmer. They see Alaskan Beezy. What up, y'all? It's stuck in my finger. Yeah. All right. Try it again. Oh, we got Mr. Houston's here. We got me perspectives. We also got Renee and the Daily Grower Weekly. Holy shit. Welcome, DJ. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, what happened to EV? I was just about to present you, my boy. I just didn't want to cut. I didn't want to cut new perspective. The show short. You're good. Where you at, you Alaskan thunderfuck? <laughs> I'll be right back. I grab some cookies out of the oven. The apple. Oh. Has been, oh, keep coughing, girl. Keep coughing. You got cookies? You know the. Fuck yeah, no. I don't want to see that cough? Oh damn. Yeah, no. That's usually why I stop coughing. <laughs> Yo, I got this one gay guy that likes how I cough. Magnetoid uh, Rowdy knows him too. He sent Magnetoid Rowdy a bunch of Celine Dion CDs. Oh my God. I'm, I'm the getting. Passing his love. <laughs> but he likes the way that we cough. Yeah, no, I don't do that. I don't dig that. Like, I just cough because I took too big of a dab or a hit. Yeah, I know. I'm the same with Dave. They're imagining shoving their cocks down all of our throats. Oh, I didn't even know that. I just thought that they were weird. I no, even... that's what they do. That's exactly what they do. I'll, I'll stop and talk really quickly. Wait, no, I better go get them out. They're going to burn. Hang on. Yo, Hey. Hey. <laughs> Beezy's kind of frozen. Where you at, Beezy? What happened? Can you see me? Hello? Yeah, I want to see you cough, my sexy motherfucker. All right, yo, let me let me clear out this tsunami here. <laughs> Where's that white fire you get from? White fire? Yeah, that's what it's called. We got some white fire right here. Shout my... out to EBZ's homie. Awesome. White fire. Awesome. Oh, your homie's name is White Fire? Oh, cool. Oh. Let's go. What a white fire. <laughs> what do you guys call him? You guys call him Ernesto. <laughs> oh, let me share this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paco. Whose channel are we? Oh, here we go. Yeah. It is hot. I need to take this sweater off. That's why I'm sweating. It's hot. That's it's what. hot? That's what she said. <laughs> the other night you guys were live and... Hello? Devin told me you guys were live on your channel, but I didn't know you had a second channel. I didn't, like, realize. I was so bummed. Oh, yeah. I had to do it. I can't, <laughs> go, live. I can't go live with my other channel. Yeah, yeah, no, I figured, I, I mean, I figured that out after. <laughs> but I was like, damn, once, the, he kept saying you guys were live on, a, on your channel, and I was like, no, you're, like, fucking with me. Like, you're not no. live on it. Channel. Yeah. I'm looking at his channel. You're not live on it. 
Yeah, that's. <laughs> it's cool though. Daily Dabber Weekly too. Yeah, no, I didn't even realize Dabber. I was subscribed to you. So stupid. I've already, I've already made a few channels: Daily Dabber Weekly three, and Daily Dabber sixty nine. Yo, cheers. 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 It's all good. Who's talking shit? Everybody. Are you hearing things? No. I don't hear nobody talking shit. <laughs> huh, maybe it's you. I hear an echo. No, now, see, you're getting involved now, Jesse. What? I can hear it in the tone of your voice, my boy. Yeah, the I think I'm, my... I'm done. No. Y'all should just be, like, done with bullshit. I, I realize that today, like, I'm not even going to reply to people if it's not a positive comment or positive aspect that you're doing. I'm not even going to reply to you. And more than likely, I'm going to remove it from my channel. And it's not because I can't handle it. it like somebody said today, uh, I'm butt hurt. It's like, no, I'm not butt hurt. Uh, I just don't really care to perpetuate your negativity. And that's all it is. Damn, the negativity has gotten to us. I didn't think it could break us apart like this. Never in a million years. Dude, wait. I was joking. We're live on someone else's channel. I did not know that. I don't have her on mine yet. Austin, do you have her? We can't add anybody. Shout out to the oh, perspectives, why? homies. That sucks. Yeah, you're I'm confused. Shout out to the confusion. Um, I, I think I, I think I just caught on to everybody's like hidden messages. I just like caught it. You know what I mean? Like I just I just grasped everything that just happened. Now now I'm seeing it. That's fucked. Okay. Bang. <laughs> we must have a lot of viewers now. <laughs> Kayla, Ashley Loner Morrison says, Kayla. And a purple heart. In the chat. Love to JL Thug Dog. We're about to do some more dabs. Everybody is about to do some more dabs. Everyone's about to smoke some more food. I hope so. I wonder what she was talking about. What did she catch on to? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yo, what up, Renee? How are you? I'm just fine. Have you been better? Yeah, no, not really. But, yeah. Anyways, I guess. Oh, well. Next time. Yeah, maybe. Let's see what's up with Jesse. Are you playing with your ding yeah, I'm playing with my day line. <laughs> oh, I like it. Yeah, I love it. Oh, my God, 
Here's the Renee. Looks like she wants to hit that pin wall. And that's a big damn bowl. Can you put your thumb in there? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Hang on a second. Let me get something real quick. Why so serious? Oh. All of y'all. We're surrounded by Keith, man. Where the fuck is this man called Keith to you? And he's not even... I think you had, to, you had to run some errands. Okay. Yeah. Yo. I got Rudy in the chat room. Rudy wants to know where's the snake dad. Where's the snake dad? Oh, snake dad! You gonna get on? You gonna get off? back later you guys shout out to all you guys and thank you guys for having me that's it. you're welcome back anytime you got that's it yeah, yeah just for a minute I'm, I might hop back in we'll see have a good night cheers bang how are we going to get Cookies. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Burlap Kwanzaa. Uh, here we go. Love uh, her. Maybe the smell of fresh cookies got to her and she had to go eat them. Oh no. Dab down, dab down. Oh no. Connect it. This is something. This is going to be a big flaw. And, and. 
Hey, just package that up and send it to me. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, make, I'll, I'll make that last a week. That looks like a roach. <laughs> About nickel. That's a nickel there. About nickel size. Uh, Alright. You would make that last a week? <laughs> yeah, probably so. The whole week's worth. Uh, 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 maybe that might be a good session for the day. But I don't know about a week. <laughs> I'm not rude. <laughs> Why you gotta pick on the ladies, man? I <laughs> wonder we don't have any girls on the show, man. <laughs> no, I he, think... he knows not what I'm capable of, capable of so. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's always, he's always with the ladies. He's, he's I could make it last the session if I wanted to, but I would, wouldn't choose to. No, I prefer it's fucking when I prefer when chicks get high quick than fucking wasting all my weed and shit. <laughs> Smoking more than me, I'm like, damn. How much does it take? <laughs> Um, some, some, people, some people have hey, a hard tolerance. Hey. I mean, it just depends on the person. Daily. Right? Daily. Yeah, I know. Here, here's a tissue, buddy. What's up? Here's a tissue. Thank you. Okay, here I come. Oh, it's fine. Uh, you know I'm always playing. No, you're serious. Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> yeah. When have I ever been serious? You're always an asshole. No, I'm not an asshole. I get followed by one. <laughs> Back up some, yeah? There you go. There you go. Perfect. I want to see your smile. <laughs> How can he smile and take a bunk hand at the same time? He can do it. He can do it. What the hell? What you did to him, Rudy? Why did you do this to your own friends, Rudy? Your turn, Rudy. Yeah. Whoa. Damn, Let me don't clear call my throat. Rudy, why are you doing to me? I don't know. Uh, that would make it to me. Oh, uh, you love it, though. Uh, I used to know a guy named Rudy. <laughs> I used to know a guy named Brody. He had a really big booty. Jesse. Okay, is he going to come in? I don't know. He's the one that wanted uh, Farmer to do a dab, a worm. Worm dab! I just took the first time. Very nice. Nice, nice. Uh. I'm going to do a flea dab. What the hell is that? Is this boy a flea dab? <laughs> 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 
There's a free woman. <laughs> Boy, pretty good. I like the flea dab song, man. Flea dab. Size of a flea, but it don't uh, bother me. I hit my noggin because it's some fucking rosin. Uh, that looks like a rabbit turd. Now it looks like a flat piece of shit. Let's see. Better. Dab Marino. <sighs> That's as bad as you get, yo. Uh oh. I can't see. Blackout. <laughs> It's very dark and very emotional. Can you play the Flea Dab song for me one more time? Flea Dab! Oh. Flea Dab! Flea was good enough for me. Where's my quarter at? <laughs> Yo, Rudy, what are you using? Are you zoomed out? Stick is the quarter. Stick is in the quarter. 
What kind of camera are you using? Uh, Logitech. So you can zoom out with it? Yeah. See? Out. Hmm. Yeah, because no one else can zoom in on, on live hangout. <laughs> There's your quarter. There's the dab. Here we go. Zoom out more or in what? I can't see. Uh, zoom out. All right. Tell me when. Zoom out all the way out. All right. There you go. Too much? No, too much. Go in. I don't want to see your keyboard. All right. Tell me when then. A little bit more. Okay, I can go up or down then. A little bit more. No, up. Other way. Right. Other way. Right there. No, a little bit to your left. Right there. Uh, one more up. One more up. One more up. One more up. Okay. More. I didn't see no up. Right there. There you go. Right. Th a little bit more up. More up. There's like another inch. There you go. No, that was the same shit, but whatever. Oh no, there. Let me see if this helps. <laughs> or push your bong down the table a little bit away from you. Alright. Half an inch. There you go. Alright. Good. Good, 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 good. Right. right on the, the card pack. Alright, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. I'm gonna turn the email up. I don't think seven hundred is gonna be enough. <laughs> You're going for 750. I am. Well, there we go, 750. <laughs> no, mine was at 710 already, so it takes a couple seconds. Yo, shout out to Rudy520. Everybody, check him out whenever you got the chance. He's got some dope glass. You know what it is. Oh, shit. You I see, see the shadow, shadow of it. You see the shadow, right? You see what? the shadow. Hey, la verga. Looks, like you, uh, looks like you got a little rat tail right. hanging Cheers. Right there. Cheers. Rat tail dab. Sing a rat tail dab song. Rat tail dab. <laughs> 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 All right, cloud to the camera. Bang. Pulls up again. We are again directing Rudy. Cloud to the camera, please. We have a move. <laughs> <laughs> I still see a little moisture in that bowl. It looks a little shiny. <coughs> My boy, keep hitting it, please. I'm walking this. It's so smoky. My boy, I, I still see a little action going on in there. Uh, because the cheers. My boy, it's just camera fuck, my boy. I don't think camera A is done. I don't think I heard anybody say cut. Let's keep going, my boy, please. <laughs> my boy, my boy. Uh, Rudy got a cheers from me, uh, because... Dude, Rudy's got like 20 hits in the fucking dog and so far. Holy crap, my boy. Hit it, my boy. Dude, you should have turned it up to 1,000. See if you can turn it up. Is that it? I think that's reclaim now. Nope. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, no, it, it, is. Looks like, it, looks like, it looks like you can just leave the carb cap on it and keep hitting it until you want to. You can just put the carb cap on and come back a half hour later. You still got wax. Oh, Let me watch. Let's see. Oh, no, you got it. Yeah, you got it. It's just from the carb cap. See the wax and the residue? What's the highest you had your email ever set to? Oh, it goes all the way to 1,500. 
I'm gonna oh, turn it all the way up to. I'm gonna clean it now, so I'm gonna turn it all the way up. That I set it at 13:06 right now. And what's the highest you've ever taken a dab off of it? Uh, probably 900, maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How was that? This isn't bad. I've had worse. Yeah. The rig does a lot of the work. Nice. Is that the pomegranate rig that you have right there? Yep. Wow, it looks crazy from this angle here. That's Jimmy Custom Judge on the guy I was telling you about. Like, that's Jimmy Custom Judge. We all know that guy. We know that. Yeah, see, that's just all. Uh, Hit that, man! 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 Fuck that noise, look at it. It's residue. That's called waste. That is not. You're doing it wrong, man. It's not fucking dabbable. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that noise. Yeah. We've got to be the most obnoxious people. <laughs> There you go, my oh, boy. Man, that's I mean, I misjudged it earlier. I thought there was <coughs> tiny, but when I when I looked in the bigger picture on the YouTube page, I could see like it was just uh, like burnt on there. Reclaim whatever you just scraped up. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. Right now. Hey, man, no, oil, whatever the hell they call like, it, mystery I would, oil. I would call it eight to twelve dabs in a row. There were hits in a row off that deck. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, I'm high. Hey. Hey, Dennis. Hey, Dennis. Hey, Dennis. Now, only if you were two were in the same room as me, I could plug you in and record you. Right. See? Yo, put your, put your microphone inside your guitar. <laughs> See, I got two spaces right there. Both you yeah. Oh, schnazzle. Still sober, 
So I need another flea dab. Give him a flea dab. A flea dab. You guys hear my guitar? Yeah. I yeah. Come a little bit. I was just trying to be quiet so I could hear it more. You gotta be louder. Why? Yeah, a little louder. So I can keep rocking because when you stop I got it's like it slows me down. When you keep going I speed up. <laughs> <laughs>
View Rudy should have done before, but back this camera up a little bit. What are you burning, farmer? How many marshmallows over here? Holy shit, that's a big marshmallow. Hmm. The super size one. Nice. And damn, it is. I was wondering what the heck you were burning. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a torch, what else can you use it for? Nice. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's so rude. <laughs> you have to say, hey, Logan, are you watching that? <laughs> You got a direct order from the orbit of the moon. Apollo, <laughs> can you read you loud and clear? Apollo, <laughs> how are your space marshmallows doing? They are coming out. Oh, my couch is on fire! My couch is on fire! I believe that. <laughs> Are you hiding marshmallows in the house again? No, honey. I swear. I'm like a damn camp out in here. <laughs> You're right, man. It's only a camp out in here just because of you. Oh, fuck. You know, smell that shit. It smells like propane and burnt marshmallow. <laughs> Marks, yo. Thank you, God. Roger that, Apollo. Let us hear. What's the problem, Houston? What's the problem, Apollo? Houston, we're too high. Apollo. Apollo, do you hear me? Apollo. <laughs> Jesse. Jesse, do you read Apollo? No, I don't read Apollo. <laughs> Rudy. Rudy. Yes. Come in. Come in. Come in. This is Apollo. I read you. You hear him. Mission control. Mission control. Are we clear to get higher? I'm I getting some you. feedback. I, do not have I see something. I see movement. Mission control. Mission control. <laughs> What happened to Eve Easy, man? Go hit the ball. Go hit the ball. Oh, get the ball, puppy. Are you ready, Rock? Ah, 
Spin around in that vortex forever. <laughs> I think it would be so fucking clever. I just wanna spin around and around and around in that vortex forever. Babe. Okay, I'll stop. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. <laughs> You're scaring away everybody. I know, that's why we only have one viewer. <laughs> <laughs> that's me watching it. <laughs> I know, that's me watching it. That's, no, that's, that's me watching it from Daily Dabber 1, because this is Daily Dabber 2. Laura <laughs> Morrison is projected on her channel too. You know the only five people are watching on Ross? I know, right? <laughs> Keith probably has it open in the background. Yeah, I'm on my cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Maybe I should share it. That would probably help. I shared it. I forgot. I, yeah. See, look at that. Look what I just said. What? Keith's back. Is he? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Tell you. Tell you he was lurking. You know, this has been called the Keith Live Show. We want to get his channel name out there. That's basically, we've been saying that all night. You guys might have missed it. We've been repeating it over and over for my boy Keith. We, we, we've totally been promoting my boy Keith all night long. Haven't we been, guys? <coughs> yep. <coughs> Fuck Keith. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Who said that, Jesse? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> Who said Jesse? It was Rudy? Yeah. Bang! <laughs> oh, shit. My! <laughs> we just lost the viewer. <laughs> you said fuck Keith, and we lost the viewer. It was him. It was Keith. He was there? <laughs> No, it was his wife, and he was going to, and she was going to. Oh. Keith TV show, no Keith. <laughs> Be that Keith, the people want you. DDW is the new Keith TV. Dun dun dun. All right, I gotta turn my camera off, though, you guys. <laughs> yeah, we're all gonna turn our cameras off. This might be the last time you see me. <coughs> what? I'm the new Keith. All right, new it's Keith after TV. hours. Hello, everybody. Right. So, what are we gonna do today? <laughs> I'm the new Keith. Hey, everybody. Yo, what am I doing? Hey, my boy, my boy. Hey, oh, you gotta turn your cameras on. I'm the new king. Yeah. What up, yo? Oh, everybody. What up? Oh shit! Hey, look, she's Mexican. Hey, hey. Steve is back to the Mexican weed. He got a good deal just now. All right. Hey, uh, hey. you popping on the camera? I also got some. Uh, what is this? Lemon skunk or some shit? Nice. The other ones. Uh, one. Lemon skunk, some shit. Yeah, and this one's really Lemon good. Man. It's called Bomb Ass Crunch Berry Kush. <laughs> <laughs> I like those names. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to be pressing all crazy next nice. few days. <clears throat> you better. But I'm, I sure as hell ain't pressing this fucking crunch nice. berry or whatever it is. Hell no. <laughs> it's just so expensive. The camera. Huh? The Daily Jabber. We all, we all became surrounded by Keith, so we all have the cameras on. <laughs> oh, man. This stuff almost smells cheesy. We're all going to be like Keith. Dude, I just barely... Really like you just what? I barely became the new surrounded by Keith. <laughs> <laughs> so I, had right. to, I had to turn my camera off. So uh so this is a new format. So this is a new format. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Oh right. you know. I've seen chat entire chats with just uh, on Hangouts a lot with with just icons. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Oh, Crazy Farmer. Hey, it's Why you should change your name to Crazy Farmer. Uh, hey, does everybody know it's dope time? Hit that, you motherfucker. <laughs> is that the clock talking? Damn. Uh, I always see the clock, clock, right? Oh, it's the it's clock for Beauty and the Beast. Somewhere. Yeah. Yep. Cheers. A little bit Cheers. Western Hawaii. <laughs> Make that. You no. know, if there was a way to capture the smell of marijuana, where you could just—I don't know. We need to snake, snake that. It just song. smells good. You know, it's like you want to do something with just the smell, like capture it or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, what are you thinking over there, my boy? I don't know, my boy. What are you thinking? My boy, my boy, my boy. I'm thinking Snake Dab song. Oh, that ah! sounds good. Hey, uh, this isn't live, is it? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Did you check I the... I find a live. My boy. Hey, my yeah. boy. My What's boy. Up, Which What's one? Up, the gypsy one or the cracker? Hey, all of you guys. <laughs> Keith, How I put it in the chat on the on here. I'm all right, thank you. 
appreciate that much. Bring on here. Number two. Fluffy, 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 fluffy. Number two. Mm. Eternal Death Slayer mm. three. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta get robot legs. <coughs> robot legs. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bad. Death Slayer 3. Yo, you know what's so weird? <laughs> that all eight straight guys and only one female in the lobby? Usually it's yeah. all guys. Would you ever hear it that way? Usually all guys. <laughs> He's complaining that there's one female. Oh, Holy no. shit, this is a soft thing. Dude, I thought I was going to get laid tonight, my brothers. <laughs> Fuck. I better just... Late night sex, night sex, night sex. Night. Yeah, or at least for the cyber sex. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dude. Some people might not be familiar with that term if they're a little bit young. That was an old term. Oh, no. Oh, they still say that? I still fucking ask. You want a cyber? You want a cyber? <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> Anybody want a cyber? Jump on the live hangout. We're going to have a cyber. No. Cyber hey, jump on the private no. hangout. Stay down. Be my private. Stay down. What the hell? All right, I'm gonna give controls away to Keith. Oh shit! Uh oh. This is a fucking. It's not letting me. I, I it still won't let me do anything. I know. I haven't. Any hey, that blue. Oh. But you know what? I'm having trouble. I only see. I only... Oh, there you are. Da da da. Yo, hey, uh, farmer. What? How you doing, my boy? Hey, my boy, I'm dabbing, my boy. Look at my dab, boy. Hey, my boy, hot dab, my boy. Where's that dabbing music at? Let's play some dabbing music. <laughs> dab it up, dab it up. Gap City, bitch. 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 I got it. Gap. Gap. Alright. I'm off for the night. Everybody have a good one. Jesse, nice again. Hanging out with you, bro. Very much. No, I'm off. Computer problems, man. It's alright, man. All good. All right, All right. man. Yeah, I right. might be on your schedule tomorrow morning. All right, that's cool. All right, have a good one. I'm a mob. 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 i am a mob i am I started getting calls you know, to get different stuff. And I had to run all these errands. It looks like I just froze up, maybe. I hear you. I don't know. Uh, you apparently there you go. Good, good job playing. Good job playing. I like that. I like that. I like how you're playing your guitar. The acoustic guitar. Hey, you like double that? Double fisting the icicles. <laughs> what happened? I said double yeah. fisting. Oh, yeah. I got two of them.
Keith, you got your you got your uh, playlist ready? I think I saved it. To tell you the truth, he's not here. Keith left. Oh yeah, he got. Yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, he had. Yeah, uh, he had. Yeah, 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 he had. Shows up till after ten. Oh, like six thirty. Oh, people start sitting in by that four fucking thirty in the morning. Is that email or email? Well, mine. Yeah. In email. Oh. Nice piece of glass. Thank you. No, no problem. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. 
the game. <laughs> don't don't cut yourself. It's okay. He actually just he just said something in the uh chat. He's in the chat room. Froze up. Didn't troubleshoot yet because I had to run those errands. Look for you guys when I'm done. Yeah, dude. Once I saw him typing that, like I I stepped back from the ledge, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> He was getting ready to jump. It reminds me of that movie with fucking Jim Carrey. Yo, but I gotta take a break too. I gotta make my lunch for tomorrow. I got Saturday school. What? Do what you gotta do, my boy. So, uh, I'm gonna. You guys all got controls pretty much. Um, I will be back though. Peace out, y'all. Later, bro. We're running live, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be hidden, so it might only let you guys have nine people, but I'm still in hidden, okay? <laughs> Make a banging lunch. Bye. Bye, buddy. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, my boy. Hello. Welcome back. Hello, Mocha. Are you here? Can you hear us? Still here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, the dog was going crazy. I thought somebody was out back. You know, I had to grab a piece and fire off a couple rounds. Fucking shoot somebody for fucking with the plants. Oh man, I just shot off a couple rounds out there. Uh, <laughs> you know, it could have been just an animal, but that was my dog's. You know, someone's out here barking. I was just running luck. Harvest season, you know the jackers are out. Yeah, I've already caught somebody coming up pretty close. But, you know, when you catch them, oh, oh, man, it went the wrong place, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boss, that oh, oh, was... Oh, man. Is you Joe just... here? There's no I mean, this ain't Joe. Larry, Joe? Joe doesn't fucking live here. He's out the <laughs> fucking middle of nowhere, man. Where, how the fuck you get here? Oh, it came over that mountain right there. <laughs> For real, man, because those fucking dirty Americans, they fucking climb up around the fucking mountains around here and spy down on your shit. And you can yeah. shit from the top of the mountains and across the ridges. And uh, I've had a lot of people come and try to fucking bother my ass. It's fucked up. Yeah, it's wild, man. It's a wild west. It ever gets to, like so bad, you actually gotta like camp out there. Oh, I'm camping out there right now. I'm sleeping right by them. As soon as I get up here, I go out there and crash out right next to them. That's cool. Yeah. 
a big old king king size mattress out there. Yeah, that's the way to do it. <laughs> hell, boy, because it's hella cold out there. But yeah, it fucking smells good. You know, he's fucking going to sleep, and it smells like just straight buff. <laughs> <laughs> that like awesome. that deep fucking green smell. Yeah. All right, here we go. Got a glob ready here. Nice old glob. Oh, this is... <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I see the I'm fucking lagging, man. I gotta eat this up some more. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my god! You fun one, no! Fun one. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know what? Fuck this shit. I'm gonna go smoke with you. I'm gonna rub up real quick. <laughs> right on. Oh man, this is so crazy right now. Hold on, give me a second. I'm right back. Alright. This is just the hell. This is the hell doesn't wait, man. <laughs> hold on, hold that dab, man. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, right, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Nice one. I follow you up, bud. I follow you up. Do so. I gotta get high with you. God, man. I want to see the tornado, man. Show me that tornado action. Yo, my brother came in with the clutch with some Wendy's. <laughs> oh, that's what's up. With the fry sauce, even. I had, he got me the, the spicy fries with some, um, some fries. But it, I want the bacon eater fries, man. Them shits are good. Oh, we got a tornado in here. Tornado. That shit is so dope. So dope. Tornado. <coughs> See the action on the clear one, too. Yeah, oh shit. Who's that recycler, uh, who's that recycler done by? No Nego. That's so sick. Let me get some of that tornado action. Oh my god. I'm missing it. You need to go uh, towards you a little bit with the camera. Looks beautiful. No, 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 no. Zoom back. Zoom back. Oh, we're really messing up. Okay, now a little, a little to your right. Yeah, right, right there. there. Right there. Right there. Okay, zoom out one more. Right there. Yeah. Uh, ah! 
beautiful. Beautiful. better. Yeah, I do. I like the clear. It's badass. And it's a little bigger. It's badass because it's a little bigger, too. What color yeah, is that? The other one's a full size. Uh, I think that one's like <coughs> But you got to see that pomegranate one, you know, truly in person to appreciate the red and the sparkliness, I'm sure. Oh yeah. What color is it? Is that a red Elvis? That's red pomegranate. Okay. Oh, here we go. shit. Hi. Hmm? Welcome. No, eat. Go ahead, eat. I'm gonna buy you one. Oh. Ah. There you go. Don't worry. I see it a little bit in there. Oh, all right. Uh, Damn phone. <clears throat> Here we go. Cheers. Nice. Armor, do you see that, bro? Oh my god. Yeah. Beautiful. Very cool. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get the lower quality wax. Don't stop. Just take a big slab and just keep going. The only way I can do that is if I use my reclaim. <laughs> I'm not using no fucking uh, nug run. <laughs> do it again. Hell no. <clears throat> let me get my lower quality trim run. I only got a little bit left of it. Well, but I got a lot of nugger. Hey, do a snake. Do a snake. Again? More nugs. Do another, do it. Just do another snake. No, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Hold on, Well, Hold on. Do Let me turn this one into a snake real quick. Oh. Let me turn it into a snake. It's shattery, so I got to warm it up. Hold on. Oh, okay. See, look at it. It's all stable. She doesn't want to stretch yet. Daily. There you go. Damn. 
Damn. You sure, man? <laughs> Are you sure? Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Uh, the worm's like, help me, help me! <laughs> Damn. I feel like a jet. Oh, jet. <sighs> Uh, <coughs> you want it today, Rudy? You got it. Worm day. No, we gotta follow that up. Worm day. Holy shit! Holy shit, mate! Damn. Damn. Nice little golden piece of love. Hey. Hold on, hold on. There you go. Holy moly. Bob, Bob. Cheers, fellas. Ladies. Cheers, brother. Cheers. Wow, he's <coughs> Worm dead. <laughs> That's what's up. I'll play it for you guys. And if you guys want to hear it. Looking shit Nice. Nice. <laughs> word. Yeah. He just took a word. Damn. Now you. Today is Thug Doug's birthday. Happy birthday, Happy Thug Doug. Happy birthday, Thug Doug, my boy. I made myself a, made myself a salad. It's got bacon. He came right in with the happy birthday. Happy birthday, Thug Doug. <laughs> happy birthday. These are like Tocitos. I got the cabbage and the... Romaine lettuce. Nice. I got my lunch right tomorrow. Yeah, man. A lot of cheese. It's like little shrimp <coughs> cheese. I yeah. like meat. I yeah, like beans. Yes, yeah, sir. I like meat, beans, and cheese. <laughs> hey, That's a nice one. All right, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna make some dinner for now, though. That's coming up. Bang. 
<laughs> okay, where are we at here? Oh, here we're at right here. We just finished segment of the worm dabs. Yep, we're gonna sing another song. Back to back. Um Get it ready here. Here, here. Okay, here we go. Get this. This. Fucking dab marine powerhouse. Jeez, Alaskan chief. If you wanna, if you wanna call me up, Alaskan chief at He's gmail dot com. I'm just joking. He's in a pageant. <laughs> 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 <Email. laughs> <laughs> Ebz twenty at gmail dot com. Hit me up. You guys wanna email me, man? MSN guy. Messenger, MySpace. We got the um, <laughs> MySpace. No, there's there's one before that. I forgot what it was called. Um, it was called Yahoo. No, no, no. MS Hangouts. It started with a B. Oh, Bebo. Bebo! This motherfucker remembers Bebo. Bebo. I couldn't even... It's Bebo. Before MySpace, there was Bebo. If y'all had Bebo, y'all could fuck with me. Dude, I remember if you that. Were Bebo, you're Bebo, probably Bebo and MySpace. Bebo, MySpace before any fucking anything. And then it was Facebook, all this other shit, Instagram, Twitter, all that. All right, we're going to puff a Jaybird. We got a joint roll. Shout out to everybody smoking, man. I didn't get the memo today. It looks like everybody's wearing red. I'm going to slap on a red shirt Dude, tomorrow. Our homie, <laughs> Celebrate. AJ just got off. It's a great day. coincidence. <laughs> that rig, that rig over there is red. Dude. Yeah, I know, it's like all matches. I'm the glass that one. A uh, known ego recycler. Who, who said what? A known ego recycler. All right, all right. What's my lighter? I just. Oh, where'd he go? Where 
the bees, where the bees, where the bees at? Hey. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna smoke this joint like I said. I hope you guys are <laughs> good, man. You guys cool. Alright, we're good. Um I pressed out some weed today, which was cool. Shout out to everybody out there doing rosin tech. Shout out to Daily Dabber doing rosin tech. Hey. Shout out to the BHO smokers out there, man. I fucking had BHO two days ago. I bought a gram. My latest video is BHO and rosin dabs Dude, uploaded check today. So Ooh. Sick. Check out the rectangular crutch. Ooh, what up, bitch? That's a trapezoid, actually. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Smoke that shit. All right, yo, for real though, hey, shout out to everybody watching, man. Shout out to everybody in the uh, GMO, everybody who's not in the GMO, anyone on YouTube, anyone who's not on YouTube, man. Yeah, I fuck with everybody. Thanks for joining. Hey, yeah. anyone who grows some pot, as long as they know how to do it right, I think that shit's legit. If I know how, I'm like, yo, what's your secret, bro? Can I learn your secret? They tell me how to grow. They send me some seeds. Legit. <laughs> Legit. Take a dab, take a dab. I'll bet you don't got stickers like I do. <laughs> Cannabis, 710 dab out. What? Captain Chronic Frosty the dab man. Blaze. Shine. 20 pack of Class A joints. Mm. I know you guys want to smoke a joint. Smoke a joint? Got the connoisseur pack here. We ain't fuck with them regulars. We got the tips. They're not perforated, but come with the papers as well. Wow. What you know about them Wiz Khalifas? Hey. I already know about that, bro. I got the Wiz Khalifa tray right here, and the cookie tray, and the extra large tray, and the mini tray. I dab. Mm. Hey, I know about the tray, though. They come with the built-in tray, though. Yeah. I hey, got the I'm raw tray, too. Raw. I like, uh, like element papers as well. The ones are really very passing I like the element papers. Um, those are good. The uh, thin. Put the mic on screen on top, just in. Oh. Hey, you only hit it once. You're such a baby. Shout out to OCB. Oh, dude, those are classic. Got the king size and. I like those, oh. bro. Oh, and the king size raw. <laughs> Hey, I don't roll a whole bunch of joints. I'm more into dabbing. I still fuck with joints, but when when oh. it's time to me a joint, shout, best out to the, shout out to the BHO. Yeah, for real. Shout shout, shout out to the BHO. Shout out to the Nugs. <laughs> we got it all over here, buddy. We got the rosin. We got the BHO. Yeah, rosin is where it's at. I I mean BHO. BHO gets me more of a medicated high, but when I get like a regular high with rosin, it's just like, you know, it's it's a good high. I like it. Nice, nice. It's, it's clean, but I mean, when I take a dab of BHO, it relaxes my muscles more to where if I'm like sitting at a funny angle, my muscles will be like, dude, chill back. You're like, you're, you're sitting at a funny position. Like, you can't sit like this. Like, I'll, I'll just need to sit back. Yeah. So, but when I when I smoke rosin, it's not usually like it's not as strong. It has a really good strong flavor like BHO, but when when you have good BHO, BHO is fucking killer, dude. BHO. Oh yeah. BHO started the game, dude. Fuck any other extraction. Like I know rosin's a shit. I love rosin, but fuck BHO. I love rosin. You know, it's like it's both ways. <laughs> I fuck with it all. Just... 
Oh shit, the feds are here. The feds are here. Holy shit. Let's get out of here. Yo, close this line. <laughs> Holy shit. Hold, oh, oh. I got it, yo, I got it. Oh shit, dude, they're here. Dude, oh. Easy, easy. What the fuck? Whoa. <laughs> I don't want to go back to Mexico. Hey. <laughs> Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Don't beat me. His name is Daily Dabber. That's all I know. It's Daily Dabber. <laughs> that's, all, that's, all, that's all we want. We just want Daily Dabber. That's all Daily I know. Daily Dabber, come out with your hands up. And <laughs> you, your hash. You have the Ready right to, to remain sober. If you take any dabs before you come, you will be shot. <laughs> He's all Instagramming his last video. Hey guys, I'm about to get arrested here. I'm Does taking it. my ass. <laughs> Does it in Spanish? <laughs> you guys in 90 days, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, shout out to Ra, though. Shout out to Wiz Khalifa, man. We got the papers. Shout out oh, to yeah. Burn. We got the cookie tray right here. Let me get this Dude, stuff out of <laughs> That's what's up. Shout to the cookies, man. Roll up, everyone. Get that weed up in there. Plus, That's Jimmy. Dab's favorite Dan. Roll those cool fucking gadgets. <laughs> Shout out to So You Think You Can Dab. He gave me the idea to get this Millennium Falcon. Oh, the Millennium Falcon. Um, and you know why he told me to get that? Because I have a dab dab tool that lights up. Boom. Uh, light up dab tool is crazy. Yeah, bro, I dab at night in the dark at 3 in the morning. <laughs> uh -oh. You can't see his dab. When I'm yawning. <laughs> Yo, it helps in the dark, for real. Hey, shout out, to, shout out to Freddie Pritchard, the Weed King. Shout out to 707 Killer BHO. Shout out to HB Dab Fellas. Shout out to Magnetoid Rowdy. Shout out to everybody, man. Shout out to everyone. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't even begin to start from A to Z on who I could shout out. It takes me about three minutes. <laughs> Daily Dabber Weekly's up there. He's in the D, so he, he I, I remember it. He's always the last one to come up in the list, but I make sure he's in the list. But like, <laughs> I, 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 I sent him, I sent him a dab saver, so like, I I know he's GMO. <laughs> so like, he he's always he's always down, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. He's hosting That's this right. motherfucker right now. That's what. That's I'm right. We're we're on his shit right now. No, I'm gonna take a dab for Daily Dabber Weekly. Hey, I appreciate it. I'm gonna take some Girl Scout cookie. Damn. That. Daily Dabber is my homie, bro. Every one that motherfucking daily dab, damn motherfucking dabber. If it wasn't for HB Dab fellas, I would never know about Daily Dabber Weekly. Real talk. HB Dab fellas showed me follow who was Weed Tube and who wasn't. You know, like who's real. He said, he said, you know who you are, and you know, and you know. <laughs> that's, how, that's how you know it's real. You know who you are, but you know who you ain't. Yeah? I do. Cheers. Got a dab here too. Let me get a dab in. Cheers. Cheers, man.
Cheers, Daisy. <coughs> Oh, it's going here with the lightsaber. With the chillum carb cat. EBZ, I am your dabber. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Little in and out snack. Homie. What up, homie? They're wild and out. Dude, he was punching me first. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to Hey, yeah, right, don't yeah. tell on him, all right? Yeah. Is it cold up there in Eskimo land? Hey, it oh, snowed. Yeah, it's cold. It snowed yesterday, but it didn't stick. It, 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 so it's not it's not there no more, but <laughs> give it a couple days. We're going to be having a Holy Halloween shit, party. It was 98 <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> yeah. I hope they have more of this Girl Scout cookie tomorrow. I'm buying it all. Hey, actually, hey, give me a presentation. I want to solve this here. All right. Do it. I'll do it too. Go ahead. That has like double big blocks on it. That's not yeah. real. Oh man, this is a good one. No. I need to get a couple different pieces out the way. I know I could do it though, just give me a second. Alright. I got these two right here. And yep. the orange. I'm gonna keep going now. I gotta get this orange piece. Orange, blue, and red. Come on, come on. Get that L shape there. Okay, yeah, right here. So like that. You see that this one? Yeah. Okay, now I keep moving with the orange. Gotta line up everything else. Oh, bottom stalls. This one's not right though because this is orange, but this has to be green and red. Because green's right here and red's right here. Orange is right, but this piece has to be right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, he's moving too fast for me. <laughs> Are you fast forwarding it, or is that how fast he's moving? Uh, no, that's how fast he's moving, dude. What up? Surrounded by dabs, what? <laughs> How's it going, my Alaskan brother? Doing good. I'm doing this cube here. It's Mefford's Challenge. I'm trying to get this. I know I'm doing the same thing over and over, but it works. Trust me. Oh, yeah. There's like a pattern. And then I think the ending one is a little bit different, though. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. I could solve it when I was five and I knew the pattern. But now I can't solve it. Nice. Sweet. This guy. He did it. How long did it take? Um, probably about two minutes, maybe. Nice. Yeah, it's just it's fun to mess around with. It's, it's dope. It's crazy that it has those big blocks on it. It says right here. Let me see if I can get the letters. M E F F E R T S challenge. Trick. 
look it up. You'll be able to find the algorithm. There's literally only one way. With the um, regular Rubik's Cube, there's actually, like, I mean, you could do it in two or three different ways, but this one, there's, like, once you once you figure out the algorithm to get it back to what it was, this is the longest piece because it has these lines that go all the way up and down and then all the way over side. So if you look at this line, it's continuous, right? Right. No break. Yeah. And then you go to that same piece, red, yellow, green. Just look at that. That's the only corner piece that's the smallest one. Right. Anywhere, anywhere where this piece is at, it's going to be able to move in mostly of all direction because it's it's right where that piece is. Uh. If, this, if this piece is over here, there's restriction on like you know on somewhat of the pieces, so you can't you can't right. yep, you can't go to turn it. So, but um. Drop breaks. <laughs> it comes apart, and then you can figure out how it's built. They're actually glued together, and this is all like one pallet. You know. Uh, go ahead. Go for it. You sure? Oh sure, okay, go for it. You can it with your own. But yeah, I'll put it back together. It's just two pieces. If I could see it, I can't see. I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> He's going down. Yeah, Where did he go? Another corona, but I forgot we gave one to Nathan. Remember? I really can't see because of my hair. Why? What are you looking for, Ernest? Another Rubik's Cube piece. I just popped it up. Oh, it's right here on the table. I have your GMO tools <laughs> on there. I know. You might, you might step on Not cool. But yeah, hey, I don't always cheat like this. I solved it before I took it apart. <laughs> I swear. I swear. <laughs> but yeah, I swear. I was just showing Please. that. I was just showing that to you guys so you could see like the. But like I said, when there's restrictions, yeah. wherever this little corner piece is, it shows the lines of where it has more possible turns. So wherever this is at, so if you turn this, like, or let's say, let's turn it, let's turn it um, all the way upside down. So right here, this little red, yellow, green piece now has access across this whole bottom line. At first, it was at the whole top line, but now it, it, it's restricted right here because that's the bottom piece. Oh. So those lines right there, this piece can slide. It could rotate like that. Yeah. But if you turn it up like this, this is my it doesn't. Idea. It doesn't have that line there, but that line's all the way there, like the top line. But if you turn it upside down, this right. line has a break. Right there, but this this piece isn't at the top. But if it's at the top, it would have that restriction right there. Yeah, that's what you get from that one versus the real Rubik. I like the regular one. Those ones, the stickers always fall off. So if uh. I had if I had one like this that had just like all the way three by three by three, that one would be really nice because these these slide. Big one. You do a little six by six. Oh, I've done a five by five, a two by two. Um, they actually have this one. It's like um, AJ, come on. It's three D. It's like a, a circle inside of a circle inside of a circle. Yeah. They, yeah, that one. That one's crazy. I forgot what that one's called. Say. I could do that one. I could do all the rest of the other ones. I can't do a seven by seven. I've done a five by five. No, no, no. Four by four. Uh, That's a puzzle. That one's a puzzle. <coughs> That's a real puzzle right there. Like, holy shit. The dab marines are looking strong, man. They're, they're doing good, yeah. Um... I, I'm actually out of beer. <laughs> I, 
hooked up some homies earlier. How about half? You want to do half? Split it? Kill that shit. All right, he wants me to do the whole thing. I need to do, I need to do last. Where are you? Who, me? Yeah. At home? I could do that, but it needs a rinse. A hot rinse. Same thing? Same. All right, no. Rinse the boot then, yeah, all right. All right, we're going to do a dab marine. My homie's going to, my cousin, he's going to wash my boot. It's a plastic <laughs> boot. It's supposed to be the DOS boot, but it's only um, 28 ounces. So it's two beers plus four ounces, so 24 ounces plus four, 28. That's what's up. Yeah, I just, beer doesn't settle right in plastic compared that it would to glass. Like, all right. It doesn't taste right at all. Like, I like to be out of... Somebody like... was on earlier, and they said they were banning glass, and they had a big 40-ounce at a Miller High Life, and it was plastic. It was a plastic yeah. bottle. Yeah, I that see... was pound 83. I yeah. seen a 40-ounce today, and it was plastic, and it was Old, old English. Yeah. You know, what the hell is this? I was like, is that a... Is that... 24 ounce or 30 ounce? Or like, no, it says 40. I was like, is it plastic? He was like, yeah. I was like, whoa. No. <laughs> That's crazy. Whoa. That doesn't okay. taste good. It doesn't taste good, but hey, man, if you got to get what you got to get, do what you got to do. 83 seemed to like it. You, you know, chug it, chugging I, it down. I'm drinking beer out of plastic. I, I like the glass and the can, but most <laughs> of the time I do like the glass and then... um. If, if there's good deals on the cans, those ones get really, 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 really cold fast compared to glass. All right. Glass is good for, like, if you have, like, you know, just a refrigerator, just have some space, and you're going to save some for a day or two later, and you got some cold beers. It's nice to pop open a cold cold glass long neck of beer or something, you know? All right. I'm not doing it every day, but I will be for this month. Thank you. Um, October Fest. October Fest. I was just going to say. I'm going to do a different beer every single day. Like, I'm not going to drink like whole like fucking 10 beers, 6 beers. I'll maybe have one or two a day. But um, I'm pretty high right now because I had some beer earlier. <laughs> so guess what? We're, we're going to add one more. And then we're going to do a dab marine here. We got the crumbly. It's like wax crumble. I don't know. Holy boy. Let me see if we get this. Like a monster dab. It's good. It's, it's good stuff. I like it. And um, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Huh? Is that rosin? No, it's BHO, my friend. Uh-oh. And look, what do we have here? Zibu. A boot. That's boot. That looks right. nice because it's not those giant ones, so you can do it with like a small, you know, get together too. 28 OZ. Yeah. You know how to play the game with that? No, sir. What do you do? Bounce a quarter? No, no. Uh, you fill it up, and basically, if it, if it, well, I guess it depends on the boot too, maybe. If it splashes back after you take a sip or whatever, if it kind of does like a splash back, you basically lose. So everybody's like trying to uh, drink it slowly. Or oh, wait. I'm trying to press it out. Is that the way it plays? I forget. There's a game. There's some game. Some drinking game. And I tried pressing it out. I tried. Torch torch Dude, I tried jamming with the sponge in there in my middle. Finger. I need to get this den out. I know a torch will kind of pop the bubble. If you ever get a beer pong, you know the little fucking the little ping pong balls. If they get a dent, if you have it like you dip it in water and slowly move the lighter of it, it inflates that little ball. So if I do it with this, I'll be able to fucking get that den out. It's not it's not bad of a dent though, but it'll probably fuck up the bubble. I, I must have cooked it or something yesterday because it didn't have that dent. That's only half though. I only got this is this was the last one. Twelve ounces, a little bit, almost keen. Four ounces, keen right there. 
It'll do the job. I lost the dab already. Holy shit. Oh, no. On the right. I see you said over to the right. Bro. It's like to the right, close to you. Like right in front of you. I see you have it there. There's nothing left. There's like no table. Like. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's on the floor. You're right. Oh. Any hair? No hair. No hair. Good. Good job. Maybe one. Safe. Let me grab it. Look, we're good. We're good. Hold on. Nothing. It's so hard to see. That's what's up. I believe you. We're good. Yeah, you're right. To the right. Damn, I fucking knocked it over. Well, damn, hey, I feel like the man of the hour right now. Dude, this is cool as shit. <laughs> uh, should I? You got an audience. You got two audiences. I'll use this rig. Yeah, this is cool. Hold on. Technically three. For the fuck's sake, he's just a wizard. Look at He's sleeping. He's camping. <laughs> he's GTFO. Oh, <laughs> Anyone's just up to KO. That's crazy. TFO, Deb the fuck out. TFO sitting on a dresser. What? 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 Wow. Take his picture. Take his picture. I can't. Hold on. I'm trying to get a CK while I get it closer. All right. Hold on. Oh, oh. Rosa's smoking his face. Turn the yeah. light on. Turn the light on. No. All right. Can we see this guy? No, make sure. We got him. Perfect. Oh, we got him. Oh. Oh. Hola. Where did he go? He's gone. What the hell happened? He's smiling. <laughs> that could never happen. What is he doing? Okay, let's see what you got. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> hey, hey, hey. No yelling. No yelling in the house. Hey. <laughs> you heard that one. Hey. Oh. Hey. Craig. Okay, I'll let you get him back. Hey! Okay, Cheers. Come on now. I'm going to do it. I'll let you get me back get on camera. Get him back. Hey, let, hey, let on him. On camera. Get him on camera. Hold on, wait. Sit down. Hey, don't, don't. No backhand. What are you doing? Hey, gay. Where are you going, dude? Yo, go check him out. Go check him out. Did you get a puke? Go check him out. Yo! What are you doing? Oh, awesome. Don't play in my kitchen, bro. <laughs> Don't play in my kitchen, bro. <laughs> Beezy's on the move. Beezy's on the move. <laughs> oh, so sorry, is that bugger? <laughs> we got some uh, sourdough. We got some chicken. We got some ribs. All right, after we're good. Uh, all right, he's gonna get slapped back. All right, so no more yelling, please. Because we got some kids up in there. What? No, that's not no kid. I swear. I'll shut my door. All right, Dad Marine, the boot, while they're outside, they're smoking a cigarette. <laughs> he woke him up to smoke a cigarette. <laughs> hey, it's time to smoke. <laughs> this is so funny. funny. That was awesome. Let's do this. So, like, he slapped him and it, he just got him, dude. He's got him. <laughs> I've been woken up like that. I had dicks drawn on my arm. I punched a hole in some kid's wall. This is about two years ago. And it was all because they do they drew drew something on my face, but I did I didn't hurt no one. I was like, yo, don't draw on me. They're like, you fell asleep with your shoes on. I looked at my feet and I swear I was wearing socks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck made this rule book? <laughs> After that, they stopped drawing on people. 
I, I paid for the hole in the wall, too. This homie's dad was on vacation, but... Man, we were watching, <laughs> we were watching the Super Bowl, have a good time. It was his chick's birthday. I punched a hole in the wall. It's like, man... <laughs> dumb little, dumb little motherfucker. Cheers. Nothing he says. Ah. Successful. If it was if it was two beers, it would give it that where you have to like turn it. Yeah. Bubbled right when I started, so I didn't have to like. Right. Technique. But, you didn't have to throw the technique in there. I want to get a glass one, but that'd be fucking. I don't want to break it. Uh. I don't want to break it. <laughs> Damn. My, my, my cousin's going to sit down and let that guy slap on camera, I guess, because he woke him up. That guy, he was he was in, like, the halfway house, not, not jail or whatever, but, like, you know, the state was telling him where he had to sleep or whatever. You know, he slept there. Right. So he never had the chance to smoke and get high for about six to eight months or something like that. <laughs> Drinking, smoking beer, trying rosin, smoking weed. And then he said, she started passing out right there at the chair. And then my cousin slapped him up. They got to they gotta catch a bus here in like 10 minutes. I told him. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? It's 9.30, what about the bus? <laughs> Are you going to catch a cab? Oh shit, Dragoon turned into a Smurf. Talk to him. <laughs> Is that what I look like? Yeah. Oh, damn. I'll probably, I'll probably pay for their cab home. It's only 20 bucks. That's what's up. I mean, they got money too, but still. They, they, yeah, they, they hooked me up. I hooked them. They go over back to where he's at. My cousin stays. They're going to go there and burn. Hey, I'll pay for you. I'll pay for you. <coughs> yeah, it's only 20 bucks. It's not no 50 bucks or nothing else. <laughs> that should be ridiculous. I'm so glad Anchorage is kind of small, you know? Kind of small shit for the hunger and shit. I walked from west side of this house. This was like almost midtown. It took me two and a half hours. I was drunk as fuck. I left the house. Minutes. Hey, no, hey, I just got paid for the cabbage one. We don't mm -hmm. got no more, more drink. We don't get more drink. It was closed at 2. I already went to I can go again. Yeah, AJ could go. You need some hey, TAC. Door. Dude, AJ's <laughs> fine. All right, yeah, I know. Just give him 20 bucks and whatever you want. I have to give you 20 bucks too for the cab. Yo, I could. That's what I'm saying. So like, what? Oh, we can't, we can't, we can't it's get so away. hard. Should I come back? Yeah. What time are you leave? Um, did you need to come over tomorrow? Because Adrian's gonna be stuck with me for like two days. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> ain't no, ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Because we still gotta get AJ's shit. From well, I'm just. I mean, if you're gonna catch the bus, or you're gonna cab it with some man. Not catch the bus. Okay, yeah, it's 9.30, I was just saying. So, you got about, like, 15? No, we got 10. 10? 10 to be sure. Okay. Well, that's legit, though. Hey, thanks for that fucking Miller that did that DOS boot. Yeah. Uh, fucking fix this now. Look, you got to get that. Dude, you got to work on that. I got to put this in there. Look, this will get that poke out, I said. Look at that. Can you get some I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pluck that little fucking dent out of there with this. Gum, please. Oh, it's too short. I need he something. He was. I need something strong. I can't. No homo. I can't blow it though. <laughs> can't. I can't. <laughs> Stick your hand in there. It's not big enough. Huh? 
I can't reach that little. Uh, it's good practice, though, right? <laughs> My boy. <laughs> what? If they all can fit, I say no. All right. I really need to get this out. <laughs> What's in there? I was in. Uh, I was talking to my wife. What's it? What's in there? Just a dent. I think if I just give it a little heat under there with a lighter, it'll come right up. Put some yeah. water in there. It has to be pressurized at the bottom though, because if it's not, you just get the dent out with a hammer. Press on the top to stay down, like with your fist. Yeah. Hey, BZ. Did you hear me? Pressure. Yeah, the like pressure. Press, press, press. Anybody hear me? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Remember you did that lava lamp or maybe, yeah, lava lamp bong? Do you still have that? Look at it. It's working. Don't yeah, I do. I do have the lava <laughs> I really like that. That one. It's dope. Holy oh, peasy. He figured it out. No, no fucking way. That's so cool. All right, so I kind of got it. Not as much as good as it should, but... Dude, that's practically perfect. You see how it was dented, though? Yeah. Just nice. I had to burn it some, but it's not It's not fully burnt. You got some water? Cold water? No? Cold water? Pull out some beer. Put some beer in there. Oh, it's so I was so good. There's some alcohol in there. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, it's good. I, I can touch it now. I still purple. It was so flimsy, it was about to poke through. Like, it was, if I touched it, it would have melted through. But it took that dent out. I'd go buy another one. They're six bucks. That's why I want a glass one. But I don't want to break the glass, so. But this still works. It still works. But, yeah. If you, if you ever get a ping pong ball and you're playing pong, and you literally Dude, only have. Out right now. Right. That's. That's not cool, but it's our not. It's it's cool, but it's not cool. You know what I mean? We're gonna come over tomorrow. Front door, back door, front door. Front door, back door, front door. Front door. All right. Um. Yeah, when you do that with pong balls, though. Dude, you got the fucking cushion. If you if you're playing, you don't have to worry about that. Just grab it there. So don't. I I'll, I'll get the trash, bro. Get you right home. But yeah, when you're playing pong and your ball yeah, deflates, yeah, you only got two balls. Take a lighter, but don't. Literally hit the flame, but get close enough to where the air inflates it, and it'll it'll as long as it's pressurized that there's no hole in the pong ball, you should you should be able to um kind of reinflate the ball because the plastic's kind of burning and creating something in there. If you don't you don't fully want to burn it though. Later. Yo, my bad. I ended the presentation. <laughs> I, I was trying to press the mute, and I ended up hanging up. <laughs> I was just going over here to lock the door. But now I'm cool. Hey, this was a fun, fun, fun show. And um, what are you guys smoking on? Man, I feel like I've been talking like a motherfucker. That's a good thing. We like to listen. I want yeah. I want to I want to be free. Let me let me check out these tattoos. You want to see the tattoos? We got ourselves Mount McKinley right here. Uh. The diamond. Friday the Thirteenth tattoos. Big Dipper. And you see I have the diamond right here on the other hand. I have. Hey, wow. Or see Alaska. Alaska's like right here. I'd have to like flip camera like this. I can show you like that. Uh, That's the best one. The northern lights in there, the mountains, the water at the bottom, the outline, the shadow on the side. Yeah. On the other hand, um, I got this uh, little spider web, another Friday the 13th. 
um, a nice flower. It's got red, yellow, green, green with blood tip, uh, dipped in blood, you know, leaves. Yeah. Last name? Face. And then on the outside of that one, let me show you. Got the goat, goat head, because I'm greatest of all time, G O A T. The, um, the zodiac for my actual, or this is the constellation of my zodiac. It's a. Uh, Capricorn, hey, what's up? Yeah, the um, Capricorn is actually a goat that has has the two back legs of a mermaid. So instead of legs, it has like a tail. So it swims under water. But the 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 front is a goat. So that's why I got this right here. And this is the, the zodiac sign for it, and then the rest of the flower, you know. That's nice. Oh uh, yeah, it's it's it's. It's almost like two G's worth inside and out. And pretty much one person do all the work. Um, I went to like two, or, two or three different shops. To That's what's up. It was it was nice. So I'm gonna still get more soon. I got more zodiac tattoos and more Alaskan tattoos and more constellation tattoos to come. Right on. I actually want to get that molecule tattoo, the THC molecule. That's dope. Yeah. It's in my blood. It's in my skin. Hey, I was I was born when I was born at the hospital. Day one, there was marijuana in my system. <laughs> the government, the government was trying to take me and my sister, who was born before me, away uh. from, away from my mom and dad. My mom took me and my sister to the village. And then the people the people called the number that was registered to my parents and my dad told them, Hey, my wife my wife left to the village with the kids, they took off them they're never coming back. So the government wouldn't bother us no more or whatever. But then wow. we, we actually came back and then they were trying to take me and my sister away from my parents. Oh boy. But I crazy. crazy. Both my parents were kind of living in adopted situation. Like um, my dad, his his mom died when he was young, and then his dad did too, but he got adopted. And then my mom, when she was born, her mom or whatever, take care of her, and she was adopted into another name. So both my parents got adopted into a different last name, but me myself. I have both of my parents' last names, so it's like I got names from four four generations of like generations, right? Wow. And not only that, I have the same name as my dad, so I'm a junior, and I have a middle name, so my name goes all the way across the board. Generations. Yeah. That's cool. That's pretty cool, but um, it's it's crazy. Like I'm, I'm glad to still be living here, um, with with my dad. And um, my mom, she's not here right now. She moved out, but she's still doing good. Still doing good. Good. But um, I I had to stay here in the city. That's where my dad lived, and um, parents parents went at it. I, I chose to stay here where I had and friends and more more family, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's nice though. It's nice here in this city. I like it because there's more to do. Yeah. You don't have to be on the outskirts and have like a fucking dog sled team and everything. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> munchies. We got some munchies. Bread. Uh. Hey VZ, you you were mentioning the village. Is that basically native land? Um, I think so. Yeah, like there's not a lot of whole. Like you can't even drive there. You have to get there by plane. There's wow. still you can get like phones out there and stuff. I think you have to come come to the city and buy it and then get the connect out there. But 
they have a one school in the village and out here there five, six schools, two or three, four middle schools, eight elementary schools, you know. I don't know why you you were breaking a lot, breaking up a lot. Yeah, could be that the farmer is making a lot of noise, and it's cutting into you talking. Oh, he just muted himself. Maybe, yeah. Maybe try now. Oh yeah, it's I much better. I think it. I think it was his camera. I was just saying, in the city. There's more high schools, middle schools, and elementary schools compared to the village. In the village, there's probably only one school that covers K through 12. Damn. Yeah, I worked in a school in the middle of nowhere, and uh, it was like 300 kids maybe from kindergarten to eighth grade. A really small school. I was the librarian slash computer technician. Uh -huh. IT administrator. I don't know what the position name was, but I was the computer guy for the whole school. Dragoon, I muted you j for just a second. Just a second. Unmute and then you'll be good. We can't hear uh, normally his microphone or whatever he has problems where we can't hear him very well but we can hear all the noises around him like when he moves around and stuff if he picks up something that's a little noisy we hear it perfectly <laughs> I, I, I don't understand it it's the beard it's the beard getting in the way it's the beard getting in the way that's why it scruffles it oh the mic is actually like right here see that's why Oh, put it on your forehead. Houston, come in, come in. Put it on your forehead. <laughs> hey, Doug, Doug. Doug. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, Doug, Doug. Doug, Doug, Doug. You guys want to see the shirt that they gave me, Doug, Doug? Oh, oh yeah, I've seen him before, but let's see it again. The Rosin King shirt, that one's dope. Mic check, uh, what's his name? Farmer's trying to do a mic check. Why don't you sing us a song or something and we'll know for sure. Yeah, you want to hear some songs? I got you. HB. Oh, no, I don't know. What's uh, up, HB? Give me a worm, dab. HB, give me a worm, dab. Dude, that sounds good. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. I love it. Although it is coming out better. Ice me, ice me, ice me, ice me! Yeah, fellas, don't get mad, fellas. Dope shirt, BZ. Never get mad, guys. Oh, yeah. I'd say you should hang it up, though, instead of folding it. Yeah. So you don't get that crease in it. That would have been a great idea. Hold like a, it for just like about a week or two. Thank you for the intro, Dragoon. That's Every time. I like that shirt, Munchies. Hey, hey, look man. at it. Look at it. Look at it. No crease now. Perfect. Hey, I'm the cookie monster, homie. I got the cookie backpack. Uh oh. Cookie hey. monster. Hey. Show them, show them that silica rig you got there, homie. All right. Oh, is it happens to be right in my my reach. Hello. Hey, what's up? You got that? We're show about to be money bro. Oh, that thing's clean. We're about to be money brothers. Tell them. Hey, money we're brother. gonna get a pulse fab money rig from Pulse. So not only that, it's a pulse. It's a Fabergé egg. And wait, what's else? What else? It's a money. So yes. It's, it's, it's 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 three different designs. I mean, it's it's professional. So I mean, it ain't your, it. It and ain't it's exclusive as shit. Hey, it ain't your standard priced rig. It's seven ten. Yeah, oh, it, it like, yeah. The, like the dad time. Oh. I've seen it. So we have them in our local stores here. 
Hey, are we gonna are we gonna have to call us the Seven Ten Boys? They have them in Red Elvis and Green Slime. I'm getting Red Elvis. That that's a good selection at Dank Stop, yes sir. But um, our homie <laughs> Merck can help us out. Our homie Merck's. Milk the- shot glass. Yeah, you can also get them in I think Purple Rain and Orange. Hey, I'm getting Blue Stardust. Wow. There you go. So there's other, there's a couple of other ones too. And right now, Beezy, I yeah. call dibs. If you're ever selling it, I'm calling dibs. They call. I mean, they also have crushed opal. My bad. But yeah, I hear you. But yeah, in Alaska, Rudy, we got this thing called the permanent fund dividend. They give you um some money. Uh-huh. Nice. Go. I'm going to buy one for sure from my homie, and he's going to hook it up. Hey, man, that's dope. Guess what? Hey, guess what? Over here, over here we got the HB plan. Hey. I, I know. Okay. And if you're down with the HB, Davalon, you won't be mad, Davalon. Hey. We got the relief. FEMA. <laughs> I met this guy today, and his name was Benjamin. <laughs> you know, and his was he with his friend? Hey, I met. Hey, I I happen to know his brother, his twin brother, Jackson or Benjamin. I oh, yeah. I got his third Uh-oh. brother. There we go. Oh, we got triplets. I got his other homie too. Oh, oh wait, let's get a crispy. Let's get a crispy on there. Hold on. Hey, I got a taped up one. Does that mean it's worth more? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's double, double boy. Slide one of those in, don't you? Hey, shout out to Melt Shot Glass. Shout out to Merck's the Prophet. Shout out to HB Dad Fellas. Shout out yes, to yes. HighFiveVape.com. Shout out to Smoke Therapy down in Texas. Uh! Uh, peace of mind in Alaska. They're hooking me up sometimes, you know. I man, I get my deal. I get my pendants. I get my re- get my nails. I get my dab tools. They hook it up. They do. Nothing but love. Smoke therapy, though. I heard about that in your video. They go hard, man. That's my boy Mike G. Oh, yeah, we got one of those down here. We call it Bus Smoke Shop. They got all the heady shit there. Hey, you been to Sky High Gallery yet? Yeah, in Tempe. We just had Elbow and Derby. I'm so jealous. That shit was amazing, bro. The fucking piece they did was a T-Rex with the fucking uh, with Derby colors. It was. Oh, the cactus? Yep. Oh, my God. You were there for that? Yeah. It was in my town. Of course you I was there. Elbow Derby? Yeah. Oh, my God, dude. Derby Home and Elbow Glass. Oh, my God. You got to see them live. Yeah, they do fucking they had a they built an actual stage for them. Why can't I live in Arizona? I, I have Come on, fam- dude, move on down. I have family down there, dude. I've been vacation down there. I got sunburned down there. I heard, <laughs> women, I heard the women are beautiful. It was amazing. Hey, amazing. Albro bought a he brought his fucking T Rex that changed colors. Bro. I the fucking name of it. At the airport in Arizona, man, I was even like 16, 17. There was hot girls everywhere. I was like, dude, Alaska. Yeah. Arizona. What the like, fuck? How about the dragoon? Would that ugly, satisfy you? Ugly girls in Alaska. I don't know about none of them in Alaska. Ugly guys? Is, is too? Dragoon asleep. Uh, I got all you was done, son. Okay, well, here goes a hit for you. I was just joking. There's beautiful girls in Alaska. Real beautiful. Hell yeah, there is. They hang out there by the, uh, by the ice hole. Go to the ice hole? You go to your igloo and you, you know, lie down and take care of business. That's how you, that's how you generate heat. <laughs> right? <laughs> Got to be careful not too much because, you know, that igloo will melt. Oh, uh, then you'll be as wet as her. Hey, but that's a free bath after. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys.
you yeah. know, though, that's not a bad idea. You could probably charge for something like that, you know? People uh, walking in an igloo and then wind up in, like, a... It'd be cool if you could somehow go from an igloo to a hot spring, like up there. I don't know if they got hot springs. Sure they do. The hot springs. Huh? Just joking. <laughs> I've never been to one like, you know, whatever they call them. We have one here, Keith. Where? Uh, I forgot where. I'm not where we have. Just look it up. It's fucking... Oh, yeah. The canyons, right? <sighs> I'm trying to remember the resort. It's a resort. God, I'm getting a drink. I've been there. What the fuck is it called? La Paloma. I don't think there's hot springs there. Usually, I'm talking about like, you yeah, know, it's freezing it cold outside. It. It's natural? Yeah, look it up. La Paloma, is that, uh, that's way up there north, right? Right, uh, mm -hmm. right up the foothills of, uh, Catalina Mountains. Yeah, well, just Google Tucson Hot Springs or whatever the fuck Yeah. Yeah, yeah I thought... I heard of a place that was like halfway up the mountain, um, and it's something something canyon, something like that. I don't we know if it's have, hot though. We probably have a couple of them. Yeah. We have a lot of shit here, dude. Yeah, but I'm talking about when it's like you know you're in Alaska up on some mountain or you know in the mountainous areas and you get a bunch of hot springs and it's hot as hell. That's What's in that? Russia. That's in Russia? I'm yeah. Gonna no. I'm gonna Shout out to the Russian models on in my Instagram showing me love. You got Russian models? Man, you know Everybody's a model on Russia, bro. I just started my Instagram. I need to find them Russian models. Yeah, man. Uh, Czechoslovakia will be going hard, too. Shout oh, out yeah. to the Czechoslovakians where I was born. What's up? The prettiest ladies in Europe. You know it. Freakiest, too. <laughs> oh, you so you've seen all those videos? Or you've been there? Or what? No, I ran into a couple chicks. Mm hmm. And Ukrainian <laughs> chicks, too. Those dot coms. Hey, let's put it like this Chicks ain't for kids. <laughs> 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 so you like you like the the white meat, huh? I like it all, man. I won't lie to you. I I, I'm, I don't discriminate when it comes to what's on my plate. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I can't do it, man. I I I I, I find something cute about uh, all nationality women. Like I met a cute uh, African American chick at Best Buy the other day. She was. Long, you know, light skin, tall, cute. I told her about HB Dad Fella. She was really interested. Yeah, I, I hung out with some black girls, and they're interesting, right? right? Cool, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it, they're different. That's for sure. <laughs> I like that though. Like, I kind of dig it. Like, I get along. I like everyone though. I I dig these Asian chicks. I know, you know a couple of these Asian chicks. Yeah. Where are they from? The Philippines. I want to say Philippines, and I blew it with one. I like, cause there's like a thicker one and a thinner one. You know. Yeah. I like the Burger King Black Whopper boy. I got, I got greedy. I could have had the Whopper Junior for sure. All right. I could have had the Whopper Junior, right? <laughs> But you know me. I went for the Whopper with everything and cheese on it. Uh, you see that black Whopper? Okay, so I got greedy. I wanted the extra cheese, everything on it, onion rings, everything. Take the cheese. I wanted a shake. I wanted a shake with those fries. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. So uh, I want to eat that exotic. I'll dip the fries in the shake, man. I got greedy and went for the for the full meal deal when I should have took the Whopper Junior in the dollar menu because it was still delicious. And um, 
I uh, going for the gold. Another little dude slid in with the old girl while, cause that guy had asked her on a little date the other one, and I just never followed up on it. I could have. Bad move. She's cute. Uh, yeah. Are they a little dark skin, like tan? Um, I want to say a little darker than a. Okay. Movie. So that's like Thailand and Philippines. You know what? The thick one is really cute, man. The really thick one is like, but even the thin one is the thin one has like these colored eyes. Like kind of a natural type Filipina looking chick, you know? Like real natural. Like she doesn't wear makeup all the time. See, the thicker ones always make I think the thicker one's a stripper. <laughs> Yeah. Well, especially if they're from Bangkok or some other places in Thailand, you know, where they get shit. Everybody's, you know, making money. I mean, the women. They're hot. Man. You know, they they both look good. I'm, I'm also into, yeah, I love white women. I why, How could I hate them? They're beautiful like any other race. I'm totally into white women. So white ladies. Y'all want some extra salsa. Y'all want some salsa with that. I get a little extra spicy. You need you need some some fajita seasoning on top of that. Some chorizo. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm gonna let Keith go there. <laughs> yeah, but um, uh, I love Latina women. Shouts out. <clears throat> let me not forget my Latina women. They'll kill me. Love <laughs> I love, see, I love them all. You see, I'm being honest. I mean, I'm even like, I met this one chick from Israel, bro, and she was gorgeous, man. Oh, those women are cute. Gosh. There's just something about them, too, you know? Blonde hair, blue eye beauty, man. She, she How about it. Arabian women? I, You know what? Interesting, you brought that up. I went to a a bar this weekend on uh, Sherlock's and um there was a group of Arabian women having drinks you know five of them yeah. all all American doubt all educated all yeah. like I was yeah. so turned on man they look I wanted in on that yeah Chicago had a big uh, Arab population with mosques and shit all around it I went to school with a bunch of them, and uh, oh yeah, the guys I hung out with, their sisters, hot as hell, all the chicks in the school. I mean, some were, you know. Something mysterious about that, right? They were very Americanized, but away from their parents. Their parents were strict as all hell, man. But, you know, they get out there, whatever, you know. Yeah, I know. Just like we all did. They're Americans at the end of the day. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, damn, I'm hitting all races here. What's left? That's what I'm trying to, yeah, trying yeah, to think okay. here. Okay, wow. So you confirm me that HB likes them all? Almost. Let me see here. What do we got? German. How about? My German ladies. My, I have a following of German models that I, that, uh, that I link up with on Instagram. No big deal. I just like the pictures and they uh, request to follow me, but. That's about it. Nothing major. Yeah, German. But I'm into I'm into them. I'm into German models, so Germans put them up there. Yeah, there's uh, definitely a lot of women uh, making money in Germany. I was watching a documentary about it, and they're all hot. They're like model quality women walking the streets, and it's like you would never even notice. You know how over here or you know, whatever big cities might have that. They're all kind of trashy looking. Maybe but here it's like everyone needs money everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's true, right, Dragoon? The oldest profession. Don't they say that's the oldest profession? Money everywhere. Yes. If it that was that money. wasn't true, if that wasn't true, my man Dragon would have never got laid. <laughs> oh shit. I had to get you drag on, my bad. I apologize. It was a good one. It was good, though. Give it to me. You have more 20 than that, bro. I'm just playing with you, drag on, right? Like, it, was, it was a failed attempt at a joke. 
Okay. But anyway, uh, all seriousness. Okay, I got one for you. Aboriginals from Australia. Wow. Look wow. it up if you don't know. Wow. That one's a challenge. There's only like one out of a hundred chicks in that from those people. Wow. That's cute. Wow. He killed the dragon. You know what I'm talking about? The black people of, uh, in, in Australia? I know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> He's that. <laughs> I gotcha. <laughs> Do I get to choose the pick of the litter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a little bit harder, you know, than the rest I of I got you in right there. <laughs> No, I looked them up on the internet. There's some models, and you know they're not bad looking, but for the most part, they just got some. Uh, they got the ugly gene. They got that half mixture gene, is what it is. That's true. It's like half white, half black, melted and mixed. Like, yeah, they got blonde hair and shit sometimes. Red yeah, hair. It's like, it's like queso and 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 bean dip all in one boat. Right? Is that accurate? Dude, I don't know, dude. <laughs> Look him up, man. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> I don't know what. They just look different. That's all I know. But their culture, you know, they've been in, in Australia for 50,000 years or something. So they're survivors? Oh, yeah. They lived off the land, right? Well, um, and then... What's that? That's respect. Yeah, the uh, you know the English sent people to Australia like prisoners and shit. They took over Australia, right? And they did the same thing they did to the natives here. You know, push them out to their little reservation, give them a little piece of land. Hey, shout out to Ashley. I see she's in. Is that just now in the chat? Oh yeah. I'm laughing, and so are my fans. Love you all. Wow, oh awesome. damn, they're watching us. Yeah. Hopefully I'm doing. Oh, they were talking about the chicks. <laughs> oh, Aborigine, I didn't answer you. Yeah, I'll bang them out to move on to the next one. Let's go. <laughs> Pick of the litter. Oh shit! Let me take. I want those models. I want those models you were talking about, though, Keith. Yeah. <laughs> Like I said, you know, you go down there, you want to hook up with the girl, it'll just take a little bit longer, you know, maybe two times, three times longer to find one. She'll show up, but just not so quickly, you know. Well, what's good about that is she already got the beans and queso. I got the salsa. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, what's <wasn't> next? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's next? Hey, up. Oh, shit. I'm gonna catch that you guys was... later. All right, Jagoon. Peace out. All right, Jagoon. Peace. 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 Stay up, man. It was good seeing you, homie. Yeah, for sure. We'll be around. Rudy, later, man. Take care, dude. Peace. Uh, looks as clean. Looks like he just got done cleaning it. How long <laughs> you been on this mug? A while. Hours. Wow. Hours. I'll try to relieve you for a little bit, Dragoon. I got your back on him. Later. Peace. 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 Do we yeah. just both say peace at the same time? Hey, because we're peaceful brothers. Peace to that. Hey, I don't know if you guys seen DDW jumped in for a second and was basically saying he's going to sleep. Yes, we did. We were in a conversation. conversation. Um, so who's next on the list of women? I was trying to figure this out, right? And I believe you might be familiar with this African tribe where the women stretch out their necks with these giant rings. And their if necks you are can't like. Name, if you can't name the tribe, I can't recognize it. <laughs> so nice. Don't be cool and shit, man. You're descriptive. Damn. But, yeah, give me the name of the tribal tribe. Because there's so many tribes because their genes are all kind of like the same. They didn't mix with the outside but, population. Uh -huh. I'll throw this in. How about the Switzerland, the Swiss? Oh, shit. That's like number one, practically. 
Wow. The blonde haired, blue eyed. Big tit. You're, oh, Switzerland. Switzerland. That's not Sweden. You're talking about like in the middle of Europe. There's a little I'm country. About both of them, man. Yeah. Sweden is the, you know, the, t the tall, blonde haired, blue eyed girls that like are tough and shit. <laughs> And because they live in, it's almost winter all the time and shit. It's really cold and rough. So, uh, but they look like some Polish chicks because they're pretty much next to each other across some water, you know, take a boat or whatever. You're in Sweden. I think I might actually have a little Swedish in me. Somebody back in the day fucked a Swedish girl, got her pregnant, you know, and here I am. Well, damn, all right. Well then, that was a great choice. What about That's our right. What about our Jamaican women? Oh shoot, dude! Jamaican women? Be all over that. Well, I'm married. I'm just pretending I'm single yeah, right no, now. No, no, no. You can still. I mean, as a married man, you don't have to partake. You can. You can recognize beauty. Yeah. Right. That's, yeah. Exactly. But I feel. Just because I can discuss all these lovely ladies that I, you, I believe this all started with what kind of woman do I like, HB? Was that the question? No, I said uh, something like you really like white girls or something oh, like that. Yeah, and I said, well, to be honest with you, I like them all. And now, do you believe me yet? I do, man. I, I'm still trying to think here, man. There's got to be... The Aborigines, though, I won't lie to you. You kind of, I don't know if I really would. Yeah, the, the younger, you know, model. Uh, you know, they probably have more, like, white features than the rest of them, you know, more, like, white in them. Yeah, they're very unique-looking people. A lot of the tribes, you know, the small tribes and stuff in Africa, I, I could give you a couple more if I found the name that you'd think twice twice about it, you know. You ever see these people uh, from like South America and the chicks, they walk around naked and they're fucking hot as hell and I believe they wrestle each other for the man on the beach and they're all like going in the water and coming out of the water on the beach all naked and that's just like totally, totally normal. What beach was this again? <laughs> no, this is uh, <laughs> way somewhere in South America, you know. But that's kind of cute, a girl fighting for you. I can dig that. I'm surprised you haven't seen that. I'm surprised too. Now, Keith, I'm not. I'm not really a guy that looks too much up girls. This girls that. I'm kind of more of a guy that likes to see it up in person, to be real. I'm not married. You have kids? No kids. I didn't think so. You seem like, you know, you're a very smart guy. <laughs> um, well, kids love me, man. Even my, my homie brought by his daughter earlier, and she was just staring at me. Oh, I, yeah. think, I think kids know I don't have kids. and you, Do you know what I mean? I guess if you have kids, it's like you get over kids. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah, yeah. Is that true? I, I was never into kids. I, for me, it's... <laughs> I love it. Let me guess. You got four of them. Yeah. Yeah, four. Yeah, exactly. But, um, yeah, maybe you're right. I don't know. I mean, I got the kids kind of gravitate, little kids, you know. They, well, they yeah. gravitate towards me, too, but not for the same reason that would they would gravitate to you. For me, it's like more like for some reason they'll sense some authority and be like, you know, they just get that sense maybe. Um, but with you, I would imagine they're just having fun. We have fun, and I think they're, um, it's, I'm kind of like a friend that isn't, you know, for them, I'm someone besides their parent or dad, someone else that, like, like when my nephew sees me, he gives me this little, con you know, little conniving smile, like, I joke with him. I'm the jokester. I have, you know, I do have fun with him, and uh, I, I love kids. I guess because I don't have them. Like I said, to be real, like you want kids? When would you? Um, nah, I don't think I do. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm having too much fun, uh, Keith. Man, I'm having a blast, bro. Uh, 
I can't, you know, I, and I got my nephew already. I got plenty of kids already in my life. My homeboy got a couple of kids that I helped raise down there. So I got already every Christmas. Uh, I got my brother, what, three kids, two kids, five kids. Yeah. Besides my other, I'm already buying every holiday I buy gifts for. So I'm good. But, I mean, if it happens, it happens. I'm not going to say no. I never say no. Yeah. But do I plan on it? Definitely not. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. I hear that. I hear that. You know, it's not for everybody. No, it ain't, man. I was explaining that to someone. Like, what's good for the goose ain't necessarily good for the gander. Uh, you know, what works for one dude or one woman don't necessarily work for everybody. Yeah. Would you agree? Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I think a lot... From the point of view of the Bible and some scriptures, and that's actually in the Bible, you know. It says it's cool if somebody doesn't want to get married. That's their decision, you know. I mean, I feel good. Yeah. That's um, all positive, you know. Yeah. Well, yeah, you should be able to, but you know what? Like I said, I mean, I love women, so, I mean, it's like. Well, that's the Bible part on that would not necessarily speak on that, you know. Yeah, well, because <laughs> My problem with this, Keith, is like I, I crush a lot. Like, um, like you know, I ain't gonna lie. I go somewhere, I meet a girl, I'm single, I can get their number. It's cool. I kind of like that. It's cool, right? Yeah, you don't fall in love though. I, I have before. I'm human. Yeah, I fell. In, I've fallen in love before, definitely. You think you fall in love fast? Um. No, don't I like don't. Type. No, I don't fall in love fast, but I fall in love with that ass fast. <laughs> you did say so like if, if if I'm kind of a sucker if she's like really cute and just banging and shit, you know. I see. You know, like any guy, I guess. But um, you know what? For the right woman, I guess I could be for the right one. Yeah. Yeah, I meet a cute chick. I wine and diner. I ain't tripping. Cheers. Cheers, man. But that's everybody, right? Oh yeah. Well, who knows what will happen? You know, the years down the road. You know, it's like ten. I'm 39, and I think about what I thought when I was 29, and some things are completely different than what I thought at 29. You know. It's like I, over the 10 years, things change and people like, change. You know, how long have you been with your woman? Too long. All right, long time, right? So <laughs> Long ass time, since I was 13. Damn, okay. That was my first girlfriend. That was That's the girl I had sex with for the first time. All right, so. In eighth, in eighth grade, practically. <laughs> All right, so like. I did the opposite, but at one time I was with a chick. At one time I was planning to get married. I've been there. I've been there. It's not like I just been Mister Bachelor the whole fucking time. But I ain't gonna lie. I've always had more fun when I'm single. Yeah, long term relationship isn't really for you at this moment. You're saying is that true? But I'm not an idiot. Like if I meet some, you know, meet the right person, definitely. I'm, I'm never. Yeah. You know. Your dream girl. Yeah, like if uh, what's one? Of, oh yeah, who's my crush? I was just talking about her the other day. Okay, let me give you. Oh, that was a good question. We were discussing who's our like celebrity crush. Oh, Janae Anko. If I'm saying the name right, Anko. You know who I'm talking about? No, I, I'm not very good with the hottie names. Uh, but I, I'm googling it now. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. What is it again? J H Janae, I think. J H N E. She usually pops up. E N E. Angstrom? Yeah, but no, back up. You got to connect the E. You did a space. What am I doing again? Oh, my bad. Go back, go back to the E. There, now put the E. There you go. Oh, go dude, I listened to her, right? She makes music. Look at her. God. Yeah. Let's go to that picture. I'm in love already all over again. Okay, she looks like she's mixed, like black, Latina, Oriental, like all in one, dude. 
Now do you feel me? Yeah. It's like what we we're talking about, you know, all the women of the world. It's like you got the full package right there. Perfect. But um, no, what I like even more about her, she got a little attitude, Miss Nat. Yeah. In this she world. looks like my wife, actually. Wow. Well, what my wife used to look like. <laughs> 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 She's 42, practically, so. Hey, but you know what, Keep? I would have stayed with her since I was 13, too, homie. <laughs> Oh, man, I felt like that was a blessing. Like, everybody's dating and looking for the right one, maybe. And here, first first time, boom. I'm like, thank you, God. Yeah, so that's my type. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, I always kind of shoot for the stars. Hopefully I land on the moon. You'd like it around here, man. There's a lot of uh, natives here, different tribes. Gorgeous or what? Yeah, they it's look a picture just down like of that. her. I can't, I can't stare. At her. <laughs> I'm about to ask her to marry me. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we were talking about the earlier in a uh, private GMO chat. We were discussing who's your crush, and this is my celebrity yeah. crush. Right on. So who's yours? Oh, I don't have one. Yeah, right. No, really, I'm not into like. I don't even, I can't name most of the celebrities, you know, like you mentioned names. You watch movies? No, not too much. Comedies, maybe. It's a good one. Uh, documentaries. Yeah, I'm not, I don't watch uh, action movies. I don't like action. I don't like drama. I don't like horror, thrillers. To me, they're, it's almost like they're all the same. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can only watch so many car chases or gunfights and all that. I've been seeing that shit since I was a kid. So yeah, something that makes me laugh. I like that. You know, something that I learn, learn shit from. Well. Oh, the, uh, I, I thank you for playing. Uh, Thank you for playing my video. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you've seen that. It was kind of fucked up. I was just having a lot of problems. But towards the end, everything works smoothly. The good quality, too. Well, let me tell you what happened, man. And you tell me. Maybe you... If you noticed, the video was a little dim, right? Okay. Well, I my dumbass didn't charge the camera right out the box. I forgot to charge it. I recorded it before, right before it shut off. If you notice at the end of the video, I... I was like, oh, my boy hollered at me. We, you know, all right, I'll let you later. I ended it. Could that have been why it was dimmer because the camera was about to shut off? I see. Did you replay the video at all, or did you hear the part where you you said something, then you look, and then I said something, and you looked at me, not at me. You looked at your homeboy, but it looked it looked like we were interacting. Because I was speaking into, you know, in the middle of the conversation. You fucked shit. your head up or what? Yeah, because you're like, oh, that my boy just said, told me something. Oh, uh, what were you thinking? HB can see through the video? I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, I think I, I got to find that part because I think Ashley was here. A couple other people. <laughs> that was tight. Tight video though. I try to I try to drop bang this for him. Huh? I had a good time making it. I wish. Oh, that song is tight, dude. Man. That song is freaking tight. So professional and just catchy and all, just everything, you know. Those guys showed me a lot of love, and they're they're down with the glob mob and with this whole glob mob movement we doing. So be looking out. Uh, they got the whole song to that one already. They got some on their SoundCloud. If y'all go check them out on Instagram. Glob Mob official Instagram. Right, it could even be Glob Mob at official Instagram. One uh, B G L O B G L O B M O B. If I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. At official Instagram, check it out. Show them love. They down with the GMO. Yeah. How long you been going, Keep man? Have you got any sleep? Hey. Yeah, I'm on a different schedule. 
Can you send my boy J-Bo an invite to the live? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Come in, J-Bo. There he is. Lala? Done. Yeah, I don't know if you heard. I usually don't get good flour, but past couple months I have. I've got, um, I had a little tiny nug of lemon skunk or some shit. And then the other one is crunch berry kush. And that one's pretty good. Smells good, tastes good, good high. But uh, candy cane is what I had last month. If you, if you can come across any type of candy cane, Chatter or whatever, get it, dude. That shit was bomb. Shit, if you like anything with candy, bro, you're gonna love Candyland. Oh my god, is that shit fucking fire? You think anything with candy is just fucking fire or what? You know what uh, I mean? To be honest, I like uh, like a I like a lot of the OGs, and like some of the candies taste like OG. You know what I'm saying? Like I think the. Uh, the Candyland does some uh, like have some, uh, like an OG in it or something. Uh, what did, can you can let me put up? Let's see what Cyclops. Uh, Cyclops referred to me something. Let me see. He says, let me see what Cyclops. He keeps shouting out Glob Mob, but I don't see him anymore. Um, I'm right here. J Bull's right here. Uh, now we have not as much, you know. Now we haven't been on every live lately like we used to be. I don't feel it's necessary. Um, we've been doing our own thing sometimes. That's necessary, too. We've been having a good time, to be completely honest, Cyclops. Great time. A lot better time than all. Sometimes when you broadcast yourself all the time, I even watch some of Keith's lives and when tensions get a little tight. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes when you broadcast your shit 24-7, you air out your dirty laundry 24-7 all the time. Things like that happen. So. Yeah. I am happy, you know, we, one thing about the Glob Mob, um, we're going to move when we're ready, and when, when we move, it's going to be you know, strong and in the right direction, so really, we've been really being close, that's j -Bo. we've been in chats every day, huh, Jay? Oh, wait, Having a blast? Oh, yeah. Hasn't it been like the old times? Yeah, we, we actually we just got, got out of the Yeah, it's been good, so um, just want to answer... Answer my uh, boy Cyclops. If you got any questions, homie, you know how to reach me. I got you. So yeah, but we good, man. GMO stronger, better, bigger than ever. Just uh, we ain't been, you know, we ain't been really, you know, Keith's been holding down the lives. You, you got to give other people our chance. Keith, Keith supported us so many of in our GMO lives, right, Jabo? Yeah, yeah, always. Ooh. I'm never too big to return the favor. I appreciate that, man. So here, here I am. I'll try to make more appearances, though, definitely. Video 2 Cyclops, you're feeding for some GMO. I just dropped. I know you ain't hating, uh, I know you ain't hating, Clops. I love you, boy. Um, check out my new video, Cyclops. I was repping hard in that. It's a really dope video. Excuse the lighting. I hope it's because my phone was the uh, camera was mine. Whoever does your camera, I, I think I commented on it. I'm not sure. Let me go look. I hope you did. What'd you Basically, say? Whoever does the camera work does a really good job. On I wasn't sure who it was. It's Gilly the Kid. Okay. You know who that is or no? No. Okay, well, he is one of uh, the HB Dab fellas, and um, he we kind of started it together. He's been the cameraman from the jump. He okay. He, every camera thing we do cheers. from cheers from putting you know, pictures on Instagram, from uh, any video work, anything to do, he's the camera guy. So yeah. Shouts out to Gilly the Kid. And um, he's in the videos. If you go look at my channel later, uh, you'll see him. He's the skinnier guy next to me. Okay. 
<laughs> and he's in a lot of the private chats too. Yeah. I know there you had some regulars. You have some regulars, you know, that would come on the lives with you sometimes. And um uh, I just never got their names, you know. GMOs? No, the ones uh your homies that would be on the live sometimes. Oh, okay. Like you had yeah. a homie that broke a rig or something, right? Yeah, code. That's my homeboy C. Code. Okay. Yeah, he um he's a cat fella as well, him. Barnacle B, um, that he did some virgin lungs for us. Nice. So, um, yeah, HB Dad fellas is we've been doing our thing for a minute, and uh, we've been HB before even Dabs. We were always a crew, just HB. But you know, when the whole Dab sensation hit, it just all fell into place. Thank goodness, man! I wouldn't know all y'all cool people. All right. For real, I wouldn't know a lot of cool people without this dabs and it's done. A, you know, you know what, man? I think there's a new song out called "If You Ain't Got No Haters, You Ain't Popping," is ya? <laughs> so sometimes I feel like, oh, I got haters and all this and that bullshit, but um, I guess if they ain't hating, then you ain't doing shit. And I don't mean nobody in the chat. I'm just saying in general. You know what I mean? So, it's always a good thing if your name's ringing, is what I mean, Keith. Mm hmm. And there's a couple of things. I forget how they go. Yeah. You know, basically somebody's uh, shouting out, not shouting out your name, but yeah, your, your name's uh, on their lips. Hey, free advertising. <laughs> yeah. You like that one. But yeah, everything's been really cool. Uh, that's what we've kind of been doing, man. We've been sitting back, just kind of having fun, cracking up, you know, handling issues when they come up. You know, nothing's been really big of an issue. A little tips here and there, like I guess any family goes through, you know. Shout out to Thug Doug too and Dab Angel as usual. They wanted to host a live tonight. Um, Thug Doug, um, let's get it in now. What's today? Friday. Yeah. I owe I owe Thug Doug and them a live tomorrow night. Thug Doug, if y'all want to throw a live, I'll hop on it, man, because I want to get down with everybody. Yes, Cyclops, that's what you're always. I don't blame you. I fuck them all. <laughs> yeah, I feel you, man. But uh, yeah, uh, I want to get down with Thug Doug's lives. Everybody's man, HB. I I'm GMO for life. Y'all know that. But I'm down with everyone, man. I'm cool. You know, y'all respect me. I respect y'all. You know that, Keith. If we ever had one crossword between us, if I ever disrespected you, never. Right? I'm not that kind of guy. No, nobody in GMO did, uh, at least in front of me. <laughs> hey, well, they didn't do it behind you either. <laughs> right on. I told you that everyone loves Keith. Needs, right. needs to be the name of the show. You like that? I do. Everybody loves Keith. He wants to put it. He knows it. <laughs> it's true, though, man. It seems like no matter what problems individuals or head fucks, Demons, whatever you want to call them, that individuals got, and they took it out on another man's name. Uh, they and still at the end of the day, they connect nice and simple. Surrounded by Keith, I'm down with that. That's good enough for me. Yeah, that's kind of the point of the show. Yeah, as long as they act as civil with somebody, right? <laughs> as long as they ain't just running out here reckless, I, I guess I could live. With yeah, man. Um, the GMO. Thank you, Cyclops. We are going to be doing back to some lives. What do you think about that, Keith? And about the GMO lives and they were going strong. How long did those lives go strong? How long were you in those uh, chats, Keith? Yeah, like since April. I don't know if that's when when you guys hooked up with 420, but you guys were already with 420. And how fun were those first chats? Do you remember how awesome of a time? Well, remember Magnum Joy Rowdy? You guys used to get like a lot of view viewers too. It'd be like over thirty in there. It'd be hopping, man. Right? Everyone was having a good time, laughing. That's what people want to see. People don't want to see people arguing. That's another reason I had to get off. I had to stay, take a step back, man. You know, 
people take this shit a little too serious sometimes. Yeah. Okay. You agree? Oh yeah. But you know, in a way that kind of helps sort shit out. You know, if you can't get along, get it know. out the way. Yeah. You know, right. so in the end, even though you know you're not, you can't please everybody, right? And hopefully they don't hate because of it, and they you know realize mm -hmm. that they're you know maybe disturbing or you know killing the vibes in the yeah. chat all the time type of thing. It happens, man. You know, yeah. it happened with us for a little bit in the GMO. Our vibe, you know, our vibe got crushed. For it didn't get killed. I wouldn't say they killed the vibe, but. They, 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 they put a limp in it. You dig? Yeah. And um, and it's my fault because it's El Presidente. I got to watch who I let in the GMO. When I let people in the GMO, my GMO members are going to befriend them like I asked them to. You know? So it's kind of my fault. I can't even cry a bitch about it. But uh, either way, man, without adversity, what are we? If we can't handle a little adversity, a little trouble, a little bullshit, we don't deserve to be friends in the first place, so that's how I look at it. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes a lot. I, I guess I look at it that same way. I just didn't like ever thought of it, you know, worded. Cheers, yeah. man. You got a nice way with words. Huh? Oh yeah, I'm just definitely glad. got the gift of gab. And I'm sure I'm not the first one who told you that. <laughs> But um, it's sincere. I mean what I say. You know, whatever that's worth. I mean what I say and say what I mean. My bad, guys. It fucking <clears throat> kicked me out. So. Is, your, is your lady in here, too? Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, okay, cool. Hello, Jay's lady. Yeah, well, well, it kicked her out, but she said, "What's up?" <laughs> HB is really concentrated on that. You see that? He's like, "I need more juice." Mm. Been guzzling that juice. Cheers to everyone, man. Um, the whole weed tube community. You know, it's it's really. It's really a cool, you know, thing going on with it, and I think people need to understand that if you want to fight, you want to war with people, take it to the streets. If you want to have a good time and get high, bring it to the Google Hangout community. Right. Well, shoot, if they do want to do that, though, you know, create a, a room or a show called, you know, fighting and warring and <laughs> battling and debating and shit, and anybody who wants to fight, Go ahead and do it. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Because, you know, the show would be called Nagging Dabby. <laughs> well, you know, they'd have their own thing. They'd stay away from us, maybe. <laughs> and we provide it for them. We'll play the live for them and everything. It's, it's you know, um, it's me. You know, I can't complain because I can be a very argumentative person myself, Keith. I don't shy away from arguments. I... I almost, you know, when I can see someone being an ass, I don't really, you know, shy away from it like I should all the time. Mm. Um, but um, I can be as argumentative as anyone. So, like, if you know, people want to argue and debate, I'm really good at that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we're just wasting each other's time, you know. Very true. Yeah, I like Cy you. Cyclops says my motto is one hit and you're lit. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's his model for his business. I don't well, know how that relates to what we were talking about, but there must be some type of connection. Well, what happened was he took a big old dab, right? He's in there in that garage. I know what he's doing. <laughs> he's in there looking at those plants. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they're looking good. You know what I'm saying? He just took a big old hit of some new shit, and he just thought he'd type that on now. Yeah, for sure. real, Cyclops. Hope you're doing good, especially in this time of uh, this time of month. <clears throat> I can. I've tasted Cyclops genetics. Um, 
very potent, very powerful, like he says, very terpy and tasty and good clarity. El Presidente, seal of approval. Yeah, I believe that uh, he's got many years of experience, you know. I don't know how long, but probably longer than most of us, I'm thinking. Okay, my bad, Klops. I was taking a wild guess. Well, thanks for keeping me on my P's and Q's. <laughs> I need it. Oh, me, I, if they're talking about what kind of indicas and this and that, I need some fire OG. I'm down with the fire OGs, jet fuels, anything like that. Bro, the granddaddy perp, I'm telling you, you need some. You need it, bro. It's fire. It tastes like some OG, bro, once you're inhaling it. And once you exhale, bro, it tastes like purple. Oh, we go but it don't look purple. It don't smell purple. Bro. It just smells green. That's what I'm saying. It's fucking weird. You want something. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cyclops. Like. Delicious. Sunny Diesel. Haha. <laughs> Dale, it was so dope, man. I smoked it so quick. I like that. I smoke shit quick, guys. Like, I'm the kind of guy I go through. On the cool lately, I've been I've been smoking two G's at a time. At a time, you mean what daily? I mean by, like no, like yeah, I guess like I pull two G's out and I open both up and I dab out both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was awesome. But yeah, Psychop Genetics definitely thumbs up. El President approved. New video, thanks for displaying it for me, man. You got my views going. I'm already almost at like 600 views. 600? Oh. Yeah. So that kind of, that might give you an idea of how many GMOs there are. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know. There's a hundred of them. <laughs> You know what? Shout out to Louis Moreno, I think. It was this one dude just kind of giving me some real uplifting comments in my uh, comment section. Yeah. Talking about, man, they just hate, man. You know, like, if you want to go laugh your butt off, go look what he put. It was real. But, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, Predator Pink. Ding, 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 ding. Doug, Doug, give me a smiley face if I'm right. Predator Pink is my answer for a 1,000. Let's see if I'm right, guys. Smiley. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's Renee. Predator Pink is my guess, Doug, Doug. Testing at 92%. What's today? Friday? Saturday now? Yeah. Are you Saturday? Yeah. I'm ready for Saturday night tonight. Uh, get on the live. Pull out the rigs. Did you see my new case? Of, uh, not my new, my old new case I got for my rigs. Jeez. I have. Well, you know HB likes to. Uh, you got to take care of them kind of rigs, right? Oh, yeah. I might have seen it, I'm, but I probably just forgot. Maybe not. I know Rudy had uh, has one or two that are really nice. They're like made specifically for rigs or some shit. It's probably the same brand. Uh oh, now we know the code. Oh, nice. A little separator. Put the double cup rig. 
Got the sprite check down here, nicely secured. Like it's perfect. What you think? What do I think? You know what I think. It's dope. You like it? Oh, I'm not a mind reader key. <laughs> Even if someone's to say otherwise. Yeah, those are my babies. These are my babies. Yeah. And let's keep these guys safe. <laughs> Imagine I go to the party with this. I could see all those pictures live on Instagram. So, but you, Keith, how much longer do you plan on going tonight? Eight hours? Yeah, I'll probably be up all night. Might go live after this one ends. Not sure. That's crazy. Did you see that's crazy? No, no. Uh, oh. Well, that's myself. You know what? If you can do it, do it. No, that's what I said. I said, let me rephrase that. I said, let me correct myself. That is dedication. Oh. <laughs> Man, I'm just having a good time. You know, like people probably know by now. I didn't talk to people before I met you guys. I haven't had a conversation, well, other than my wife. You know, she's busy all the time. The kids are busy. You know, the more so when, when they get older. And, um... You you've been holding this conversation in all this time, bro. You, you can hit me up on private. Kind of, I guess, but yeah, they could, I mean, you held this conversation in for all you know that. I'm like, bro, you can hit us up on private anytime. Right on, bro. You want to be added to the lives all the time, Jabo? Well, uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah. All right, I, I cool. want to I wanna do the spin, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I like doing that little spin wheel thing. That shit's awesome. <laughs> we haven't played that in a bit. We got to play that. I know. I, I mean, I, I, my lady's like, I want to play it. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I got it some club shit right now. I don't got shit to smoke on like that. Keith, how do you do all that? Like, how do you make the pictures bigger and all that type of shit? That's that OBS, the beta part of YouTube, the stream. You can do, well, I don't, you don't do lives, but... They let you do like a regular hangout like we're in and go live. And then the other way is the beta, but you need a third party program. You know, you need, you ever hear of OBS? No? A lot of people use it like um, Token Dave used it, Nay uses some form of it. Uh, who else? There's a few YouTubers that use it. <laughs> really use uh, the program. Just tell it yeah, what. Uh, Dab Demon uses it. RSE uses it to make his like strain videos, uh, reviews. I haven't been watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy, man. It's nothing big. You know, it, people like it though. I a lot of the viewers say they like the format of it. Once I get it going, you know. Yeah. Look at my eyes, Keith. Look into my eyes. Tell me what you see. I see your eyes drowned with Hennessy. <laughs> I almost killed the whole bottle, man. You guys say so many like phrases that you guys should be writing down, man. If you wrote down the phrases you guys make up on the fly that rhyme, and you wrote it all down like for one private, you'd probably wind up with a song. I know I am kind of slick with the tongue. And what's funny that you say that because HB fucking legitly makes albums in private calls, bro. This will oh, I didn't be know that. And, and this will be rapping. And everybody will just be quiet just so he can hear him. And then at the end, oh, how was that? How was that? <laughs> oh, God. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's funny as fuck. Well, yeah, that's I do that time to time in our private chats. I, I spit. Uh, they caught. I spit some, some flamethrower. 
I'd be recording that and be like, "Oh, you're about to you're about to rap. Hold up, let me get my recording software going. Make it into a clip." I'll do it like, you know, like Mike Cohen and be there. GMO, I mean Project GMO, excuse me. Got to move to that. May G, Rowdy, Megan, you know, whoever's there. I spit the truth, man. Just like I speak the truth, I spit it too. Oh, really? Uh, in songs I've created, lyrics and shit, I like to make up shit, you know, <laughs> like just stupid shit, like, so, you know, nothing serious. It's like, but, yeah. Good, good. That's good. We, you know, let's say it says I'm a pimp. Well, I'm not a pimp. I don't have a pimp bone in me. You but know? You, it sounds good with the flow. I don't believe All right. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, so it's like uh, that guy Krispy Kreme type shit, and it's not like Slim Jesus. I don't know what you that means. Who, you don't know who No. Who no, no. Bro, he is a funny ass rapper, bro. I, I, I'm like, I'm not trying to like knock on like special people, but I think he is like, you know, mentally disabled. He's, he's like a little kid, damn near. No, he is, bro, that fool's a grown ass man, bro. He is. I, yeah, I think that fool's a. I think that I think that's what he has. I think it's autism that he has. Yeah. But, uh, but he raps, bro, and like he raps about like how he says he has like a million houses, bro, and he only has one. <laughs> He says that if he had a thousand houses, he'd have only two phones and shit. He says he's kissed every girl in the world, bro. It's hilarious, bro. He says he don't pack guns, but in the music video, he's holding hell like a gun. It's funny. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And, and, you know, Slim Jesus, Slim Jesus is just a plain lie. Like, everything he's, you know, saying is yeah. a lie. But they both say it all seriously. Like, like yeah. they're yeah. having the Krispy truth. Kreme, like, Krispy Kreme's a funny artist. You look him up, bro. Yeah. It's Chris. It's called the Krispy Kreme like the donuts. It's funny as fuck, bro. Well, that's when you have on your, you know, a little spare time or whatever. No, I'm gonna look it up right now. It's, it's like K. Yeah, it's like like Krispy Kreme. And then and yep, Krispy Kreme wrapper right there. Oh okay. Forgot I'm sharing the screen. All right, guys. I think HB done. Uh, the first one, the fattest. That one's the, that one's the one that I'm talking about. Cool. What do y'all watch? <clears throat> I'll watch it later. You see that though? Like you yeah. see that? Like, it's just like too hilarious. Well, who is it? Who, who is he? He's a guy in the back or in the front? Yeah, he's a guy in the back. He's a guy in the back. Oh, okay. But it's funny as fuck, bro. Yeah, I'll definitely like check it out. Like, I'm like, I'm not trying to knock on him already, but I think he's mentally disabled or something. Because, like, bro, in the video, bro, they're recording him and he's rapping, bro, and he has a booger coming out of his, like, nose, bro. It's, like, oozing down to his lip. And, they, and like, and they just leave it in the video. It's hilarious, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's funny as fuck. You all right, bro? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just yeah. Dead. I'm always good, man. I'm, I feel great. I feel like a million bucks. This way, it? Now, I've been drinking some Hennessy, um, uh, Keith. I've been sipping shots all day, so that's why I'm a little slurry. Fine, dog. You're on my, you're on my uh, speed, then. You know. Oh yeah, you drinking? I've been chasing it with water. How about you? Oh no, I'm not talking about drinking. I was saying about. <laughs> You said you're kind of slurry or whatever, like you know. That's kind of how I feel almost all the time. Uh, yeah. I speak. I type faster than I speak, you know. So I feel like I speak kind of slow. Not only my voice is deep, but also kind of slow. And uh, you know, you're you're you talk pretty fast. You think you know, witty and think uh, quick thinker. Thank you, man. That means a lot coming from a guy like you. Thanks, Keith, because you're a smart guy yourself. Oh, well, thank you for that. You know what I mean? I think everybody knows that. What you eating over there, Jake Bo? Spicy beef jerky. You greedy bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to... I'm going to mail you it. You know, I'm going to mail you a back of spicy beef jerky. That's one of the first things I'm going to eat when I get my teeth. 
Good jerky. Xbox, turn off. Yes. That and steak. Sad ass steak. Oh, Can't God. wait. Or a nice ribeye or something. Just found out we got, uh, like, I, I get money. I didn't get it. That's why my teeth were all fucked up. I had no dental insurance. And then um, I finally got some type of dental insurance through disability or whatever. And so I just found out I got three more grand to spend this year. So I'm going to give myself some fucking nice-ass teeth, man. Do that shit. Congrats. Uh, hey, I can't So then you're going to show us some pearly whites, right? Eventually, yeah. Yeah. All right. That's the sun. It may never happen also. I don't know yet. Yeah. I can't really predict the future. How am I feeling? I'm predicting it's going to happen. <laughs> Positivity, man. If you think it, it'll happen. A, I never look at shit like that. I'm always thinking, hell yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. I don't have a set goal necessarily, you know. Yeah. For me, it's like if if my channel starts, you know, popping, then yeah. But until then, I'm not putting too much, you know. Well, you, it ain't going to pop unless you make it pop. You know what I mean? Like you don't sit back, see if it pops, then you go. No, nah, you, you just commit and be like, it's gonna pop no matter what. I'm putting foot, you know. No matter what, what's it gonna hurt you to try? It won't kill you to try. For real though, Keith, I know my fucking channel ain't fucking popping anything like HBs or custom grows or any of the motherfuckers, right? But like, I started fucking with like, like maybe 12 subscribers, not even 12, maybe like seven subscribers, you know, in 2012. And after I started doing YouTube, bro, I'm up to like 100 and something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and like that was in like three, four, five months time. So you know what I'm saying? You, you got to You got to get there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I have uh, on my old account. I had almost 300, and this yeah. one is, you know, still a couple day old account. And what mm -hmm. do I got here? Let me see. Type in yo. Oh no, that's the old one. The old one had 274. Uh, let me see if I could check the new one. Last time I checked, I think I had 40 on the new one. We got like 31 subscribers the very first eight hours. Oh, yeah. So, I was wrong. I think it's kind of popping already, you know, in my perspective. Exactly. And exactly. Uh, I'm just okay. waiting for it to pop a little bit more once I, you know, get some things going. You know, take it from there. You want it popping like a blue popper from Uptown. Cheers to the whole GMO. Cheers, Keith TV. And cheers, cheers, man. Wherever you're at. Cheers, man. That's what we want here. Yeah. Keep doing it, keep don't stop, pump your channel. Shouts out to Louis Moreno, some dude that wrote for me and to Cody Serving Guard, I think that y'all's buddy, right? You look at HB over there, how to go and look at his comments, make sure he's pronouncing his name right. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't hear that shit. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I, I said, look at HB over there, going, to back, going back over there, looking at his comments, making sure he's pronouncing this dude's name right. He said his name was Louis Moreno? Yeah, he, he was on some G shit. Oh, that's the one that said, what's it called? Uh, the shout now, uh, shout now, Gilly. He just came he's really talking, he's talking about how you're going to ball to your fall or what? No, nah, he's, he's just, uh, 
Yeah, I, I, I won't. I won't. I'll just read what he put. You know. Because if I had twelve thumbs down, you know, mm -hmm. so he put. That's right. It's the twelve putos can't stand to see you do a shout out to the HB dad fellas. Pull it down for the Rasa, is it? And you know I put, you know they hate me. And then he put, do your thing, big homie. They just can't stand to see you balling like you are, my boy. That's what's Hey, check it out. It tells me up on top here I got 43 subscribers. I just seen it said 44 subscribers on a different screen. But look, it says 75 views. But I got 101 here, 12. I got um, like this one, 153. So, But it's only telling me 75 here at the top. That's fucked up. Yeah. It's not counting like 200 other views and shit. Well, maybe you know what? It'll catch up. Oh, okay. It'll catch up. Yeah, it's all been in like the past day or so. Oh, so like this has been a little longer already. Right here it says one day ago I had 153 views. I did another live a few hours ago, had 100 views. So that's what, 253 already? It's not bad. The numbers are going up. Every day I get subscribers. Hey, I'm, I'm happy for you. You know, I was almost up to 300 on the other one and this one. Shit, 43 in one day or two. What happened? You got flagged or what? Yeah, for nudity, sexual content. Who who was that? I was doing a a slideshow of, of different strains of bud, and when the sh when the slideshow ended, you know, on YouTube, how there's a bunch of thumbnails of related videos. One of them was a slideshow of naked art, so there was a little thumbnail of this chick with just breasts showing. Wow. And there were, that day there were some trolls and haters and people I've never seen in there other than private private and uh, they flagged me you know as soon as they see uh, some nudity they'll flag you if they don't like you. Well that sucks man. Uh, sorry that happened to you. Yeah. Well, I don't think it was like personal. I think it was against somebody else. You know, like I'm hanging out with somebody and somebody hates them, so they hate on me too. It'll happen on Keith TV, you know, because not everybody gets along. But we've made a lot of people, uh, you know, come together that have had problems and now they're talking to each other again. I love that shit. And that happens. Yeah, you know, you know. That's cool when people really don't got problems, you know. I, I you know, I've, I've been the bigger man, Keith, plenty of times, too many a time, too many a time, homie. And oh, yeah. sometimes lines are drawn and lines are crossed, and um, I'm always giving someone another chance. And when I say that, I don't mean like. Hey, fuck them and fuck everything they stand for. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying with me personally, I'm through with them. You know, everyone else has to make their decision. You did? Yeah. I ain't the ruler of nobody. I ain't I ain't paying nobody's bills and this or that, so you know. We're all grown adults here and we can make our own decisions, right? Listen, For sure. That's how I look at it. Oh yeah, great way to end it though. I'm gone. I'm about to take my ass to sleep. Catch me tomorrow though. I will be on lives all day tomorrow and uh peace. J Bo, GMO to the world blow. If you already know, HB Dan Villa don't get mad fella. Yeah, dude. Peace, bro. Peace.
Hell yeah. So where's uh, W at? Yeah. Oh, he went to bed too. Yeah, he went to bed early. I guess like an hour ago. You're in Cali too, right? So it's like midnight right now. Yeah, it's just about midnight. It's four minutes. He just let you. Run, he just let you run the live. Yeah, he just let the run live. Let the live, whatever you know. Whatever you said. I remember he did this one time and Mag was just on there eating cereal and doing like smoking and shit. It was pretty funny. Was yeah, like I was a, watching that. Somebody else I think did that too. Just hopped down all by himself, hung out like if it was his live. Well, you don't get controls though, right? If, if anybody hops in, because once you hop out, you're, if you did get it, have control. You hop back in, those uh, you lost that. You don't have that control anymore. Yeah. Unless he le like leaves it open. I don't know if that works either because I, I've never done a live. So right here, you can do that. Like leave the controls open so people can like, you know what I'm saying? Do yeah. Yeah, I don't have controls right now. Let's see. He gave them to me earlier, you know, then I dipped, came back on the call, and didn't have the rights. So. But it's all good. It's just he's, he left it right where it just bounces around between people. I've done it before where I left it on one person in the whole entire show. People got to watch that one person. Three AM where Cyclops is. Damn, so almost four twenty over there, huh? That's crazy. I hate the time differences, man. It's like I'll, I'll go on live at midnight and the East Coast is asleep. The Central is going asleep or asleep. And then after a while, you know, three o'clock in the morning, all we have is a few Cali people who can't sleep. And UK people, which is cool, so, you know. Still get a couple people on, but have majority. you uh, met Mad Cat? Mad Cat? Yeah, four twenty. No. No. Bro, she, she lives in. She lives in uh, uh, Australia, bro. And uh -huh. she's a day ahead of us. What? She's a day ahead of us. Like right now, it's Saturday where she's at. Yeah, they're the first ones to hit the next day. Yeah, that's crazy, huh? So it's probably almost Sunday there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to work a night shift where Australians called me. Cyclops said he's waiting on 710. It's a lot of hours to wait, man. And yeah, four hours. That's dedication. <laughs> <clears throat> All the co cool people live on the East Coast. I don't know if I agree with that, you know, but uh, I think everybody's cool here. All the different time zones. We don't have, like, really anybody from Europe for some reason. Uh, UKGG. Really? Yeah, That's he's in point. France. Yeah. It's one of them, but I don't think I've ever met any others. Uh, I haven't, matter of fact, I haven't. He comments on my videos a lot, but I haven't seen him around. Dude, he always yeah. shouts out my uh, lives and shit. Right. I'm like, damn, this wherever dude's the, like. Rim, wherever the fuck you're at, bro, this hits for you, bro. No shit. And I hope you're having a good year too, uh, Rim. <coughs> Since you're growing this year. <coughs> <coughs> or I don't even know how it like if harvest even works differently over there. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like climate, I don't know if you know what I'm saying, but climate and the weather change makes a bloom or fucking, you know what I'm saying, but differently. I like that one video where, I don't know if it was him or another uh, GG member. Yeah. Um, UK GG. It was, uh, he was showing how to check if your plants are female and he like took just one branch, one kind of area where there'd be a bud and he would uh, encase it in, you know, like a tube or something would be all dark in there. And he'd leave it like that, you know, for like a day or two, I think. And so, you know, he changed the light cycle for just a tiny bit of the plant. You could see it sucks. Probably the males will show up first if it's a male. It'd be quicker. Do you grow? Uh, no, I, I don't right now. Like the the living situation, like that I'm dealing with right now. I live with my mom, and she like to, like she's cool with me, with me smoking weed and using it as a medicine. But growing it here, she just trips about it. Like she just trips about it. Like me having a couple grams. I'm like, mom, my fucking my fucking script says I can carry five pounds on me. You know what I'm saying? Like. This couple of grams ain't shit, you know what I'm saying? And then she just trips about, like, if the cops would th- come to my house, you know what I'm saying, or say anything, like, she'd get in trouble. I'm like, no. I'm like, no. Anything weed-related weed is entitled to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so she just, like, trips. Like, as soon as she either, because she's moving, so, like, as soon as she, just, she moves out, I'm probably, I'm, I know for a fact I'm growing. I'm making a little fucking shed. And like enclosing it, insulating it, fucking cutting, cutting side uh, the side up for fucking coolers. You know what I'm saying? And fans and shit. You wouldn't do outdoors since you're in uh, Cali. Uh, right now in my county, they are trying to ban outdoor growing. Cause oh, it's it's, uh, they say it's fucking. You know what I'm saying? Cause of the drought in California. Yeah, and knowing that they say it's like a hazard to us because there has been a couple, you know, there's been a couple cases of people robbing over here just for the fact that we're in a small county where everybody knows everybody. So, you know, what I'm saying, I, like a lot of people don't call the cops, so they get calls back when you know retaliations happen. And then that's how they find out the weed got stolen and shit. Yeah. So like then, and then what's stupid is that they're trying to have us sign a petition every time we grow. And I ain't going to lie, I don't trust other growers because other growers know people who steal. You know what I'm saying? Because I know a couple people who fucking steal, and I always tell them, bro, don't do that shit. If you ever need weed, just come and tell me. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. it's, it's stupid, you know what I'm saying? People who steal weed, it's, I mean, that's just bad karma on them, you know, and it puts their name in a bad situation. And, yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, they, like they, wanted to, they want us all to sign a petition whenever we're growing. And that just brings a lot of attention. You go in there and see a whole bunch of names before you sign yours. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, and, and in this small county, you'll be like, oh, I know this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just not it's not as private as you really want it to be. I see. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's stupid. I just, I don't know. This is, they're just fucking up. They're trying to restrict us really bad. At least in my county, you know what I'm saying? Out in other counties, like in LA, it's fine, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that's fucked up how different counties have all these different laws, you know? Yeah. Cross over a different county border and all of a sudden, different laws apply. Like, how are people supposed to know all the different laws of the counties and shit, too? (laughs) You know? It's fucked up. I don't. I don't like that shit. I don't. I don't like like how this one state is legal and then you cross the border and it's illegal. Makes no sense. You know what I mean? Just makes no sense at all. Uh, at first, before you know, before harvest season, like this is the last year of outdoor growing, right? Like if they're 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 like coming down on lot outdoor growing. They just hit my uh, one of my friends' house. And she has them in bags, luckily, luckily, you know what I'm saying, just for easy uh, transportation and on pallets or whatever. And uh, 
they, they go over to a house because a helicopter's been flying over there, and they go, yeah, you got to either move these or, like, harvest them now because, you know what I'm saying? And, and what's fucked up is that she was out of, like, a uh, residential area. She was, like, out in, like, almost fucking orchards and fields type shit. Mm-hmm. It was just stupid. What's your ordinance or laws over there all about? I don't know them too well. Um, I know I want to grow, and yeah. I wouldn't be able to grow as a patient. Um, you no, you can only grow if you're within 25 miles of a shop, dispensary, mm-hmm. you can't grow. A caregiver can grow for you, mm-hmm. you know, uh, or you could be uh, both a patient and a caregiver and then grow. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're past 25 miles, I think you could grow like 12 plants or so. And yeah, so I'm so actually... You, have, like, you can't grow a personal plant in your fucking closet? Right. Like if you really want to do like a, just a, fuck, a good five, four foot fucking indoor plant, you know what I'm saying? You can treat really good. Yeah, it's, I'm if pretty sure it's zero. Feet, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't even be able to do that? Not if there's a dispensary around. Damn, that's fucking insane. And almost, like, Tucson ain't that big, yeah, so... Right. Yeah, you got, like, a million people who who wouldn't be able to, you know, that live here, and they wouldn't be able to grow. But you can get a caregiver's one, you know, and you grow for somebody else, and probably be growing for yourself, too. But uh, we're planning on moving soon, twenty like, 40 miles away. And I'll be able to grow. There's no shop in that town. And it actually would be cool to open up a shop in that town. But then people would be pissed because then they wouldn't yeah, be able to grow. To say <laughs> I was about to say, either that or grow there and start selling to the club. Something like, yeah, that would work too. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I, I don't wouldn't really have a, a spot to grow. Yeah, I'd probably just do the max I'm able to do. I'd take 12 plants. I hope it's at least 12. i got to look it up. Because, you know, you want to get that perpetual thing going with an indoor growth where you always have bud because there's a, yeah. you know, I think you need, what, four plants at least for that? Something like that? Uh, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I need to get into that. Yeah. Yeah, Cyclops probably Cyclops probably knows. You base you keep a mother you keep a mother around. Maybe it's yeah. five then. You've got the mother and then you you start up two females. And before they start harvest, before you harvest it, you already started up two more. You just got you time it, you know, so that while you're smoking one, there's more growing already. You're just never out. Cyclops says he loves his perpetual. Can you do it with more? Like, can you do it with maybe two plants? Like, have two plants harvested while two more are growing. Wait, just how? <laughs> like you know, like perpetual growth. Can you do it like, like uh, let's say you put like instead of using two, or you said four, right? And you have the mother and four other plants, right? You said. Yeah, you don't have to have a mother. You just keep cloning, off the, off the two. Oh, like, oh, all right. Yeah. So what if you have? You can do it with more than just four, right? Yeah, for sure. Like, you know, farmer with his giant, uh, farmer does it on a bigger scale. He's got the big old harvest. All his, I don't know if you've seen all the trees he has in his garden. Uh, the stone uh-huh. farmer. Oh, okay. He's got like 15 foot trees in his uh, garden. Uh, stone farmer, dragoon. Mm-hmm. And, um, 
you know, he harvests, and then he's got bud for the whole year, you know, because he's growing tons of trees. I don't know how many trees he's got, but a lot. But he does his harvest, and it's a lot of it is personal. He's hooked up for the rest of the year till his next harvest. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the more plants you got, you know, yeah. the longer you can go, the... But if you're doing like indoor just for yourself, you know, you still buy st you still buy butt on the side type of thing. Yeah. You, it'd be really cool. I've grown, you know, a couple of flowers before and I didn't clone them, nothing. And they came out awesome and then you smoke them, but you'll never have that same shit again, you know? Well, you can if it's a strain, specific strain. But the stuff I was growing was just bag seed. And grow some females without seed. Oh, that shit's dank. I had some Mexican seed. Grew some flour from it. The fucking bud was like pineapple, dude. No. Smelled like pineapple. Didn't exactly taste like it. You know, it had a sweet citrusy taste, but it's fucking killer smell. And all of them. Every time I did it. It had an awesome smell, awesome taste. It's cured right. Mm -hmm. Psych Psychops knows how much he smokes per year. He's at six pounds. Shit. I don't know. I smoke a quarter pound every month. What is that? You said a quarter what? A quarter pound? Yeah. I th think it's three pounds yeah. every year. Like well, I take, I make key from it too. So it's not like I'm smoking three pounds of flour. You know, lately it's probably been more like from those three pounds, like ninety percent of it has been key. Cheers, man. It's my lady that's taking this down. Cheers, J Bo's lady. He said cheers, babe. Sorry, I forgot her name because the last time I asked, I think you guys tricked me and gave me a different name. Uh, this is Miss Bosky, and uh, it, it was what's it called? What did I call you? Oh, yeah, Mariah Carey. Yeah, I remembered. <laughs> like, that's my daughter's name. Oh, well, that's not her real name. <laughs> Yeah, he's talking about what was your name again? Because he's like, last time I was in a call, I was a call with you guys. He's like, and they tricked me. With their name. Not bad. Looks amber. There you go. It is the day you were. There we go. That's what you're dabbing on. Yeah, some cataract OG. Yes, Cyclops is going in. Uh, he said, okay, good night, brothers and sisters. Take it easy if it ain't easy. 
No, he said take it sleazy if it ain't easy. Oh. <laughs> Definitely take it sleazy. Yeah, I can't even see how many viewers we got, but I think we still have JL, maybe Thug Dug, a few others. Yeah, I'm smoking that, uh, what the fuck was it called? Crunch Berry Kush. <sighs> Not too bad. Sounds like a fucking Captain Crunch cereal fucking flavor. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it, it smells more cheesy than anything. Cheers, man. Do you always have that glass bucket, or um, <coughs> cool I guess or you always use a titanium? <laughs> What's that? It's quartz, but it's a uh, the honey hole. <coughs> Weren't you using uh, titanium for a while? Yeah, it was uh, on my other rig, uh, and then uh, my attachment broke. It was like on a glass attachment. Yeah. And then. I was hella high one day, and I had, like took it off and like set it uh, on the table. Uh -huh. that, that way, it wouldn't burn nothing or whatever. And uh, and it fucking rolled off. Uh, it didn't. I don't. I don't think it rolled off. I think it fell over, and then it rolled off, and then it fucking uh, it just landed on the ground, and. Just fucking broke, dude. And then when I uh, and then as soon as I seen it on the ground, I had a cup of water that I was drinking and like a dumbass and like I didn't want to burn that the house down, so I picked it up real quick and tossed it in the fucking water cup and I burnt my hand a little bit. Damn. Yeah. The life of a dabber. <laughs> yeah, people usually don't, you know, talk about the negative side effects. I noticed, and I had to always ask. Like, you ever burn yourself? And, like, just about everybody, every dabber would say, yeah. Yeah, we all, yeah, we all got a torch. Uh, we all got a torch story. Right. You know like, if, if anybody who torches, they all got a torch mark. Look at Joe Yoli. He said it himself, man, oh, I got all these torch burn marks. Yep. That's why I, I like the email when somebody made a good point. You know, you got the email running and you forget. You grab your rig by the fucking nail. You know, I could see that. I could see that happening. Like, you know, first couple of weeks you got the email. Do you hey, like emails? You know, funny, uh, yeah, bro. To be honest, I, I I actually want one, just for the fact that I've never hit out of one except a couple of weeks ago. And to be honest, I recommend it to anybody who like takes small dabs. And I'm not saying like they're you know like their vaginas or anything, but like people who take small dabs, bro, and like like to conserve their fucking wax. It's perfect for that, bro. Cause I got a little ass dab, and I told my friend, no, bro. I'm like, what the fuck? Give me a little ass dab. Give me a fat ass dab. He goes, no, bro. Even though it's at 700, it burns hella slow. Trust me. And that, like as soon as I it like landed on there, dude, and it was maybe like a point two, point three, it took maybe like a good forty five seconds for like the whole wax to dissolve. So it's like a vape, you know what I'm saying? A vape pen, but it's yeah. an actual dab, bro. And I, that's why I said I love it just for the people you know who like to conserve. The littlest dabs will make you a fucking like feel like it's a point four, point five dab. Oh, I see. Yeah, I love that it. That makes sense. Yeah, and not only that, bro. Like, like not. Have kids going to wake them up, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I ain't gonna lie, you can hear a torch from down the hallway, you know what I'm saying? You can you what? Know My bad, I was coughing. Yeah, but you know how, like, if you have a torch like this, you know, that little clicker, 
you know, yeah. and then and then hearing oh, it gets pretty loud, and not only that, like your kids, you know, will get used to it and be like, oh, I know what he's doing every time he hears that, you know. Oh, like, is it? Re I thought it was just you know over the hangouts. I didn't realize it was that really loud in the house. Oh, bro, it it gets loud. <laughs> Like, th like to be honest, like sometimes when my lady's dabbing, and like I'm over, like I'm in the living room, and I'm like, bro, I can hear you dabbing from over there. You don't think you, like I can hear you dabbing? Uh -huh. Turn down a little bit. Turn it down. Before we get flagged. <laughs> I might stay on here, you know, for a bit. I don't know. Does anybody know how long this has been running? I don't. Let me see if Mr. Paul says. That call says five hours and 12 minutes. Oh, okay. That's still quite a bit to go, what, two and a half hours? It'll be like three o'clock in the morning. It's one, two, three right now over here. Cheers. Cheers. That's hilarious. It's what twelve thirty over there. Yeah. Unless my, yeah. I think. What's that? We have the same, have the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless one of us is off by a few minutes, so I'm not sure. No, it's twelve thirty over here. That's what I said. Yeah. yeah, and your next next time change, uh, whatever it's called, you change it. Spring forward and all that. Uh, I don't really, I don't really like. To be honest, bro, I really don't even pay attention to time. Like, I no, you like, guys change your clocks. Like once a year, you guys change your clocks. Yeah, my phone does it automatically, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But what I'm saying is that, like, I'll be on. The, we're on the same time now, but next time the clocks change over there where you guys are at. Ours yeah. doesn't, so then we're an hour ahead of you guys. It's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah you're right. So our, our time doesn't change here. It's the same all year round. I'm going to talk to the United Nations about that. <laughs> so, I say get rid of the freaking time zones. Let's make it all the same time while we freaking figure it out from there. <laughs> Like I don't like how people from Australia know the, the news before us. <laughs> hey, the 420 Mad Cat is in chat. Oh, tell her to hop on. I'll invite her. I think she heard that. <laughs> Yeah, I think I've seen around. I just didn't know the full name. Okay. She has an accent. Yeah. An Australian accent. Right. I sent you the invite, Amara. Amara, I think that's what, what you was. Here. Oh. Was good, player. I did. Hey, guys. Yeah, I think I seen around. I didn't know the full name. So good. <sighs> Mic check, mic check. <laughs> Mad cat, hello. Hop back in and out. I can't hear a thing. Or check your mic. Can you hear me now? Yes. You can hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. 
That How was you weird. I had, to, I had to turn my mic off, then on again. Weird. What up? What are you doing, player? I'm just, I am just got home from to the fucking doctors. <laughs> Correct. I'm wrong. But is it good afternoon or good morning to you? It's a uh, good evening. Oh, ooh, even worse. Good evening. Yeah, afternoon, evening. It's five thirty. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's evening. Good night. Good evening over there. Where at in Australia are you? Uh, Melbourne, which is Victoria, down the bottom. Okay. Bottom, bottom right hand corner. Uh huh. You guys have beaches? Are you like close to the ocean? Um, not far. Like, I'm not, I'm not really close from where I am. But to drive it, it'll probably take me about half an hour, forty minutes oh. to go. Yeah, that's close. <laughs> for me, we're in the desert here. There's but no water for hours. A bit long. A bit longer drive, maybe an hour and a half, and you get to some much nicer beaches. Up north more, along the coast? Yeah, uh, more um, more actually down south, actually, around oh. the around to the bay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's, um, on one side, there's Geelong, which has really nice beaches, and on the other side is Sorrento, which also has really nice beaches. Mm-hmm. I nearly drowned. Oh, I nearly drowned. I'm tired. It's 12:30 over here, and I gotta go to work tomorrow. Sorry, yeah. you guys. Later. All right, man. Thanks for the chat, bro. All right, definitely, bro. I'll hit you guys later. My, uh, yeah. My fiance. Good night, and everybody have a good night. A good evening tomorrow. All right, later. Peace out. Peace, man. So, how you doing, Amara? I'm doing too, not doing too bad. I've got, finally got some eye drops, so my eyes should be getting better soon. What what problems with your eyes were you having? Uh, well, it started out, I thought it was just, um, you know, a mild form of conjunctivitis, or pink eye, or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And it sort of um, developed into um, a nasty case with a bit of hay fever on top. Oh, so what? It was a, it was what you thought it was. It was just a, a, they kept lingering. It was, yeah, it's it's. I thought it was clearing up, but it just got worse. I see. So it's um, but I've got some drops, so I'm actually. Able to stand the light from the monitor without cringing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just the weather's turned really nice today. Now, you, I think that being so far down south towards the South Pole or the Antarctic, right? Um, yeah. It would get cold there during your winter time, and it would be really cold. But it doesn't get too cold down there, does it? No, not not too cold. I mean, cold enough, but for freezing. Us, but freezing, I guess. It doesn't, it doesn't snow like where where I am. Um, yeah. It snows like in the higher higher elevations. Mm -hmm. Like, but um, pretty much only my state and um, the state next to me and the state above me have snow in winter. The rest of them don't. They just have hell of rain. Usually, I've seen uh, s snow in New Zealand in some pictures. Maybe it was up in some mountainous areas. Yeah, New Zealand's got a lot of snow. They, okay. they, um, they, they, they have a lot of nice weather too. It's the name of it. The Maori, the Maori name for it is the land of the long white cloud because it's usually covered in cloud. Hmm. Or there's, but it's um, you've got mountainous region, regions in New Zealand, and then you've got the flatter regions. Yeah, it just depends really. Yeah, quite a quite a while ago, I think around 2000, I was just looking around, seeing where I would like to live, where's a good place to live, 
and uh, I came across New Zealand and just looked at the pictures and for how small it was it had like this you know wide range big variety of landscapes you know from beautiful beaches to the mountains you know type thing cool. that's Pardon um me? i mean it's it's like um it's like uh, it's got two it's two islands new zealand is made up of two islands the uh, north island and the south island and um it depends like on the south island that there's where queenstown is and that's where all the um adrenaline junkie stuff is like skiing um all, all the fucking canyoning, uh, zip lining, all that sort of stuff mm -hmm. down that area. Bungee jumping, which is awesome to do. I love that. That's so much fun. Yeah, it's a little expensive there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've not, I've not long come back from Bali. I only I came back from Bali about just under a month ago. Mm-hmm. And that was amazing. It was the best, best holiday of my life. I think I've gotten calls from Wellington and Auckland. I think more so from oh. Wellington. Yeah, they're, they're more of the, the main, the well-known cities, Wellington, Auckland, Christchurch. Yeah, that's where the, what was it, an earthquake occurred a few years ago? Yeah, a big one a few years back in yeah. Christchurch. That one, and then... I think a year later they copped another one. That's right. Now, so a while back, yeah, a while back near where I, like near where I live, about six years ago there was a big fire, um, like bushfire during the summer, and like uh, near near two hundred people died in Victoria that day. I'll never forget it. Because I was, um, it was the year I turned thirty. <laughs> <laughs> what what city did you say it was again? Where you're at? Is it a is it a city I, or a town? Small t smaller town. I say Melbourne, but um, the place I actually live in is called Doreen, which is in Victoria. It's just Melbourne's like the main city, so we all say we're from Melbourne. But uh -huh. I'm from a little place called Doreen, which is um, out bush. Flat. Oh, it's not bush. It's I mean, it's it's all built up now, but there's a lot of bush around. You still see kangaroos everywhere. Shit. But yeah, I am. Um, it's funny looking at my my country on. <laughs> How far of a drive is it to Melbourne? Not how uh, to far. To Melbourne how long? from it'll probably be about oh, about a twenty, about a half an hour, forty minute drive. It depends. Okay. Sometimes it can be quicker. Sometimes you can get there in like under half an hour. It just depends on the traffic. But it's like. No, out here it's not too bad. It's quiet. You ever go to these state parks you guys have surrounding you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've been to them uh, many times. Um, when we lived up in um, King Lake, which was up the top of the mountain, I went walking up there all the time. But I never want to live up there again because it's just too far away from everything. Yeah, I can see that. Dirt road I landed on. Yeah, that's uh, probably a bit different. We were actually on paved roads where we were, we're up up mountainous areas. But yeah, that's sort of what it looks like around here. I mean, I see kangaroos every day, without fail, every day. Oh wow! So we might see one. <laughs> oh, look, a trail. But maybe. But yeah, I um I see them every day. Sometimes mm -hmm. I see dead ones, which isn't very nice, but that's what happens. This is the bay. Yeah, that's uh that's Melbourne City. That's um but that's not where you go swimming. The beaches are more out of the city, 
Like the the closest beach to Melbourne City would be probably St Kilda Beach, and that's not a bad beach now. That's um, it used to be a really horrible, disgusting beach. I mean, you you wouldn't want to go there because you'd be afraid you'd get a fucking dirty needle in your fucking foot. It used to be a really bad area, but they've cleaned it up really well. It's on in the bay, so to speak. Yeah, that's um, that's like we we are more um, that looks like uh, the Australian Bight actually. Oh no, that's fuck, I can't even tell now. <laughs> oh, I can't even tell my own country where it is. <laughs> but, like we live. Yeah, as I said, I'm just so used to catching public transport. It's fucking weird. I got you. You're from a totally different perspective. You know, you're on the ground. Yeah. It's like um, it's weird, but I mean, I recognise, I recognise the shapes and that. Like, I recognise the shape of the bay because that's just I've looked at that map my whole life. Usually, you can kind of see the sand on the from the beaches. Yeah, it's um most most beaches around here. Like um, one of the best surf beaches that we have in Australia is um Bell's Beach, and that's down in Victoria where I live. Um, that's they actually use that as a stop on the um the pro tour the, the surfing pro tour. Oh. Yeah, because it's it's a it is one of the best surf beaches in the world because it when you walk in like you you walk not far into the water and then there's a massive drop off. So the waves can come almost right into the beach. It's a um, it's a big thing to win the Bell's Beach Pro. Um, most most surfers really want to ring the because the the trophy is like a big bell inside a little brown, like a wooden case and. Wait, a, I, I'm sorry. A, can you say that again? No, can I'm you, just saying you, like um. The can you repeat the last part? The surfing at Bell's Beach, the Pro Tour, it's a big thing for surfers to um, to win it because they want to. Ring the trophy. It's like a, it's like a, a bell encased in a wooden, a wooden frame, and it looks mm -hmm. really cool. And mm -hmm. yeah, they want to. All they want to do is shake that bell. It's a big thing. Huge. I found some beaches here. Yeah. So it goes way long along the east oh, yeah. coast. Yeah, we've got some long beaches. Like I'm on the um. This just keeps going. Oh. Yeah, we've got some pretty pretty long beaches. Like, but a lot of them are beaches that not a lot of people know about, or they don't get to that area because they're there's like you've got the main touristy beaches, and then you've got the off the beaten track beaches that the locals know about. Right. Where you can go and sit down and fucking have. Like we used to go there at night, sneak in there at night because we knew the ways, and you could sit there and smoke on the beach, and you could see the cops coming from a mile off. <laughs> it was great <laughs> because they couldn't sneak in because they didn't know the way as well, which was weird. No, I, apart from Bali, I haven't been to the beach in ages. Yeah, same here. Like I haven't been to like a Melbourne, the one of the Melbourne beaches for a long time. But when I was in Bali, it was nothing but beach. Beach, beach everywhere. <laughs> no, my holiday, the holiday was pretty cool. We had um had to go for eleven days with a. Uh, no weed when I went to Bali. Uh huh. Yeah, because didn't really want to get arrested and go to jail. Their laws are strict. Oh, their laws are so strict. Uh, it's 100% totally illegal. They've got zero tolerance. And it's also an extremely corrupt country. Yeah. So the dealers are more in league with the cops and they'll sell you something. 
and then they'll go tell the cops and the cops will come and bust you and you've either got to pay a massive bribe to get out of the charge or you're probably going to go to jail for a fair length of time. Yeah, I would definitely not risk that. You know. So I just went 11 days. But the stupid thing is you can go to any chemist over there, like a Balinese chemist, the Indonesian ones, you can go to any of them and buy Xanax or Valium over the counter. That's right. I've seen uh, like in different some country, I forget which it was, they set up a booth on the street and that was your pharmacist and he had like everything you could think of. There's no restrictions, you don't need a prescription, nothing, just whatever you want. Yeah, pretty much is a, that's what it was like here. Like they're little Indonesian chemists, that's what it was like. I walked in, I said, uh, Xanax, and they give me 10 for $13. Because <laughs> that's what helped me get through the night without weed. <laughs> oh, I see. But I, I, I didn't take it every night. That's the thing. I didn't take it every night, and it was actually, I, was, I surprised myself. Oh, yes, I know this. Um, that's, I think that's Torquay, actually. Looks like Torquay. I could be wrong. A lot of the beaches look the same. But no, I just love... Loved, I loved Bali. If it wasn't for the weed situation, I could probably live there. Which, which Bali? I guess there's a lot. <laughs> Indonesia. Kuda. Oh, so Kuda Beach. Stay there. In Indonesia. Bali. B-A-L-I. Yeah. It was, it, it was actually here in front of me the whole time. Yeah. Just trying to get an idea of where it's at. About a five-hour flight from Australia. From Melbourne. Wow, it looks so much. Cl oh, from the south Australia, I see. South of Australia, it's about a five, five and a half hour flight. Yeah, that that makes sense. <laughs> it was it was amazing. I'll I'll never um. Like I loved it. I had the best time. It was my first time leaving Australia. Mhm. Mm so I'd, I'd never flown international, I'd never had a passport, nothing. So I had to get all that. But I'll definitely go back. Oh, I am going back. Oh man. My eyes actually feel good for a change. Ping Jung Benoa. <laughs> Ooh, scuba diving. Yep. Yeah, you can do a lot there. Um my uh my brother and that they they went out to uh they had a, a water sport day where they went parasailing, um, they did banana boat, they did snorkeling, they went to this turtle island where they got to see these massive sea turtles. I actually got to release a baby a baby sea turtle. It was really cute. Mm. But it's mainly it's it's over there it's just beautiful. And cheap. Everything is so cheap. Yeah. Is that yeah. part of the and reason? They like, and they, yeah, that's part of the reason I went because it was going to be a cheap holiday. Because shop, you're shopping and everything. It's like you go shopping, 
they want you to bargain. You have to know how to haggle or, they'll, or they will rip you off. They'll rip you off. If you don't know how to haggle, they'll rip you off. Mm -hmm. But it's like I, I bought this um, I bought this helmet mm -hmm. and when I first when I first wanted to buy this helmet, he charged me, he, he goes, oh, I want a million rupiah, which is $100. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, 300000 which is $30. I had to walk away six times, but he finally agreed. You know what I do? All the money I... What was that? Well... You don't really have it. We, I don't. Per right now, right, jeez. Oh, right now, I'm not like a shopper or anything, and I don't. You know, we can't go to Walmart and haggle necessarily, or whatnot. Yeah. Um, but I did go to New York in Times Square. There's some shops that are owned by uh, like Arabians, and yeah. I knew just from. You know, growing up in Chicago, that Arabian's haggle, or whatever it's called, and when I went yeah. in there, it was a camera shop or electronics. Found the two hundred dollar camera. They wanted two sixty or something, but what I did is, you know, they wanted to ring me up practically, and I said, "Hold on, let me find out how much I can get it on the internet for." And right yeah. there, I called up my wife. She gave me the price. They matched. No, they even lowered the price that I could get on yeah, the well internet. That's, you know, that's good. It, it's like, hey, that's you need to give it to me at this price because I can get it over here at that price. It's like most of the stuff, pretty much all the stuff you buy in Bali is going to be fake. But that's why it is so cheap. Like, they, they everybody knows that it's knockoffs. Like, I bought um, a Beats. Dr. Dre beats pill. Uh huh. It's good. I've I've played it loud. I bought it's um the blue one. Look at the blue one. Mhm. Mm that cost me forty five dollars. And how much would it normally be? At least I mean over here there are a couple hundred dollars for wow. a real one. For and a real so one. The... This would be a fake. This would be a knockoff, but it's a bloody good knockoff. Um, uh, when you say dollars, are you speaking about you're you're talking about Australian dollars? Dollars, like it'd be probably about thirty-five for you, yeah. US. Yeah. Because the exchange rate's really shitty at the moment. Mhm. Mm so if you came over here for a holiday, you'd get a buttload of money for your money. <laughs> Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, but stuff's expensive over here. We pretty much yeah. pay the most for anything anywhere. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You know, in terms of housing, I I was just looking into Australia and New Zealand, and I can't afford anything there, like in terms of a house. And I would need a house. i got a big family. And, yeah, it's expensive. There are places here you can buy cheaper housing, but it's really not advisable because it's not the greatest area. That's why the houses are cheap. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've lived in an area like that before and I never will again. Mm -hmm. Just You're petrified coming home on the train because you thought you were going to get fucking stabbed. Yeah, that reminds me of when we lived in Chicago. There'd be gunfights outside our apartment. Well, we don't have the gun problems over here because we don't. Um, we're really we're quite strict on our gun laws. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. We don't um like you can't go out and buy a handgun. Um, well, you you actually, I don't think you can legally own a hand. A, so there's no there's no automatic um, weapons here. You can't own an automatic weapon. But uh, uh, you I can own a, like a hunter's gun. You can have. Can have some hunting rifles, but um, I'm not exactly sure of what the legality is. But 
because of a while back, back in the 90s, I think it was the 90s, yeah, uh, there was a, um, a massacre in Tasmania. This guy just, um, for no reason whatsoever, just went around shooting random people in this little town in Tasmania called Port Arthur. He killed about 40 people. Wow. Yeah, and he's he's in jail now for the rest of his life, but because mm -hmm. he was like he was nuts. But um, yeah, that after that, that's what really tightened the screws on the gun laws. I mean, they were pretty tight already, but after that, it was like that's when they got rid of all the um auto automatic rifles. Like you can't own a fully automatic rifle here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're just not allowed. Um. Some semi-automatics, it just depends on the caliber. So, yeah, so quite, there are exceptions, yeah. There are, but it's very hard to get, like, if you've got a criminal record, good luck mm. in getting a gun license. Like, even for, even for something that's got nothing to do with violence or guns, you still won't get a gun license. I gotcha. Yeah. I live in probably one one of the states that has the most gun owners in the United States, and that's uh, Arizona. We have very oh, yeah. loose gun laws, you know. Yeah, I've seen I've seen a few documentaries where um they were showing they were showing an Australian guy how easy it was to get a gun. They went to this gun show, I think it was actually in Arizona, and they went mm -hmm. to this gun show and um. He walked in and he bought, I think he bought about five or six guns, rifles, AK, <laughs> everything, without showing any ID. I believe it. We have giant gun shows here, you know. It's like the yearly thing. And this, this guy said that only one person asked him for ID and when he got a bit upset about it, the guy backed down. And said, no, no, don't worry about it. So I thought, fuck. I mean, over here that stuns us because there's no, we don't have gun shows at all. We don't even have, I wouldn't even know where to go buy a gun here, like from a store. I wouldn't even know where there's a gun store. Um. Ivisa, Ivisi said, what did he say here? I don't know if you've seen the message. No, no blogs, blogs right, right now. Yeah, I say that. DGW's on? Hey, what's up with that? Mm -hmm. He probably just wants somebody to take dabs with, maybe. Yeah. Maybe I don't. I don't dab yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't dab. I don't even have a camera. It's probably annoying when I speak and a picture comes up of nothing practically. Well, I, I haven't dabbed yet. It's not a big thing over here. I mean, people do dab over here, but it's not like the weed scene's very strange over here. It's still very underground. It's getting better though. Hey BZ, if it's about dabbing, I could play some videos here of you of um, you know maybe some older glob mob videos of them smoking out. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way this looks. Like if I ever go scuba diving, this would probably be my favorite part. The sun, you know, streaming oh. through the water. That'd be beautiful. Yeah, they took some um, some good pictures of um, my niece and that when they went uh, scuba diving. I'll have to see if I can get them. They were, and they had an underwater camera too, so they got to take some really good shots. Oh, man. Whew. That is wild looking. Almost looks like a bug. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, we've got a, actually got a, a reef up um, the top end of Australia up in Queensland called the Great Barrier Reef. Yeah. And it's uh, it's actually a World Heritage Site. They've actually named it a World Heritage Site. It's a beautiful place. They're actually a bit worried about it too. Oh, yeah, I've seen a documentary on it in, uh, I think it was San Diego. We traveled to San Diego for a vacation with the family, and we wound up at, like, a science museum or something. It was one of those uh, screens that are, like, above you, and they go all the way down, oh, yeah. so it's like a 3D effect, and then they give you the 3D glasses, and it was all about the reef barrier and how something's ruining it, I forget. Yeah, something's um. There's a lot of silt being deposited on for some reason on the coral, and the coral's not getting the sunlight it, and the nutrients it needs, and it keeps and it's dying off. Mm -hmm. But I've and heard so recently. To see I heard recently that they found another giant coral reef around Australia. Recently. I'm not. I'm not sure about that. The only, only only big coral reef I know of is the the Great Barrier Reef. Mm -hmm. But that that's like it's a series of reefs. It's not one long reef, it's like a series of reefs that are like in, in a line. So they they just call it one one big reef. Mm -hmm. But like I've got family that live up the top end of top end of Australia. But it's too fucking, it's too muggy and humid up there. Like, it's, it's fucking hot today. Let's see, what's the temperature today? I'm curious. I want to know what, how hot it is now. Because I'm fucking, I'm outside here in the garage and normally I'd be freezing. I'm actually quite hot. There we go, it's 84. That's that's nice weather over here because uh, it's so dry where we live. 84 is very comfortable. We hardly have yeah, humidity. It's, um, yeah, it's not that humid here today. It's just um, it's just because we've been we've had such cold weather. Because mm -hmm. it's uh, it's only just come it's coming into sp it's spring now. Right. It's almost. Oh, I see. Almost a month into spring, mm -hmm. and the weather's just starting to get warm. So we've got a few hot days ahead of us, and then it drops, and then it gets hot again. But I'm scared of summer. Summer's going to be hot as hell. Now, is it dry during the summer or humid? It can be very dry, like um, as a, the fire I was talking about that happened um, about six years ago, it was um, very dry and the winds were about, I think they were about 100 mile an hour winds. Um, it was dry as, it was in, um, I want to work out what it would be, it was well above, I think it was above 120, it was hot, like really hot. And yeah, at, at the time, Victoria, at that present moment, Victoria was the hottest place on earth. Oh wow! You guys were having a heat wave. Yeah, and that's what. And then all of a sudden, there was um, a couple of fires. Some were deliberate, some weren't. And it turned into like just this big, massive. They call it. They actually call it Black Saturday. It was one of the worst fire disasters we've ever had. Yeah, during the summer it gets up to, uh, well, our weather here is almost like summer practically all year round in the desert, but um gets up to 100. The average, I think, during the summer is like 110. Yeah, that's what we, we usually average about 100, sometimes 110 mm -hmm. just depends. Mm -hmm. But this summer I think is going to be a hot one. Mm. I'm, I'm not looking forward to it at all. Mm -hmm. Especially with my fucking white skin, I burn like shit. 
Yeah, I'm normally tan, but because I stay inside so much, I've turned back into white. <laughs> I think well, that's I, just I what stay inside. I stay inside a fair bit too, but I'm always I'm outside every day because I have to walk from here mm. to the bus stop and that. And when I was in Bali, even I was in you know shorts and singlets, and after the first three days, I stopped wearing sunscreen because I wanted to tan, mm -hmm. and I didn't even, I barely tanned, I barely tanned, and I, I didn't even burn, and I was surprised because normally, I burn so bad. When you were younger, maybe more outside? Well, yeah. yeah, but even like if I'm out in the sun for any usually great length of time, I'll burn. And I didn't burn when I was over there, and I was out in the sun all day long. Mm -hmm. hmm. But yeah, fucking got high as fuck when I came back. It was funny. Yeah, I've never had a uh, burn. Well, I've, I've, when I was a kid, I burnt so badly one time that the entire, all this above my lip. My entire upper lip came out in blisters. Ouch. I couldn't eat. I couldn't eat anything for about three days, three or four days. I could only drink from a straw. Because my mouth was too sore to move. Yeah, I felt bad all the time, you know. My friends would all get sunburned and I would <laughs> just get slightly tanner, you know. And then for the most part, I wouldn't get much darker than that. You've probably got a, a, enough melanin in your skin to stop you from burning too much. Yeah. More of a chameleon. You know, changing yeah, like color. My sister's, my sister's kids are, um, their father is Samoan. Mm -hmm. So they burn. They just get darker and darker. Mm-hmm. Like my nephew went so dark, he almost passed for one of the Balinese locals. Well, now that I've been, you know, homebound so long, that if I did go out, I think for a long enough time in like direct sun, I'd probably burn. So I was thinking, if I do start, you know, I plan on having some some issues I need to take care of, and then I think I'll be be more out there and I'll have to be careful you know I never really had to be careful about my skin like that so Cause I truly turned like a yeah, whole like, other shade lighter yeah well I can't I can't go out much in the sun anyway like I can't go out and do much because I've got sciatica and it hasn't been sorted out yet so my legs are like numb from probably my calves down to my feet. Like, I can feel them, but I can't feel them. Mm -hmm. What is that called again? <laughs> sciatica. It's, um, you have your, there's a nerve in your back called your sciatic nerve, and it runs from just below your spine to down under your butt cheeks and down your legs. And mine, mine's getting compressed somewhere. It's either one of I've either got a bulging disc that's compressing it or I've got something in my hip that's compressing it. And yeah, it's making it sort of numb. I can't get as much feeling. My feet like I don't have as much stability in my legs mm -hmm. anymore. So like I I can't run. I can't walk too fast. Um, do they feel? Heels, do they feel stiff? Very stiff. Stiff, sore. Um, do numb. Massages help. Uh, a tiny bit, but mm -hmm. not much. I mean, it helped a little bit when I was in Bali because every night on the beach, you'd get a, I'd get a foot massage. Five bucks. Mhm. Mm for a foot and leg massage. It was great. That's the thing I loved about it. 
you sit on the beach and get a foot and leg massage for five bucks, or a, or a head and neck massage, head, neck, and arms, five bucks. Yeah, it's, my mom has fun. the same symptoms you have. That's why I was kind of asking. Yeah, it's um, it can, it's um, it's sort of stiff, and they feel sort of tingly and numb, mm -hmm. and occasionally. I'll get shooting pain from the hip right down to the foot. Okay. Yeah, she's got back problems too, so... Does she know. have the problems in both legs or just one? Mm, I think both. Oh, well, then she's like me. It's If it's the same problem, it's called bilateral sciatica because okay. the nerve is at your back and it goes down both legs, so... Sometimes only one leg, or most times only one leg is affected, but the lucky few, like me, get both legs affected. So. Yeah. Did it help to raise your legs at all, like if you're sitting down, or you know what I mean? It it lying down is really the only true relief. Like you can't sit down for too long. You can't stand up for too long. Mm -hmm. The only real relief is lying down. Like mm -hmm. true relief or or painkillers, but yeah. I don't like to take painkillers too much because they make me a bit queasy. The ones I've got, yeah, because they've got codeine in them, and codeine makes me a bit queasy sometimes. Yeah, I don't like any of the hard pain pills. I mean, I'll take them because I have to take them, and then. I don't get addicted to them. I don't like them. <laughs> it's like but, my my part my partner had a shoulder up. He had a shoulder operation um, a while back, and a few, fair few years back actually. But um, his he tore his rotator cuff and a three centimeter tear in his rotator cuff, and um, so he had to have that repaired. And he also had a bone spur removed. And he had that to have that done, and they gave him they gave him oxycontin, right? For um, for pain, and he took himself off the pills because he realised at a certain at a certain time of night, he started getting the the fidgets and the you know restless and everything, because mm -hmm. that's because his body knew it was time for the pain medication. Right. So yeah, he took himself off it because he realised that. His body was getting addicted, and he didn't want to do it. So he stopped that, got off the oxys, which was good. Mm -hmm. That's good. He realised that. Yeah. He was funny though when he was taking them. It was fucking crack up. He was all dopey, and he acts really stupid. And it cracks me up because um, my boyfriend's a lot older than me. Like, uh, I'm 36, he's 60. I mean, we've been together for 15 years. Uh-huh. So, yeah, we got together when I was 21. And, um, yeah, he's, um, because he's an older older bloke, like I I don't expect him to act like a kid most times and he was acting like a an idiot child when he was on the Oxycontin. Yeah. My wife uh like I had some uh, surgeries and stuff and they put me on meds and I'd wake up and I'd still be feeling it, you know. I don't even remember what I said. But she said I was <laughs> saying silly things and laughing at me. Well, he was laugh so much like I mean he, he's a big kid anyway he's a big idiot anyway but like it was on the oxys it was oh, it was hilarious oh. but yeah he, I'm glad he stopped because I've seen too many people fucking get fucked up on those oh yeah Same with fucking meth. I hate that fucking drug. Meth? Yeah, I've lost too many friends. 
Yeah, I guess so. One of my, you know. one of my good friends, he um, he's actually he got through it. He's came through the other side, but he had to hit rock bottom to do so. Right. He got a payout from the t he got a payout from the TSC when he was 11 years old, and he was allowed to have it when he turned 18. So he turns 18, and he gets given an 18-year-old boy gets given a quarter of a million dollars. So um, yeah, he went through that in six months. Wow. With nothing to show for it. That's what meth does. It's insane. Oh, sorry. With nothing to show for it but a broken neck and a one-year jail sentence. I wonder if he regrets it. <laughs> of course he does, but yeah, he came. He's come through the other side. He's not on meth anymore, and you can tell he looks healthy. Like he's still smoking weed, but he's off the meth. He's been off the meth for a couple of years now. An 18-year-old kid with $250,000 and no restraints. His mother knew what was going to happen too. Not the meth, but she knew he'd waste the money. But she didn't know that he was going to get hooked on meth. Yeah. But no, he ended up um, driving his motorbike into a tree at about 80 mile. I think it would have been about 80, yeah, 80 mile an hour, head first into a tree. Jeez. And he got up from that accident rode the motorbike to his friend's house and then collapsed Whoa. in his arms. Why are there naked little yeah. kids in this picture? <laughs> What's all that about? If it was I'm sorry. Little... No, if it was a little dark kid, it's probably Aboriginal. <laughs> no, it looked like three little white kids. Okay. That's just someone's taking a photo of them in the nude. That's nice. I can't believe Google has that on here. I know. Some of the stuff I've put on is ridiculous. Oh, man. It feels so fucking late, but it's only not even 6.30 yet. This looks like a little, little piece of paradise. Oh, nice. The pools by the ocean. Yeah, the closest uh, beaches are like two hours away, I think. But we don't oh, yeah. even have lakes or ponds or rivers. If we do, they're dry, oh. empty. Well, you're it's out in the desert. Yeah, it's a desert. It's just kind of strange. I grew up yeah. in Chicago, and you know, it's green, tons of trees, and yeah. rivers, tons of rivers, and lakes everywhere. And I can't think of a lake that I could get to, you know, fairly quickly. Everything's away from us. And you go, you go, you you go over sure. bridges, say a river name, and there's a bridge, but there's no water. <laughs> It's just completely <laughs> Oh yeah, I get that. I mean, I that's that's the same thing over in um in the west and in the center and top end like in the middle top of Australia, that's really, really hot up there. Um, the top of um in the west and the middle. Uh, that's usually that's the hottest part of Australia. Do you know if the Aborigines lived like around the beaches too? Like I've seen some documentaries and it was always like, you know, out in the whatever they call it, 
What do they call oh, it? Bush. The bush. Bush. Yeah. Bush. But um, yeah, like they do have. You will have Aboriginals living on the coast and that. Like um, but you don't have many Aboriginals really living natural anymore. White man made sure they fucked that up. Oh, okay. You know, just just like the white man done all over the world to indigenous populations. Yeah, yeah, I was telling that uh, HB. Yeah, we we're talking about females, and we got to the average Aboriginal girls, and um, I forget oh, what was, I was, was saying. Horrible. Oh yeah, like I told them, you know, it was the same thing that they did to the natives here in America. I mean, we just systematically we, we took children away. I mean, that that was the most horrible thing that the English took children away from their parents because they were half Aboriginal and half white. Because the white man had decided to, you know, have his way with the Aboriginal women, and then they get pregnant. I mean, what are they meant to do? And then, like, after a while, there's, like, half-caste families and that, and even they got their taken away. It was horrible. Even they what? Even they got their kids taken away. Like, you'll have, oh. like, a white half-black girl and a half-white half-black man, and they'll have a kid, and their kids were, were getting taken away. That's the same. I mean... It, it wasn't, it was horrible. I mean, we even, at one stage, we even tried to breed them out. Like, you know, as you said, like, yeah. A... At, at one stage, that was a plan. That was a plan that was considering to try and breed them out. I mean, how fucked up's that? <laughs> and yet, they know how to take care of this land better than we ever will. Yep. Yeah, the documentary I saw was about them living in the bush and all the the rich rituals and their traditions and stuff. Like, I think they burned down a lot of areas. I'm not. I forget for why, but they start fires. Yeah, they do. It's um, they burn off the old stuff so new growth can come through, and so that if a fire if a big fire doesn't to cause as much damage as what it would have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same thing around here. Like, that's the reason. That's the reason we had that. The fire was so bad. That that big fire we had that was the reason it was so bad is because all the fucking the green like you know the green groups and the environmental groups and that they didn't want us to pick up the leaf litter and the fallen logs and all the rest of that because they were homes for the animals. But that was also fucking a shit fuel for the fire. Yeah. It was a bad well, hopefully, time. hopefully they learned their lesson. Whoever was responsible for that. Well, they sort of have and haven't. I mean, up there, up it still hasn't fully recovered up there, and it's been six years since the fire. It's nearly seven. Yeah. And it still hasn't fully recovered. There are trees up there that will never recover. They'll, you'll never get them back mm -hmm. because of they burnt. It burnt so quick and so fiercely that they didn't have time to release their seeds. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was that bad that the tree tops were exploding because um, of all the oil in the eucalyptus leaves. They were vaporizing and the fumes were combusting and exploding. Crazy. Reminds me of the California fires they've been having. Yeah, I was like when I was talking to Smoke and that day she took her phone out and showed me. It was like three hundred and sixty degrees of fire. Right. Brought back some nasty memories. Because where I was living, the fire was heading for our town. 
Mm-hmm. Like it would have burnt, it would have burnt down my house. Wow, it would have burnt. is that close? But it turned. The fire turned. The winds changed, and the fire turned. Mm-hmm. And it it got the other town instead, and it killed like um. In total, in Victoria that day, nearly 200 people died in one day. How many? Nearly 200. Just in the one day, because people weren't ready. They weren't. They'd never. Expe- they'd experienced fires and bushfires before, but this was something very different. This was fierce. They actually called it a firestorm at one stage. It was that bad. Mm-hmm. Like fire trucks couldn't get in. Um, in some areas, they just could not get in. Um, people had to jump in lakes and rivers. Um, at one stage, they found this poor guy dead in a field. No fire around anywhere, like no, he hadn't been burnt, there was fire all around the field, mm-hmm. but the the reason he died was because the fire sucked all the oxygen out of the air, he couldn't breathe. Oh yeah, makes sense. That's, that's how bad it was that day, it was um like nothing I've ever seen. Yeah, there's a famous, I don't know if it's famous necessarily, I don't know if you've ever heard of the Chicago fire. The Great I Chicago have. Fire. Yeah, I saw many. I've seen many documentaries on that. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like the whole city yeah. got burnt down. Yeah, my boyfriend and I watch a lot of documentaries and stuff, so I've seen a, a ton of stuff on the states. Um, I mean, I I want to go to Yellowstone so bad. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> I want to as well. It's just good. That's one of the. It's one of the places in America that I always wanted to go to, because mm-hmm. it's so, so beautiful. I've been to the Grand Canyon. Took the oh, kids wow. there a few years ago. That was just. I don't think I can think of a word to describe it. So like I spiritual I, experience. That. I can imagine that's uh, that's somewhere I've always wanted to go to. I just think it's amazing that Mother Nature did that. Yeah. Like it's trippy what can be made on this earth. Yeah, it, it's a when you're the pictures don't do it justice. When you're there, it looks like this whole entire sky is colored rock. It's just a different wow. point of view. Yeah. It's like the sky starts to disappear. I have to see that before I die. That's one that's on my bucket list for sure. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm I'm actually coming to the states next year. I'm coming. To, I'm going to Ohio to see a friend, and then I'm going out to Cali to see some GMO. Oh All right. GMO on. around Cali. There's smoke and Megan Mag and um, Jabo and Wisboski and. Are Hopefully. you GMO? Are you GMO? Yeah, they 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 class me GMO. I've never oh. dabbed, but they class they class me GMO. Because I'm right always on. supporting. I'm always supporting. I'm always there to lend to talk to lend a hand to anyone to speak to anyone. It's so, like uh, we're on the we're on the chats um, a couple of weeks back and. Um, Smoke was saying she broke her quartz castle, and I just um, I went and contacted my friend who lives in Colorado, and I bought one off him, and he sent it straight to her. Nice. Uh, I did that because you know, just I had a little bit of extra money that week, and she actually likes it because it was um, it's a instead of a castle because he didn't have castles, so Mm -hmm. I got her a banger with a carb cap. Mm-hmm. And she loves it. Huge. Big bucket. Yeah, she can actually put a coil on it. It's big enough to put a, a an email coil. Oh, right on the bucket. It's got it's got a little lip for um 
to hold. I, okay. I can't remember who was. Someone commented on it on Smoke Together's. Um, I think it was on the one gram dab video. Oh, the re fairly recent. Yeah, I think so someone commented and said something about it. It's perfect for an email. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, dab. That's a bigger bonus. But yeah, and no, I just did that, and um, when I was in Bali, I got a few people some t-shirts and stuff. Because, as I said, t-shirts were like five bucks each. But like brand name knockoffs. Mhm. Mm from China, probably. No, they make them over there. Oh. Yeah, they they actually make them over there. They've got, they've got um factories and stuff all around the joint. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't see them, but they are around. Yeah. But no, I actually, I actually went to this um restaurant over there called Bubba Gumps. Yeah, we have those. Yeah, I'd, I'd never um, I'd Sea never food. seen it before, and I'm like, yeah, based on Forrest Gump. Mhm. Mm yeah, and I was like, I loved it. I thought it was cool. Yeah, I, there's but not I, one around here, but there's one in Chicago, uh, right on a pier, actually. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, this one was just um, was just in the in the street, but it's uh, yeah, it was really nice. I, I loved it. I did get sick though that night, <laughs> but I don't. I think um, it was my fault because um, I copped barley, what they call barley belly for about a day. It's basically mm -hmm. a really bad stomach flu, like a really – because if you ingest the water, you'll get sick. So you, can't, just, you can't drink the water. But like and one day I, and then you're immune to it? Oh, sometimes it can last for a week. Like it, you can ruin your whole holiday. I just got a mild case, thank God. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I, I was quite sick that night. And I think it was because I was the only one that had something cooked in water. Mm -hmm. But I had steamed steamed broccoli with my dinner, and um, I think that's what made me sick. I see. But Most yeah, likely. Was, yeah, it's not fun, and I I missed out on going to the water park because I was sick for a day. But I'm going back. I'm going back, not next year, but the year after. Yeah, five Four hours, not bad. Yeah, it's I'm going back for my sister's 40th birthday in 2017. You said next year is the United States? Next year's the States, um, in July or early August depending on when I get the money saved. <laughs> and then the following year will be um, in July, near the end of July, because my sister turns 40 on the 24th of July. Mm -hmm. My brother, too, that's my brother's birthday as well, and he's three years younger. They're born Weird. the same day, three years. Yeah. yeah that doesn't happen often. I know my my mum was um she just served the cake at my sister's third birthday, and then she had to go to hospital. <laughs> <laughs> they must have, have maybe they had a, a really good schedule for love. <laughs> well, maybe they did, but um, we we were actually quite close in age, like between my sister and me. There's 17 months mm -hmm. between my me and my brother. There's 17 months, and then between my brother and my youngest brother, who's not with us anymore, there was um there was about just just under two years. So we were all we were all at school together. We were all in high school together. Yeah, I have two two of. Uh, the two older kids I have um, are kind of close in age. 
Oh, yeah. It's kind of good, yeah, you know. Yeah, no, um, yeah, it is good. It, it, I think it's good to be close in age. I think it's better than being further apart. Yeah. yeah you may fight a lot. Like, we used to fight a lot as kids, but we were always had a really strong bond. We always backed each other up. But no, my little brother's not, my youngest brother's not with us anymore. He died a bit over a year ago now. Oh, the recent. Fairly yeah, recent. Yeah, just, just over a year. Yeah, he's, um, this was him. I always keep him behind my shoulder. Don't know if you can see. His. Yeah. Yeah, that's Cameron. I've actually got his name tattooed on my forearm. What's the um, four leaf clover? Is that, does that have anything to do with That's, the Irish? <laughs> yeah, actually, it's, it, it does sort of. Um, his favourite colour has always been green ever since he was like a tiny, tiny kid. And that's why there's green inside the letters. And the four leaf clover is actually because he was born on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's 17th sense. of March. His birthday was so. Yeah, he's um. We had his one. We had the one year anniversary when we were in Bali. That's the night we were at Bubba Gumps, actually. I think. Mm -hmm. No, we weren't at Bubba Gumps. We we're at the Irish. I lied. We we're at the Irish pub. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, we went to the Irish. His, I he love used Irish to pubs. Go there on his birthday. They actually don't have that many in Bali. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I believe it. Yeah, it's funny. But no, it's a, it's a good place to go for if you want a tolerance break and you want to go somewhere beautiful and not too expensive, that's a good place to go. Yeah, it sounds great. Like you said, the strict laws, but... Can you do medibles? Yes. You think you can get away with medibles? Edibles? Uh, I wouldn't try it over there. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I was walking up and down the streets <clears throat> at night, like to and from dinner, and you'd have people like at, on the side of the road saying, "You want cocaine? You want meth? You want weed? You want belt?" They ask you if you want everything. It's like you go, "No, no, no." It's, it's it is very corrupt over there. It can be so. It's a beautiful place, but you just got to be careful. You don't don't do anything wrong, and you'll have a good holiday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that whole area of the tropics there, Singapore, and Malaysia, and Philippines, and all that, it's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, in Bali, you get caught smuggling enough drugs, or the right type of drugs, you'll get the death sentence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard about that. We just had uh, a few Austra uh, two Australians executed uh, recently. Oh, that was they were in Bali. Yeah, they they tried to smuggle um, heroin out of Bali to Australia, and nine of them the nine of them got caught, and the two ringleaders got the death sentence. The others all got life. Yeah, it was a. Uh... It was on the news here quite a, not a lot, tons, but enough to where, you called, know. Yeah, they were called the Bali Nine. Yeah. Yeah. And also a woman uh, before that, stupid, stupid woman, her name was Chappelle, her name was Chappelle Corby. Um, she tried to smuggle four kilos of marijuana into Bali in her, bo in her boogie board bag. Stupid. They caught her in Bali. They caught her in Bali and she got, at first she got life. Then it was um, commuted to 20 years and she served 10 and she's got to stay in Bali for another 10 years. Oh, well, not now. I mean, she's got, a, I think, about three or four years to go and then she can leave Bali. But until then, she can't leave Bali. She's on parole. She can't leave. Jesus. 
I wonder yeah, why some some... of these countries have such strict laws, you know? I, I believe uh, Malaysia as well, Singapore. Yeah. yeah, China, all those sort of places. You get caught with drugs, you're in deep shit. I mean, mar I'm thinking mainly marijuana, you know? Like, you know yeah, what I mean? Uh, some... some... Some some of the other countries aren't as hard on marijuana, but they are still pretty hard on it. Yeah, it's too bad. You still you still you still do jail. Yeah, I would think those countries would be more free with all the, all the tropical weather and that tropical beautiful paradise environment. <laughs> you know, with all the beaches, they have like thousands of islands around there. You know, tiny ones and stuff and. I would think just that environment would would kind of make them more relaxing people, you know. I don't know. The, the, um, there is a big uh, there is a big drug problem yeah. in Bali, like on the drugs. Um, a lot of a lot of people are dying. Mm. Um, so it's it's hard, but I mean, so I went and just I just went and picked this up today. Quarter. Uh huh. If I, if I got caught with that in Bali, I'd probably do five years. I, yeah. How much did you pay for a quarter, by the way? Uh, seventy. Seventy dollars. And is it like, um, you know, a specific strain, or is it just regular stuff? We don't know what our strains are called over here, but it's pretty. It's pretty dope. I'll show you. I'll get a. I'll get a nug out. Decent nug. I've actually fucking nug. Yeah, it is just some pretty decent nugs in here actually. It's not the best lighting in here. But Are they seedless? Yes, seedless. Okay. Pretty much any seedless will be will be better than seed seedy. Oh uh, well, so good. It's got a Almost smells like roses. Yeah. So yeah, that's some good flower there, and for a quarter seventy. Um, yeah, seven. Yeah, I just paid for an eighth of this stuff. I paid fifty dollars, fifty or forty-five. I forget. But as soon as I get a quarter, the price drops. You know, it's like yeah, seventy yeah. or eighty or seventy. Yeah, it's like um, normally over here. If we go buy an eighth from anyone, they'll charge you fifty bucks. But my my dealer only actually only charges me half the price of a quarter, so I get an eighth for thirty five. Oh, okay. So yeah, some people exactly. Some people here get eighths for like thirty, thirty five, and. It's usually just because of the connection yeah, they have. Yeah, that's the I, that's the only she and she doesn't do it for everybody. She only does it for a, a few mm -hmm. people. And it's like always quality. Come. Yeah, always. She doesn't. She won't buy shit. Like if she goes to pick up a big a big lot and it's shit, she won't buy it. Mhm. Mm because she knows her customers will say it's shit and they won't come back. They'll go somewhere else. Yeah. I just bought um, two ounces of not too much seed, really. I mean, out of the two ounces, there were maybe only like 20 seeds, which is not a lot for what I normally get. But this cost me $60, no, 65 for two ounces. And uh, I usually don't smoke the flower. I make it into some type of concentrate, whether pressing it for a resin or uh, making keef out of it, or you know, getting the keef out. Um, yep. And then it's really good. The rosin is really good from it, and uh, the keef is really good from it. The rosin is actually better, more potent, and tasting better than the keef. So I'll probably press all two of these ounces. Nice. Now I'm going to be doing my first dab soon as soon as I get a rig. Mm -hmm. just got to get the money to buy a rig. But as soon as I get myself a rig, I'm going to um, 
press myself out some rosin and do my first dab on. I thought you pressed some lower. out. Maybe it was somebody else. I thought I seen somebody pressing some. Yes, it was probably Chris. He he. I know he did put some um some post some pictures in the in one of the chats of him pressing. But no, I've never pressed um the okay. only um the only uh hair straightener I've got in the house is actually my niece's. And if I used that for pressing weed, she'd have a hissy fit. Yeah. She's a thirteen year old she's thirteen years old. Well yeah, if she uses it like, you know, even once in a great it's while. A yeah, you wouldn't want to use it anyways because it will stain the iron, you might break it. It's you know these irons aren't made for pressure, how, all the pressure we put on it. So yeah, I mean I just bought one. It was like I forget twenty nine maybe or twenty dollars, and it's a really good yeah. one. You want you want to get the two inch one, at least. And yeah. um, this one has thirty dial settings for temperature. So you know thirty being like. the hottest and zero being the Hers is really like one of those really expensive ones, so I wouldn't use it for that anyway because I would yeah. be afraid I'd break it. Yeah, some people have the digital ones with the you know the digital readout. I thought that those were cool, but mine's not um, like that. My niece, my other niece has got one of those, a really really expensive one though. It um cost her two hundred and something, I think two hundred and forty. Yeah. Look, these these girls are crazy about their hair. They are absolutely nuts, <laughs> and they hate my hair because all I have to do to get my hair straight is to have a shower and brush it, and just let it dry normally, and it's straight. Yeah. I've got dead straight hair. Always have. It's like my wife. She's got my that straight hair, kind of like Chinese yeah. women do. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, mine's very um, straight and very fine. It looks like I've got a lot of hair, but when you bunch it all up, it's like bunches up into nothing. Hmm. I had um, my hair braided in Bali, and it took took the lady nearly three hours to do it because wow. my hair is so. I sat there for near, I had one break, I was able to get up for one break because she needed a break because her hands were sore. Wow. And she's like, you have very fine hair. I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know where that came from. Why did the braids come out or was that a while ago? I took them out. Um, I probably kept the braids in for about. I had. I got them done two days before I left Bali, oh, and okay. I probably kept them in about two weeks after I got back, and that was probably mm -hmm. a bit too long because they were looking really ratty and yeah. wispy. Because my hair wispy as well, so it was all coming out and looking. But I I miss them, but I can't get them done over here because it costs too much. Hey, uh, all the viewers, all four of you, I guess, if you're in the chat, <laughs> let us know if you're watching. If not, we understand. Probably on some device yeah. that won't let you say anything or won't let you chat. But hit us up <laughs> in the Hangout chat or in the live chat. I know there's four of you. I don't know which ones, though. I found out recently that when I do my lives, there's a... Two or three people have mentioned that they they're listening. You know, I'll find out while I'm on live that that one person's listening. And, oh, I'm just listening. You know, or I'm just watching, chilling out. And you know, people I would never expect that they would you know be following or lurking, yeah. following along yeah. and lurking. You know. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, man. I gotta know if you know uh, Addy. 
from the UK? Um, I don't know. I know I know a guy from the UK, but I don't know his name. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Eddie's really cool. And um, who else was it? I found Thug Doug was listening to me way into the night. I didn't oh. realize it. And then he I, maybe he got uh, used to it because he was showing up in uh, in the chat on the lives like almost every day, really late. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you be asleep, oh. man? Cyclops comes around a lot. I like that. He's just kind of started yeah. coming on the lives a little bit more. He was always hanging out in the chat the past couple of weeks. Awesome. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm, I mean, I'm usually up late anyway. I mean, this is, I mean, it's only, it's only early for me here. It's only 7 o'clock. Yeah, it's but, two, almost 2 a.m. here. But, um, yeah, I'll usually have a, a nap in between now and when everybody else decides to get up. <laughs> and I'm usually on till about four in the morning over here. Yeah, I used to work a night shift and I'd get calls from uh, server administrators, big companies in Australia. Oh. And, and New Zealand too. We had a guy in New Zealand who would call in all the time. And uh, the Philippines too. Those were usually women which was kind of interesting. Women who could hardly speak English. And like our contract said, you have to speak English, you know. I could have reported them yeah, or something, but I didn't. Yeah, you'll get a lot of call centers and stuff like that, especially um, in like with computers, tech stuff, whatever. It'll be mainly um, like foreign women, um, Indians or uh, well, they, Chinese. They actually Chinese. had a... They had kind of a it's pre prestigious job, you know. The people that were calling me were like probably, most part, making over a hundred grand. I don't know how much these the females in the yeah. Philippines got, but you know they were running servers for like big corporations and stuff. Like in yeah, Australia, it's, it's I'd get unbelievable. What's that? I I just said it's it's unbelievable. Like they'll. You have all these people in these high-paid positions and they can't even converse with the people they need to converse with. Yeah, I think it's more difficult for Americans uh, who aren't around other languages so much and who maybe don't speak yeah. another language, aren't around foreigners. Um, it's, more, it's more difficult for them to make out, you know, what people are trying to say with accents. And because I, I was raised, I grew up, I was born in the Czech Republic and I grew up in a place in Chicago that was full of foreigners of all sorts okay. and um, and just and I speak three different languages so most of those types of calls wound up going to me <laughs> so I'd be the one who who'd have to deal with it and they were just difficult they just they they just yeah. didn't know the language well it wasn't even so much pronunciation Sometimes it's just they don't know the ling lingo or language and um, just kind of have to try to read what they're saying almost and try to understand. But generally, I'd, I'd yeah. say, screw it. Can I, let, me, let me connect to those servers from here in America and I'll take care of the problem myself. You know, <laughs> just fix it for them. We had that option, but we weren't supposed yeah. to be doing that. They're, they're taking care of their stuff there. They're calling us. So that they, not so we can fix it for them, but so then they can go to their computers and do what we told them to to do. You know, yeah. it's their they're getting paid to take care of all the computers at, you know, whatever HSCB or whatever bank HB whatever bank or the biggest telecom company. Like that's what yeah. one of, one of my main customers was from uh, Australia. I forget which company it was like. Tell us something. The like the biggest um, community, you know, uh, communications provider out there. Telstra. Telstra, yes. Oh my God, that just brought instant memories back. Yeah, he worked for them, and he had you know some big responsibility to maintain tons of computers. 
And he'd call every day, what do I do, what do I do? And, you know, I didn't have to dial into his computer at all. He just, he was on top of things. One of the best customers we had was from Australia. Yeah. I mean, we, we hate Telstra over here because um because they're the biggest, they um they give the, like, they have the best coverage and everything. They own most of the, the telephone lines because they were the only, for a long time, they were the only telephone company here. Mm -hmm. I mean, they used to be called Telecom. Mm -hmm. And then they were they were government owned, they were government run, but then the government sold it off. Um, mm -hmm. And but they they own like they're the richest tel telco company here. They own all the all the lines yeah. and they rent them out to the others. And they have the worst like um, you want to get say you're on a prepaid phone and you want to mm -hmm. buy a recharge. They have the worst one like the worst value ever it's mm -hmm. they treat their customers like shit because they can right right and it's like a monopoly yeah and the other like companies like um I'm with a company that uses the tel I, I use boost mm -hmm. and they're so helpful and they they give the best probably the best recharge over here like mm -hmm. I I pay, Forty dollars, and I get unlimited calls and texts to any phone, and that in this country. Mm -hmm. And I also get um, three gig of data. Plus, every Sunday, I get an extra gig. Mm -hmm. So you, so I, I usually get seven gig a month. And I'm I'm pretty sure that they've upped the bonus gig on a Sunday to two gig. So I'm not sure. I'll find out this Sunday. Nice. So are you on I'll a phone? Out. Yeah, I'm on a phone right now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm using, I'm on Wi-Fi at the moment because if I, if I wasn't on Wi-Fi, my data would be pretty much gone. So I only video call off my phone because, or hang out on my phone because when I'm on Wi-Fi because... Yeah, otherwise I can't, and my computer's too slow and shit and laggy to mm. hang out. It keeps pausing and cutting out and stuff because mm -hmm. it's old. Oh. I think we we lost a viewer after I asked them to uh, say hello. I was too um too shy. Right. You're talking to me. Okay? Oh man. Another get... long fucking day. Yeah. Yeah, my sister um. I had to go to the doctors, and I I had to go to the doctors today mm -hmm. to get some drops on that for my eyes. And um, my sister was taking um, my niece to the movies for her birthday because it was her birthday last week, and she had to wait for my rent money so she could take it <laughs> to the um to the movies. And so um, he took her to the movies, and that, and I had to. You know, wait around till they were finished, and I didn't get much sleep, so it was really hard to stay awake. And now I'm sort of at that stage where I'm past tired, but I'm still tired. <laughs> yeah, I've been feeling like that a lot the past few days. Um, man, my sleep's all messed up. It's been messed yeah, up. Mine's been it's been really messed up. Like last, like today, I didn't sleep. Like last night when I went to bed, um, I probably slept for about three or four hours, maybe if that. And the night before that, I slept for nearly 16 hours because the night before that, I only got two hours sleep. Mhm. Mm so it's like it's like I get a little bit of sleep and then I crash for the whole day. I mean, a little bit of sleep. I just wish you'd even out. 
Yeah, my sleeping, I don't have a sleeping pattern or schedule. It's just it's constantly changing for the most part. Sometimes it stays the same, but eventually changes within a few days. Um, but like the other day, I was up for 31 hours. But a couple of days yeah. before that, I was up for like 27 hours. And then in between, I hardly got any sleep. So like after that episode, I slept for like 12 hours, which was really nice. But I woke up just feeling like shit anyways, you know, even though I got yeah. that sleep. Um, yeah, exactly. And then uh, I think yesterday I was up quite a bit too, or was that 31 or 20-something? I was up again a long time, and I got some sleep. I think it was maybe four hours, five, maybe four to six hours, and for some reason I just felt great. Um I don't know. Maybe it had something to do with me knowing that I got paid today, and and I'll be able to buy what I need. I don't know. Okay. I mean, but it also they reckon that um the best amount of sleep is around four to six hours of sleep. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was like eight or something. Oh, they doctors and that did reckon, but they did a study and they they reckon that. Eight hours is probably the maximum you should sleep. Oh, okay. But around six hours, four to six, probably six, is probably like the optimal hours, like for your brain and body to. Yeah, it goes through like. A, and relax. Yeah, it goes through a four-hour cycle of of different things that happen during your sleep. I thought we had to get two, but I think you're right. Where they were saying you, we don't need to. Two cycles, we only need one. Yeah, just like, and, and then that last bit sort of helps you wake up. And but I mean, I've I've always been a, a long sleeper because I stay up so bloody late. So that's why I'm always so tired. Mhm. Mm yeah, for the most part, I'm up at during the dark dark hours. I'll be up, but it switches around. You know, it's funny because like the guys I hang out with on my lives. I've told them that before, but, you know, they still, when I'm not around, and they're like, where the heck is he? I told them, just assume I'm sleeping. You're up during the day, and I'm sleeping during the day. Yeah, it's like, like me. I'm usually, I mean, sleep, I can sleep anyway, because I'm usually waking up every few hours to use the bathroom or something. Yeah. But, um. All my cats are bothering me because they want to come in my bedroom and annoy me. I hear that. I've got we have six cats, but only one comes in here. She doesn't really bother me, but after a while hanging out in here, she'll start bothering me. One wanting attention, and I give her attention, and she wants my more attention. I give her more attention, and after a while, I just oh, give up. Have, um, You're out of here. <laughs> We've got three cats and three dogs. Um, the three cats, um, two of them are from the same litter. One's all black and the other one has um, got bits of grey and white. Or oh, He's mainly all grey and he's got bits of white and little tiny bits of brown in him. And they're both long-haired and really beautiful animals, mm -hmm. really sweet, really good-natured cats. Mm -hmm. Then we have a short-haired white cat. He has... All our cats are male, by the way. They're all sexed. But um, this white cat has one, I think it's one blue eye and one green eye, or one mm -hmm. brown eye and one green eye. He's got two different coloured eyes, so I always get mixed up what the colours mm -hmm. are. He's a cat from hell. Wow. <laughs> He's if, 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 like, I'm not religious at all, but if I believed in Satan, I'd say Satan lived in this cat. I mean, he's he doesn't like to be held. He does not like to be touched at all. I mean, he does like to be. He'll he'll, can, he'll take maybe 20, 30 seconds of a pat, and then he'll walk away, or he'll try to bite you or swipe at you. Um, if you hold him for any longer than about 30 seconds, he starts to growl and hiss and he will try to bite you. It's crazy. Um, 
It sounds more yeah. like a feral cat. I know, but we've had him since he was a baby. Hmm. And um, he Some tries to attack instincts. the other. He attacks the other cats for no reason. Like he'll just launch himself at them. <laughs> He's mean. He's just mean. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, they all and do have different personalities. I, I think I had, I think I said I had six cats. We actually have nine cats and six dogs. But uh, those nine cats, wow. every single one is different. You know. Yeah, I used to have a fair few cats at one time, and they were all different. They all had the little. But I've never met a cat like this. This cat is just mean, and he's a, he's also a hundred percent deaf. He cannot hear at all, so you can't like, mm. you can't yell at him for doing something, or because he can't hear you. Mm -hmm. So it's pointless. It's like before we before we got him dissexed, he used to sit at the front door at the little window and meow at like three, four, five o'clock in the morning, you know, like a tom, because he was he was a tomcat, and he um. He uh, was uh, meowing all night, spraying everywhere. Mm -hmm. We fought, we got him dissexed and he stopped all that, but he's still not very nice. The only person that can hold him or spend any great length of time with him is my niece because he loves her. All the animals love her. <laughs> it's kind of the same here. Oh, with with the cats, because I only spend time with one of them. She lets me pick her up, and she lets me pet her. The other cats, I usually just walk past through, you know, the hallway or enter the kitchen or the we have a living room connected to the kitchen. They're all over the place, and they're just usually lounging around or hanging out. And if I come up to them and want to pet them, they they get scared. They you know run away or whatever. It's just because I don't spend time with them, and I'm usually in my man cave, and there's only yeah. one cat that wants to come in here, you know. The other ones, they come in yeah. here once in a while, but they just run around, do their thing, play, and then want to leave. But, yeah, the other one, I like uh, I like her. She, I feel like she talks to me. She meows, but does a different type yeah. of meow depending on the answer I ask, you know, the question I ask. I'll be like, do you want to get out? She'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I said, yeah. do you want to get out, she might also say, no, no, no. Yeah. She, so Aww, it's like no or cute. It's like no or yes. I'm like, are you serious? And it's like 99% of the time, if I go by that, I'm correct, you know? Because if it's yeah. not that she wants to get out, the reason she's, you know, meowing and looking at me and whatnot, she does this thing, um, is because she wants attention. You know, it's either attention or I want to get out. Yeah, like my um, my uh, grey one, the grey long-haired one, he, um, he's got a very special meow. He sounds like, we call him the old man because he looks like an old man and he meows like an old man. <laughs> he's, he's not old, just he seems like an old man. You know, some some animal he just seems like a little old man. Yeah. And um, he also one of the fucking annoying things about him is he drools. Like when he gets like you know content and like when you pat him and that he'll drool. Mm -hmm. Like not heat, but it will like drip on you. And sometimes if he's been there for a while and he'll shake his head all of a sudden you'll get little flecks of water on your arms. Like you know, cat can drool. That's why I allow him in the garage while I'm smoking because um, I don't want him fucking dripping fucking cat drool all over my bloody weed. <laughs> oh, it's, it's ridiculous. And the black one, he's worse because he doesn't drool. But uh, when you when he wants, like, if I'm in my bedroom and I'm lying on my bed, if he wants to come in for a cuddle and I want to sleep, he'll come in and he'll lay... Pretty much half on my face, <laughs> like literally, and he'll just lay down there and, and just be content to lie half on my face, and I've got a mouthful of fucking cat fur. 
Oh, that would like, suck. Oh, and he thinks it's funny. Like, and, and I'll move him, and he'll just come straight back. <laughs> uh, the only you ever... way to stop it, I have to turf him out. I have to turf him out of the room and shut the door. And it doesn't shut properly. Like, it shuts, but it doesn't click properly. So they can push it open. So I have to wedge something under the door so they can't push it open. My cats opened the door to this man cave, and it freaked me <laughs> out the first time it happened, and I didn't realize it was the cats. It freaked me out so bad because nobody was home. And they're like, they they used teamwork to do it, you know? There was a few of them because I watched them do it from the other side one day. It always freaks me out. But... um. <laughs> I was going to say something, I forgot. Something about cats. Yeah. Oh, the cat. They do work together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do. They do work together. Like, when you get them in a, in a group, you do find that they will work together to get a common goal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think they're super smart, very smart. They sense this cat that I have that comes in here. If I don't want her in here and she wants to stay and I go towards her to pick her up she'll run away she can sense it if yeah. I'm coming to just pick her up to pet she senses that and I, I'm trying yeah. my best to do the same exact thing because I'm like what if I like walk the same way behave the same way in front of her smile whatever not smile do the cat smile with the eyes they squint and um, yeah it didn't matter. She still picked up the vibe. Yes, yeah, they, so they do. They're very intelligent. My cats do the same thing, but what um, my cat, like my black cat, when I pick him up, if I pick him up to hold him, he likes to put his paws on either side of my neck and cuddle right up into my neck. And, like, if I want to put him down, he seems to know and he clings, up, clings on really tight. Yeah, yeah. And the way I can put him down is to like pretend I'm pretend I'm like laying down a baby on a bed, and then he lets go because he's on his back and he doesn't like it. Yeah, but when that's I the go only down. way I can make him like. When I when I pick up my cat, even then, it she'll if she wants to stay, she knows I'm about to take her out somehow. Because yeah. she'll start struggling to get a, you know, get yeah. out of my my arms because or she's... whatever. But if she knows I'm just gonna pet her or put her on the bed or play with her, she doesn't do that. She's chill. <laughs> it's like how the fuck do you know? I'm I'm not. I'm trying my best not to give off vibes the past few days actually. You know, just to kind of see what happens. <laughs> they go really deep. They they know a lot. <laughs> I reckon but, uh, they read your mind. What's that? I reckon they've got some sort of fucking telepathy thing, cats. Yeah, because I was trying my best, you know, really not to just to be the same same type of I'm going to pick you up as if nothing's going to happen. No. So, yeah, either they can, I don't know what. It's something deep that we don't have, that's for sure. You know, Can you imagine if we had like that? I mean, dogs can sense things too, but in a different way. Mm -hmm. That's right. I mean, my my boyfriend, my boyfriend's dog. Um, he's got a a Rottweiler across Alaska Malamute. Big boy, very big boy. Mm -hmm. He's um about I'm trying to think. He's he's about seventy five kilos. He weighs more than I do. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm trying to think. In, in pounds, that'd be about. 160 pounds, roughly. Mm -hmm. 160, 170 pounds. So he's a big dog. And um, gentle, like he's the most gentle dog I've ever met in my life. It's like you could put, like you could put the tiniest bit of food in your lip, and he will gently take it from your mouth with his mouth. <laughs> and he won't touch. He won't touch you with teeth. 
he won't. If he has to, he'll try and lick it off your mouth. But if you can't, he'll gently grab it with his. It's so sweet. Sounds cute. It, oh, he is. He's a doll. He's a real sweet dog. He's um. He's probably. I'd be about ten by now. Yeah, be about ten. And he's, he's getting to be a bit of an old man. I but remember. He's still very sweet. I remembered what I was going to ask you. Uh, I forgot a few minutes ago. That was, um, well, I'll tell you what happens is I'll be sleeping and the cat's in my room. And I'll open up my eyes. And there's my cat with its paw up, one paw up, like ready to s scratch me. Or actually it's more of a pose like he's going to smack me because he yeah. smacks. <laughs> And it's just the weirdest thing, like as if you caught him right before he uh, or she, right before she was gonna. It's almost as if they give gave me a it gave me a vibe of there's somebody around you and they're gonna about to hurt you. Yeah. You know, and I wake up just before she scratches me or just before she slaps me. She's never done it, you know. But she, her paw is always there waiting, looking at me like she's ready to do it. And it's mainly when she want, she wakes me up that way. She doesn't scratch me. She doesn't do anything else but stand in front of, of my face with her paw up, you know, on the side of my face with her paw up like it's she's like, ready to attack. If I'm feeling queasy, if I'm feeling a bit like sick in the stomach when I'm lying down and stuff, he seems to sense it, and he won't come up and lay on my neck and face because he knows that makes me feel. Even, it's like he knows that makes me feel even worse. Mm -hmm. So he'll he'll lay beside me. But mm -hmm. any other time, it's straight to the face. But mm -hmm. if I'm feeling sick, and I I don't even push him away or anything, he just comes and lays beside me, and that's it. And all he wants is just a little bit of a scratch on the head. <laughs> That's all they want. My cats, they like being scratched on the head. That's their favourite. And they like a belly rub as well. I don't know why. I, I'm, well, I know why I didn't grow up with any pets or animals. But my uh, wife, when I met her, she, when I was really young, She, uh, her father owned a pet shop. So she, oh, grew right. up in, she grew up in the pet shop practically. And um, so her family's all into animals. So, you know, I kind of got eased into it as I got older and got married. Had my first dog when I got married, you know, with my wife. Oh, wow. We had, um, pardon me? I said, wow, that, that's awesome. Yeah, but to this day I haven't, I don't like doing the belly rubs. Yeah, well, you, you haven't grown up around it. Like, I've had animals my whole life. Uh, mm -hmm. Since I was a little kid, I can't remember not having a cat. I mean, I've always had a cat. Yeah, yeah. Same thing with always. my kids, and they'll, you know, they love the pets and rub them. Yeah. You know, all over and kiss them sometimes. I don't like that. I'm like, you shouldn't, you know, or let the dogs or the cats kiss them and stuff. Like, no. That's actually, I find it. I find it funny when when people freak out about that. Because not, I mean, I can understand, I can understand, but there's a, they actually did a test, and um, dogs and dogs, the germs in a dog's mouth and the germs in a human's mouth are virtually identical. Oh, okay. There's yeah, only a couple. There's only a couple of slight bacteria difference because you know dogs like eating rotten meat and stuff sometimes, but. Apart from that, you're not going to get sick from a dog licking you. It seems like none of them got sick from it, you know. It's just, you know, yeah. old wives' tale or maybe just older information, you know, that I was kind of like, I mean, I, like I said, I never had pets. And part of the reason is my parents viewed them as, as you know, uh, not pets, yeah. but not they didn't want them in the house if we were to have pets. Uh, they would dirty up the carpets. They would cause problems. So we don't want these problems. You know, they were my parents were like clean freaks because they were in the cleaning industry, yeah. so to speak. So everything had to be perfect. So we couldn't have a dog in there ruining anything. You know, 
Um, oh, yeah, yeah. My, my grandparents were like that, but they actually did have a dog, but they were very, um, the dogs were very well trained. They knew where they were allowed to, like, they were allowed to, in any room of the house, but they knew if they're, where the mat was, they were only allowed on the mat in the lounge room. They weren't allowed anywhere else in the lounge room. They weren't allowed on the couch or on the chairs or anything like that. They just had to sit on the mat that was provided for them. Yeah. And I they, wish they I wish my wife and kids my, would do that. But Yeah, they, they trained my, my grandparents trained those dogs so well. And we've actually still got one of their dogs, um, their last dog that they got before they died and we've, we've still got her, or my mum, my mum's still got her. Mm. Yeah, if it was up to me solely, I might have like one dog or one cat. I mean, if I was married with their kids and the kids never requested a pet, I don't know how to explain this, but basically I let them do they wanted the pets. I let them have the pets as long as they took care of them, did this and this and that, you know. Um, and they yeah. did. They have done good so far. Other than what you're saying, like the cats and the dogs will be all over the place, you know. There's like they have no restriction other than like my room, um, the bathroom that they don't go into, like for the most part. There's they just know somehow, you know, if they're going to come in my room, the dogs, they're going to get kicked out right away. So for the most part, they don't come in here, you know. But they'll be if, lounging if, all over the place. If you leave a door open in my house, if you leave a door open to any room, the cats will go in that room. Yeah. So if I don't want them they're in They're more my, likely to, come, to in, make sure, come in the room, yeah. I have to make sure my bedroom door is fully shut. Or else they'll go in there. Um, sometimes I'll come home and they've pushed the door open and I'll find them asleep on my bed. I think they headbutt. They were headbutting the door. That's how they got mine, it open. Mine, mine scrape. Mine scrape with their paws. They don't use I, their I heard a little bit of that, but not too much. More like bumps. Yeah, if, if, it doesn't, if your door doesn't latch 100% properly, a yep. cat will get it open. Yep. Yeah. That's what. That's why when I go to sleep at night, if I don't want them in there, I have to wedge something under the door to stop them from pushing it open. Mm -hmm. And they still try. They still try. And I just like, I like, I yell at the door, I'm like, piss off. And then they stop. The white cat, he doesn't come in because he's just not a people person, not a people cat. Oh. We have three watching, but I'm going to get going. Got a yeah, few things I'm, I'm going to do. I've got some, got to get some rest. I've got to go look after fucking my, all my animals. Got to go feed them. It's nice talking to you, man. Oh, yeah. Good chat. Appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I like having someone to talk to around this time because usually everyone's in bed. <laughs> yep, yep. It it gets lonely at this time of night, and and you know where I'm at, two twenty seven a.m. Yeah. I was trying yeah, to figure out when, I, I was trying to figure out when most Americans wake up so I could time my lives that way. You know, like four o'clock, it will be seven o'clock on the East Coast. So if I go four or five a.m. here, go live. I'll catch all the wake and bakes. Yeah, exactly. And you'll always catch me because I'm always seem to be awake when you guys are either getting up or going to bed. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if I'm subscribed to you. I um, could always invite you in the lives, you know. Or just... just um, uh, my, channel, my YouTube channel is the 420 Mad Cat. Okay. But I'm always on here as a mother because okay. for some reason my phone won't my phone won't let me use my other account for mm -hmm. some reason. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so but I'm subscribed to you as the four twenty mad cat. Oh, okay. 
yeah, so just, you know, hop in the chat, let us know if you want an invite, and pretty much everybody's yeah, welcome, you know. Ah, cool. Yeah, j -Bo called me into this one, so. Yeah, j -Bo, uh same with him. He's been on my lives a couple times. DDW, I thought he liked my lives, but it's because he doesn't want to uh, feel like, like he doesn't want to do a live when I'm live to like compete kind of like you know what I mean or split up the viewers or something so he just hops on mine and this whole time I thought he just liked my live man what a bummer <laughs> I'm just playing <laughs> but yeah I love DDW man he's like my favorite WeTuber I love his turtles man his turtles are awesome oh yeah I love it when he puts his, the camera on him yeah when he feeds yeah. him yeah, and they're just like going hell, hell for leather at the lettuce. Yeah. It's good stuff. Good times. Yeah. Yeah, no, I love it. It's... Yeah, I, I don't really do much, so it's kind of cool to be the one who's here like all the time and and watch people come in and, and you know, yeah. go to sleep or come out and filter through all these different people. It's it's it's. It's a lot of fun. I'm kind of uh, addicted to it, actually. I get I get addiction, no, I like, and I get they get replaced love, by other addictions. Yes, yes. I and mean, uh, the addiction like, I had before well, that was, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Oh no, I was just saying that I, I know I feel what you mean about. Things getting replaced by addictions and stuff like that. I mean, addiction after like I I quit smoking and got addicted to vaping, and I haven't been able to vape for ages because I've had no wire or cotton. But smoke together's sending me a package, so nice. Yeah. I've got a, um, a dreadnought. Mhm. Mm Everyone says it looks like a bloody lightsaber. <laughs> yeah. Heavy enough. Yeah, so I think this this addiction is better than the last addiction. And the addiction that is replaced was even worse. It was like really bad. I was addicted to gambling very badly. Damn it. Compulsive Crazy. gambler for years. Yeah, my mum. Yeah, my mum was pretty bad. Yeah, so I replaced that addiction with Facebook uh, casino games that have all the same slot machines that I played at the casino. It's like the same people, oh, okay. you know, same machines, everything. It's just like being there, and it's fake money. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I get the same good feeling, you know, have fun and not lose a dollar. Exactly. And I would play so I'd play for eight hours on the internet on Facebook yeah. and now I'm doing lives for eight hours, so this is a big improvement over sitting and being by myself, basically in silence usually playing these stupid games. <laughs> It was yeah. good for the time being, you know, that it helped me a little bit to quit when I decided to quit. And I'll still play them. It's just I'm not addicted to them like I was for the past year or two. I don't even. I think it's going to be two years. Yeah, two years now. Oh, good. Yeah. No, that's. I mean, that's good though. I mean, you mm -hmm. you you got you had something to help you get through, and now you found something that helps you keep going as well. Yeah. Like bouncing around, and each bounce just gets better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh man. But yeah. Um. So yeah, if you want to hop on ever, just let us know. We'll invite you. Well, I'll definitely. probably go live. I'll yeah. probably be going live a little bit later today. And then uh, maybe going to sleep. I, who knows? I never know what my body is going to do. And uh, yeah, 
but most likely in a yeah. few hours I'll be on if you can't sleep or something, you know, or uh, hop on. Yeah, no. I'll be up for hours. I mean, I'll probably just go have a rest in my room, just lay down on the bed and just sort of rest, muck around yeah. with my phone a bit and stuff and just sort of like rest my eyes because they're starting to get a bit sore again, but yeah. I'm going to go put some more drops in, probably while they're getting sore. But anyway... I will see you. I'll probably see you again in a few hours. Definitely. Sounds good. Thanks again for uh, for the chat. Time. Shout out to the three no, viewers. Definitely. They've been enjoying the chat too. <laughs> Are you guys glad you watched us? Peace. Peace.
Órale.
<laughs> Yo, what up, everybody? It's Warner Morrison on Daily Dabber Weekly 2. I'm really drunk, and I thought I'd crash the party because nobody's here. Because I like to do that kind of stuff. Um, I hope everyone's having a good night because it's Saturday right now. It is. I'm really drunk. I barfed too. I didn't, haven't done that in a long time. Because, um, I usually don't drink that much. I drank like five beers and a bottle of wine. And then that's what I did. And I smoked some weed. And then I barfed. But I danced and I sang music and I used the new live stream. And I hung out with GMO earlier and I hung out with other people. And it was all, it was a fun night. It was a good night. I don't even know who's here or anything. I just like wanted to like go on before I went to bed. <clears throat> I smoked a bowl before I came on and it made me cough a lot because my throat hurts. Um, I'm cold too. It's chilly. It's going to be winter here soon. It's October now. We made it. We made it. Doomsday is over. We made it past October. No, we didn't make it. It's still October. We made it past September. Hi, Garfield. Do you want to say hi? Come here. Come say hi. No, I don't run away. Why did you run away? I love you. I love you. I gave you. Don't bug Mitzi. Don't bug her. Let her sleep. Yeah, you let her sleep. You little instigator. You little instigator, you. Look how cute he is. Oh, he's a cutie pie. He's a cutie pie, the gurgur. He's a gurgur. He's a gur star, little angel. He sheds. Jesus Christ, girlfriend. <coughs> what are you doing? There's no food around here. What are you looking for? Hey, what are you looking for? Handsome. Handsome. So cute. He's so cute. Come for attention. He comes for attention. There's my blanket. It was a little bit there. It's five in the morning where I am. I'm gonna go to bed soon because that's bedtime. Do I have sleeper tubes? Do I have sleeper tubes? I have a bowl pack. I don't want, I'm scared. That's gonna make me cough. Imagine if ta cats tax. <laughs> tax. <laughs> oh my god, I'm drunk. Imagine if cats can talk, could talk, can't. They can't talk. Imagine if they could talk. I could go upstairs and get more tips. What the fuck, dude? There's tobacco down here. My dad left it downstairs. Downtown, do, 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 you can always go. Downtown, just listen to the music of the singing Casanova. You'll be dancing something until the night is over. How can you lose? The lights are much brighter there. You can't forget all your troubles. Forget all your cares and go down, down. That's all I know. I stepped on a tack earlier when I was dancing. I found it. It was on my foot. It hurt. Kind of. I was like, what the fuck is that, dude? 
and roll it to the floor as well as tack. There's a tack in my foot because I danced and I stepped on it. A push pin. I, one time when I was younger, I was hanging up sheets in my room because I wanted to be a hippie. And I cut up all these sheets into shreds. But I had to hang them up on my room first. And then I cut them up into shreds. And my brother and his friend were there and it's like, yo, dude, hand me the thumbtack. And I said, thumbtack. And ever since then, they made fun of me for that. And I learned it wasn't a thumbtack, it was a thumbtack. Thumbtack, not thumbtacks. Because my friend went, tum da dum tum tack. And then they laughed. And I was like, ha, ah, ha, you're so funny. Whatever, I said the word wrong. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't roll that cigarette very good. That's not I'm not very good at rolling cigarettes apparently. Dang, what did that say? I didn't even notice. Dang. I don't know. I'm really drunk. I mean, uh, I was trying to watch a movie. I don't like that movie, though. That's probably why I came on here. I'm going to watch Full House, though. I'm going to get that episode ready, actually. I would stream it to the TV, but that seems like a lot of work. And I don't want to turn on the PlayStation or the Xbox. Because that, again, seems like a lot of work. A lot of work. That doesn't sound right. Is that a real sentence? A lot of work. That sound right now. Did it sound? Whoa, I can't talk. The fuck, dude. I hear a cat. He's walking upstairs. Garfield, I hear you. I'm going to watch Full House. Everywhere you look, everywhere there's a heart. I have to hold on to. I'm on. What episode am I on? I'm season five, five episode nine. Damn it, that's going by fast. I'm going to have to find a new series to watch again. I'm going to watch Seinfeld. Because I can always watch my old shows. Fuck new shows. Fuck them up the ass. Thank <laughs> you.